It's good to be with you. And I want to welcome you again to this 100 days of prayer marathon. One of the things you and I need to confront within these 100 days of prayer, one is to block distractions at the home front and distractions all around you because the enemy will use anything, will try anything, will throw anything at us to distract us so we don't stay focused. Remember, focus and concentration is the womb of accomplishment. It doesn't matter what he throws at us. We must stay focused by blocking distraction at the home front. He can use your husband, your wife, your children, your loved ones, your family, and anyone you love to distract you. So you need to understand the games he will use distractions at the home front all around you to stop you from staying focused so block distractions in the name of the Lord Jesus I'm Archbishop Nick and I'm counting on you as God and heaven and this generation and the generations to come counts and depends on me I'm counting on you let's do this Thank you and God richly bless you for making time once again. My name is Bishop Charles Jabin, transmitting here from the Possibility Cathedral from Kumase, Ghana. And it is awesome to come your way every time on this awesome platform, on this 100 days journey. This 100 days journey initiated by His Eminence, our Father, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. It's one of his kind. And as you know how the tradition goes, invite somebody, call somebody to call somebody. Invite friends and call a family and let's gather around our gadgets let's gather around our television set on dtv gather around your your flat screens gather around your tablets and your phone start the watch parties immediately send the links to friends put it in groups right now if there is any great gift you can give to a friend or a loved one this particular season it is the gift of prayer the world needs to pray right now it's a clarion call to prayer we are gathering around the altar of prayer lifting up the fire of god man yeah. that there's shall be changed there shall be changed change. and this hour i speak fire ah. uh, into your house i speak fire under your tent wherever yeah. you are may you be captivated by the fire of god Amen. say the fire of god, the fire of god. Oh, come on say come upon me come upon me say fire of god fire of god come upon me come upon me captivate me captivate in me. the name of jesus in the name of jesus people of god listen fire it's an element that nothing goes through it and remain the same. Yeah. No, no, no. Everything that goes through fire transforms. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that goes through fire is changed from one state to the other. Yes, if you put wood through the fire, it turns into ashes. Yeah. If you take metal and it goes through the fire, it melts and turns into liquid. Yeah. You take liquid and you take it through fire, it evaporates and turns into a gas. Nothing goes through fire remain the same. Yeah. And I believe that this fire would be the fire of the spirit. Amen. The Bible says that on that day when the Holy Spirit came upon them in the book of Acts, Jesus, ordinary people were transformed. Ah. That Peter that was very intimidated by a young lady was the one that stood on that occasion and became the spokesperson yeah. by God. And on that day, uh, thousands of thousands gave their lives to Christ. Uh -huh. You need the baptism of fire. Yeah. Uh, this hour let the fire of God come upon you. Amen. Say fire of God. Fire of God. Come upon me. Come upon We're me. going to hit the ground with the fire of God. Yeah. Somebody must be revived. Amen. Your prayer life is coming back. Yeah. Your Amen. power is coming back. Right your dedication is coming back. Right now. Yes, your fire Amen. for God, your zeal is coming back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say fire of God. Fire of God. Captivate me. Captivate me. The fire of God. Fire of God. Stir me up. Stir me up. Spirit of God. Stir me up. Now lift up prayer right now. Bala Katosha. Yetele de de brigadosha. He says he that speaks in an unknown tongue and defies himself. And in the spirit he speaks mysteries. Yabadosha. Yetete de brigadosha. Le pente baliata. Balua siketo. In beni matinia tokase. Yabala badosha. Brantebo. Let Bragado see the Catan, let Benibia Talabada, let Janimosu, he caught the Badia, then the Badia Piliaso, Apele Capaya, Yadele Baratu Cataya, then Janimosu Paracato, 
Vendele Botia, Vendele Palua Setai, Menda Catuse, Yapidi Batuse, Lepina Baliaca, Yapadi Bataya, Dalio Siparatose, Mantani Matali Cata, Ale Bratule Bredese, Mantele Basu, Yacatele Basua, Mantele Basu Parado, Yapini Mia Se, Yapini Mia Se, Yapini Mia Se, Yapini Mia Sulia Tetaso, Lantani Mazapalazo, Ipende Catule Palia. Atini mi zalua satai, vende katusa, vende le balu ketai, ratoni mo zoto loze, iye tele kete, nanteni ma zira tele mosa, i bali kapaya, ateni mi ateni mi ato, le rege peli opiri a parada, aya dele degeso, nanteni mi zalua te, iye kapalua zabala tosa, inteni mi zati ase, nakula palua sa, nanteni mi palua zia te, ya vende kitoni masa, ya pi. Ya Tunibia Kalamaza, Ya Tunibia Kalamaza, Ya Tunibia Kalamaza, Rapala Kapai, Ya Peleba Kapai, Ya Pinini on Taya, Ya Panini on Taya, Ya Panini on Teliasa, in the name of Jesus Kalamosa. My God, my God, listen to me. The Bible said, The Bible said on that occasion, where Mary migrated to the hill country to meet her sister Elizabeth. The Bible said as soon as he met her sister, she saluted her in the Hebrew way, spoke some kind words and some, some generous words unto Elizabeth. Immediately Elizabeth said that by the sound, my God, by just mere hearing of your voice, the baby in my womb has leaped. Ah. My God. Maduke Palagado. Mary carried a presence. Ah. Mary carried uh, the promise of God and Elizabeth to conceive by the promise of God. Both of them had something in common. Listen to me. Uh, however, for a strange reason, Elizabeth could not feel the kickings and the activations of the baby. And our women on this platform can relate and can understand. Any woman who had gone through pregnancy, once a while, you will see a certain movement within your womb that indicates that there is life within. But somewhere, somehow, that promise was not active. Somewhere, somehow, that divine deposit was not activated. But a certain voice, ah, my God. Voice. Activated it. Uh -huh. I pray that this hour I shall be that voice Amen. that will activate your prayer life. Uh -huh. uh, Baba has initiated and, and, and created this platform that our various voices, the various voices from apostles and prophets and prophetesses and various grace that comes upon this platform are uh, upon the hearing. Uh -huh. Uh, of the trumpet and the hearing of Papa's voice, you will just be ignited. I speak unto giftings in you. Uh, I speak unto potentials in you. Amen. I speak unto abilities in you. Amen. That by the sound uh, uh, that you shall be stirred up. Uh, the fire will come back. Your prayer life shall be revived. Amen. And the Bible says that you see build up yourself in your most holy faith in Jude 20. Pray in the spirit. As we pray in the spirit, I believe that my God, the fire of God will come again. Amen. Revival will come upon believers again. Uh, we are lifting up hands that are hanging down. Uh, we are giving strength to feeble needs. Amen. We oh, are Jesus. commanding an army. Jesus. Papa is crying and raising an army uh, right for this end time harvest. Amen. On behalf of the church, on behalf of our families, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of any controlling power and the spirit of fear that broods over our heads, Jesus. the hands over the church, uh, the hands over God's people, Paul. We curse it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, we curse it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is our desire. It is our desire uh, that you will receive the Holy Spirit and the fullness of it Amen. wherever you are. Uh, because when the fullness of the Spirit come, you will have the activation to pray. Amen. The Bible says, He that prays in an unknown tongue uh, edifies himself. Uh, for in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. For he speaketh not unto man, but he speaks unto God. I pray wherever you are, as you desire for the Holy Spirit, right now, uh, let the Holy Spirit come upon you. Amen. Amen. Let the power of God come upon you. Amen. Let the spirit of God come upon you. Amen. Across the globe, we are raising an army. Uh, we are raising an army in Europe. Uh, we are raising an army in America. Uh, we are calling for an army in Japan. Yeah. We are calling for an army in Croatia. Uh, we are calling for an army in China. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we we'll send for a revival fire. Amen. Wherever they are, my God, may their zeal never dissipate. Jesus may their fire never die. Amen. Say, Spirit of God, spirit of God. Rekindle. 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 Fire. Fire. 
of our sons, of our sons, say of your sons, of your sons and your daughters, and your daughters across, the globe, across the globe. Visit your people. Visit your people. One more time. One more time. We come against. We come against any controlling. Any controlling. Power, power of fear, of fear hovering, hovering upon God's people, upon God's people suppressing, suppressing God's people. God's people. We, rebuke we rebuke any spirit, any spirit of, heaviness, of heaviness and we command, and we command a, revival, a revival, oh God, oh God that, you will open that you will open the heavens, the heavens and, visit and visit your people, your people. One, more one more time. Lift up prayer like a fire of God. Stay up, my brother. Stay you up, my sister. I speak fire. Let the fire stay you up. Yata la gada. Let Talia te. Let Pidio zada. Let Kani mataya. Let Rega de taya. Let Rembolo bose. Atania teya. Let Brega dosha. La Talia tela. Yada na mokoa. Ayade de koa. Ayade de koa. Abili mi koa. Ayade mi no koa. Ayaba ni koa. Ali abadu ko. Yonto no bose. Fire of transformation. Fire of change. Let giants be born. Let giants be born. Let gifts be set up. Let the power of God come upon. Fire of revival. Let the visitation of the Lord come upon the church. He is a lady. He is a lady. And to me, is there. Holy Spirit. That's life now. Makuna Makoy. I am the God. I am the God. I am Bini Moso. I am Bini Moso. The Bini Moso. I am Teleboto. Then Jan Debosa. The Repe Debosa. He is a Payaso. Then Jani Mizua. The Kali Mosua. The Bini Mizua. Le bini mosua, ya tene mosua, ya banda gato. Ie pele dese, ya tene mi kese, ya son tolase. Le bende bosa, le bali mi onte, dan tene mi onte, dan tene mi onte, dan tene mi onte, dan tene mi onte. In the name of Jesus, akatasa. Read for me Isaiah chapter sixty-one, the best number one. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Because he has anointed me. To preach good tidings. My God, so listen to me. This is what happens. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, the anointing is resident. Uh-huh. The spirit of God is synonymous to the anointing, uh-huh. and the anointing is synonymous to the spirit. Yeah. Okay. So he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me. When you read the Bible in the book of uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 38, he says, how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and with power. So you see, when you see anointing, you must see the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, the anointing comes. Yeah. And the anointing is simply, listen, the burden removing yoke destroying power of God. Yeah. My God, the burden removing yoke destroying power of God. Yeah. Because he said, and it shall come to pass on that day that his burden shall be removed and his yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Uh. So when the anointing comes, it sets you free. Sets you free. Uh, but this time he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, talking about the Messiah's oil, for he had anointed me to declare. Uh. That means when the anointing comes, it opens your lips. People of God, may your lips be activated. Amen. May your voice be activated. Amen. May you speak good news. Amen. May you speak kindly. Amen. May you declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Say, I shall declare, I shall declare the, works the, the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Read further. To preach good tidings. You preach good tidings? Unto the meek. Unto the meek. He has sent me ah. to bind up the broken heart. He, you are sent. When the anointed comes, you'll mm. be sent. May God send you right now. Amen. I believe that we are sent by God. Mm. We are commissioned by our father, the archbishop, to come your way and to break your chains. Yes. Let every chains be broken. Amen. Let prison doors fly open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, as we lift our prayer. As we lift our prayer. We command. We command. Let chains, Let chains be, broken. be broken. Let prison doors. Let prison doors, prison doors, prison doors fly, open. fly open. 
fly up here. Right now. Right now. Say, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Let you anoint it. Let you anoint it. Break chains. Break chains. Break chains. Break chains. Open doors. Open doors. Break chains. Break chains. Open doors. Open doors. Any man. Any man. A woman. A woman. Incarcerated. Incarcerated. Right now. Right now. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Let your fire. Let your fire. Lose their chains. Lose their chains. And break their walls. Break their walls. We command. We command. Let prisoners. Let prisoners. Come out. 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 Now. Now. Lift up your voice. Command. Command them out. Command them out. Command them out. Command them out. Yes, they get it. Yes, you need me a telebus. Come out. Come out. Come out. We command. Let your sons come out. Let your daughters come out. Let your sons come out. Let your daughters come out. Let the chains break. Let the chains break. Let the chains break. Hoy and get your sea get again. Yes, on the Gataya. Let Repetos. I send the Kyota. What he left a point. I am reading your Kata. Let Rende Bosaya. What a Lepota. Let Bagges be removed. Let Yogs be destroyed. 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 Yogs got the Balos. He bent the Belege. Let Pirio Saka. Let Honda Balosa. Let them get Balize. Yatalabasa. Let Denimosua. Let Rebbe de Bosa. Aperia Kapa. Yat Denimosa. In the name of Jesus. Now read verse 3 for me. To appoint unto them. Listen, it says to appoint unto them. That morning Zion. That morning Zion. To give unto them beauty for us. Listen to me. In the place, uh, Yakoto Bragadiasa. Anyone who has determined that for your beauty, you will have ashes. Anyone who has declared an appointment upon you, that even in Zion, the lost house, Zion is, is a symbol of God's house. It's a type of the church. Zion is a place where God places his name. You are born again, but you still weep. You are in church. You have your names in all the denominations or in a very prominent denomination. But somewhere, somehow, there is a spirit of oppression that is suppressing you. Ah, you are depressed, you are anxious, emotionally you are bound, psychologically you are troubled. Ah. Somewhere, somehow, there is a yoke responsible for your condition. Ah. But this hour, this we hour. send for the power of God. Amen. Amen. Jesus. We send for the anointing of God. Amen. We send for the spirit of God. Amen. You are coming out. Amen. Ah, we are coming out. Amen. Say beauty, beauty for ashes. For ashes. Say beauty, beauty. beauty. Say beauty. beauty. For, ashes. for ashes. Say beauty, beauty. For, ashes. for ashes. May God change your garments. Amen. Say, oh God, oh God. change the garments, change the garments. Of, our of our sons and our daughters. And our daughters. Say, oh God, oh God. Let, day let day that mourn that in, in Zion receive, receive. Beauty, beauty for ashes. For let your, glory Let your glory be restored, be restored. In, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus as we lift our prayer. Lift our prayer. Oh, God. oh God, send forth, send forth. Restoration, restoration of glory, of glory. Upon, upon your sons, your sons. And, daughters. and daughters. Let Zion, Let Zion be, restored. be restored. Let Zion, Let Zion be, glorified. be glorified again. again. Lift our prayer. Let there be restoration of glory in Zion. Let Zion be clothed with glory. Let the church be clothed with glory. Let believers be clothed in glory. Yagada. Receive glory, receive glory, receive glory, receive glory, receive glory. Receive glory. No more mourning in Zion. No more mourning in the house of God. No more mourning in the church. No, God will restore you. The paradoxical life you are coming out. No more paradox to dwell in Zion and still more. And it's not the will of God for your life. And the spirit that wants to illegally enforce depression and anxiety upon you, anything that will give you a reason to cry and to weep, we cancel and overturn it by divine authority in the name of Jesus. Mataloko Palagada. 
Let's continue to read. I want to bring the attention to something very key there. Go ahead. It says the oil of joy for mourning. There is an oil that comes upon you that you would mourn, you would mourn no more. You will not mourn again. There is an oil that comes upon you that you will not mourn again. Yes. Say my season. My season of mourning. Of mourning is over. It's over. Say my appointed. My appointed time, time for mourning. For mourning is over. It's over. Say I break out. I break out of darkness. Of darkness. Depression. Depression. Anxiety. Anxiety. Any blanket. Any blanket of anxiety. Of anxiety. Of sorrow. Of sorrow upon me. Upon me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Let Jesus. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. No! No! People of God, when you dwell in Zion, that is the temple of God, that is the mountain of the Lord, you are not supposed to weep. You are not supposed to mourn. You've come out of darkness into his light. But we are dealing with an enemy that will seek to enforce that which is illegal in your life. And anything that is not of the Lord, I reject it. Shout, I refuse it. I refuse it. Shout, I reject it. I reject it. Shout, I cancel it now. Read it for me. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So listen to me. Sometimes when we feel heavy, we think it is a natural disposition. You feel heavy to pray. You feel heavy to get yourself up and to serve God. You feel reluctant to do the things you, you used to do before. Man of God, you are rising again with fire. Amen. Prophet of God, you are rising again with fire. Amen. The church is putting on its garments Amen. of praise. Ah. Listen, heaviness is a spirit. Yeah. There is a principality behind your emotions. Yeah. You can feel down. God said, he came that you may have life yeah. and have it much more abundantly. Yeah. And this hour I speak over your life. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of God. Yeah. Ah, let the power of let God. The power of God. Break you out. Break you out. From any controlling. From every controlling. Power. Power. Of weakness. Of weakness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit. Any spirit. Of heaviness. Of heaviness. We curse it. 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 Now. Now. And we command. And we command. Let the sons. Let the sons. And the daughters. And the daughters. Of God. Of God. Be free. Be free. Right now. Right now. As we lift our prayer. We break loose. We break loose. Apostles. Apostles. Pastors. Pastors. Teachers. Teachers. Evangelists. Evangelists. Intercessors. 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 Prophets of God. Prophets of God. Women of God. Women of God. Game changers. Game changers. Initiators. Initiators. Of change. Of change. Agents. Agents. Of signs. Of signs. And wonders. And wonders. We bring out. We bring out. The army of God. The army of God. We command. We command. The rise. The rise. Of the Isaka. Of the Isaka. Force. Force. Now. 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 Let the army. Let the army of Isaka rise, rise up. Let the men of Isaka rise up. Rise up now. Now rise up. Now rise up. Rise up now. Now 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 now. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Rise up. We call an army. We call a global army. We call a global army. The rise of men. The rise of women. The rise of the strong. The rise of the mighty. We command the fivefold ministry to manifest. To manifest. We command the uprising of the army of God to take the center stage for our communities, for our families. Now, let them rise. Let them rise. Let them take their place in the name of Jesus. Let them march forward in favor. March forward in grace. March forward in power. March forward in the excellency of God. In the name of Jesus. Yabalosi telekete. And Denimo Saluatesa, Iboko Palie Palade, Yanteni Messiah, Le Vendele Mosaya, Atunde Kupandia Tosa, Atune Marape Kota, in the name of Jesus. Shout, I take my place. I take my place. Oh, come on, say, I take my place. I take my place. In Zion. In Zion. And I declare. And I declare. That the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of God. Is upon me. Is upon me. Ah, he has anointed me. Has anointed me. To proclaim. To proclaim. Liberty. Liberty. To the captives. To the captives. As we declare. As we declare. Captives are out. Captives are out. Say, captives are out. Captives are out. Any captive. Any captive. In my family. In my family. Community. Community. In the church. In the church. We break you loose. We break you loose. By the power of God. By the power of God. Go free. Go free. 
all free. We set you free. We set you free. Right now. Right now. We release. We release. Men of God. Men of God. Women of God. Women of God. Apostles. Apostles. Isaka force. Isaka force. They are rising. They are rising. They are rising. They are rising. Like a storm. Like a storm. They are rising. They are rising. As an army. As an army. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this opportunity. Thank you, His Eminence, our Father, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Daddy, we love you and we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for creating this platform that is blessing lives and changing destinies. Ah, this clarion call for the church to step into the revival of God that is coming in this end time. We triumph over sicknesses, infirmity. We triumph over untimely death and whatever has been scheduled and programmed in the womb of time to eliminate lives and to cut shots destinies in the name of jesus Amen. we thank you oh god for this opportunity and people of god thank you and make time keep keep locked in and keep following the various time watches the lord bless you and increase you the lord cause his face to shine upon you according to the time of life i shall come your way again and be a blessing to you my name remains bishop charles jabin from possibility cathedral here in kumase ghana god bless you and god bless you from staying tuned. The Bible declares that according to the power that is at work in us, Ephesians 3.20, that God will do, through that God will do great and mighty things about what we think and what we can imagine and ask of, according to the power that is at work. So you and I, our prayers, we pull in our efforts together, we radiate a, a kind of force that will break through every ranks for us to achieve the target and the aim of this 100 days of prayer. Amen. Join with me as we move on in prayer. And the Bible declares the coronavirus, please, the coronavirus, not from the Bible, but coronavirus has been with us for quite some time now. It has lingered. It has warred the nations of the world and the economies of the world. Individualized families destroyed things and lives. And uh, it, has, it has been around. And so the Bible says in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1, it said, and there was a long war in the heart between the house of Saul and that of David and the, the, the house of David grew mightier and mightier and that of Saul grew weaker and weaker. The one who enforced the word of the Lord that coronavirus, the strength of it the strong man behind coronavirus will grow weaker and weaker and that of us we his people, the nations of the world, the families the countries, the economies of this nation shall be empowered uh, lives that are wicked uh, I come to you today that these lives uh, shall be empowered shall be lifted up uh, by you and I our prayers uh, that none will be weighed down men shall not despair men shall not give up uh, because uh, our strength uh, is being lifted up uh, I declare to you today may your strength be lifted uh, wherever you are say with me that let my strength uh, be lifted uh, let me let me not go down weaker. Let me not sink. Let me not fall to the ground. Let me not give up to this coronavirus. But I am lifted in power. I am lifted in strength. I am energized. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 40, 29, it said, God gives strength uh, to them that are fainting and to them that has no might, uh, he increased strength. Uh, I pray for you today uh, and lift up prayer with you uh, that them that are weaker uh, and are fainting, uh, may they be empowered like never before and them that are falling uh, and are weaker, uh, may they also be under guard uh, and let them receive uh, divine enablement, uh, divine strength uh, in the name uh, of Jesus. Uh, the Bible declares uh, According to the book of Numbers uh, 23, 22, 21, is how God delivered them from Egypt uh, and, and, and empowered them as it were. Their strength was like that of the unicorn. And he said that therefore there's no enchantment uh, against Jacob. Uh, there's no divination against Israel. There are no spells against uh, Jacob. Uh, no spell today I declare that no spell uh, against you would prevail. Uh, no enchantment against you uh, will succeed. Uh, no power of the diviners uh, will succeed uh, in these times. Uh, the strength and the force, the spirit uh, of coronavirus uh, would not
not prevail against you. It will not wear you down. In the name of Jesus, I come today by the word of the Lord, uh, enforcing the decrees of God uh, that you would not go down. You would not go down. You would not sink. Uh, let this long war of coronavirus come to an end. Uh, we stop it. Uh, we halt it. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let the strength uh, and let the war of coronavirus uh, come to an end. Uh, he that weakens the nations, uh, he that makes the nations desolate uh, and brings the nations to not uh, destroying the economies of this nation. Businesses are going down. Lives have been wasted. Uh, the number of lives as recorded is too much. But we declare an end uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we declare, let there be an end uh, to coronavirus. Uh, let there be an end. Uh, let there be an end. Uh, let there be an end. Come on, somebody lift a prayer. Let there be an end. Let there be an end. Let it come to an end. Let there be an end. The word of the Lord, according to 2 Samuel 24, 16, it declares that the angel of death, the spirit of death, was killing and was wasting life as allowed and permitted him. He was destroying from the morning through the day and throughout the night to any time there was destruction, the destruction of the morning, the destruction of the day, and the destruction of the night, the wickedness and the terror of the night are all at work now being deployed, but we declare in the name of Jesus, it shall come to an end in the name of Jesus. And it is recorded in the scriptures that the angel killed lives, wasted lives, 75,000 souls were destroyed. He killed from Dan to Bathsheba. He destroyed his life and now he has got into the threshing floor of Haruna, now going to strike off his hands against uh, Jerusalem. And Bible says that the, the message, the sure message of God uh, was candled, was activated. Uh, today I come be with you in prayer that let the sure message of God be activated. Uh, let any form of judgment, uh, let any form uh, of conclusion against you uh, to your disadvantage uh, be dismissed in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let any declaration uh, that seeks to waste you, that brings you to naught, uh, that will make you come to nothing uh, and be wasted in this life. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus, uh, let the sure message of God uh, and let the repentance of God uh, be activated uh, on your behalf, uh, on behalf of families, uh, on behalf of the nations, uh, on behalf of the economies, uh, on behalf of them that are bedridden right now. We snatch them uh, from the bed of affliction uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and the Bible declares uh, as the angel strike forth his hand uh, to destroy Jerusalem and the people thereof, uh, and God remembered uh, and God repented uh, and his sure message was activated uh, and he says stand down uh, stay off your hand uh, do not kill any feather coronavirus uh, enough we declare we declare stand Coronavirus, uh, your time has come, uh, your end has come. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus, uh, you shall go no further. You shall go no further. This is by the decree of the watchers and by the demands of his only one to the intent that men will know that God rules in the kingdoms of men. This has been declared by God, and we, his only ones, are enforcing it. Uh, that coronavirus will declare an end to you. Uh, your end has come. Uh, you shall go no further. Stay up your hand. Uh, stay 
up your hand. We declare that them that are trapped in the valleys of the shadows of death, may you escape in the name of Jesus. We pull you out, assigned to the valleys of death. We dismiss any shadow of death over any nations, over families, over economies, over individual lives, over any group. We declare, let the shadows of death be dismissed in the name of Jesus. We declare also, pray with me, as we declare and enforce the word of the Lord, any demonic or satanic engagement by coronavirus and its accessories and its forces, its agents against you, we declare, let it be disengaged by the power of Jesus, by the power of prayer, as we enforce by prayer, we declare, let it be disengaged engage, we disengage any satanic engagement, any engagement of death. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Don't you give up prayer. The Bible says that uh, men always ought to pray and not to faint. Do not give up uh, in moments like this. Uh, you ought not to faint. Uh, you ought not to give up, uh, but excel in prayer. The Bible says, resist the devil, uh, and he shall flee from you. Uh, resist the adversary. Resist coronavirus. Uh, that it shall flee and leave. In the name of Jesus, the word of the Lord declares, according to Genesis 37, that Reuben said, I shed no blood, shed no blood. Now, please note that when human beings are killed, their bloods are shed. This blood leaves to take vengeance. And Bible says the blood of Abel calleth for vengeance. And God said ahead. And so God in this wisdom allowed the devil to kill Jesus. And that is why the blood of Jesus is a fearsome weapon to the enemy. He cannot stand it. There's a secret there. And so the Bible says they overcame him by the blood, blood and by the word of, his, of their testimony. One who declared that no blood would be shared. Let any blood testing spirit to the nations, to the families of the world, let it be dismissed in the name of Jesus. We declare today by the word of the Lord that any vengeance, any blood vengeance, any blood that is making demand, claiming, making demands, calling for vengeance over the nations, calling for vengeance in the families, and using the strength and the force, hiding behind coronavirus, hiding behind any medium, hiding behind any force of that uh, leveling accusations, uh, making moves uh, against people, uh, against the nations of the world, uh, and destroying lives. Uh, let them be dismissed. Uh, let them be override. Uh, we overthrow them. Uh, let their strength come to naught. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the Bible declares, uh, let them rise up against you uh, in, in the form of a flood. Uh, but God shall lift up a standard. Uh, we declare a standard of God uh, against uh, any flood that is lifted up against in the name of Jesus, come on, the low sweater, we broke a sweat to say, yet tell about your bond of bar, Libra de Bosuta, and Divosa, Mande Balabra, Yada Balabra, Yada Balabra, and the black testing over the families, over the nations, and the vengeance over the nations. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory by the superior blood. By the blood of Jesus, by the innocent blood, by the powerful blood of Jesus, and 
My God, le bado sufa to swata. The enemy will never succeed. Amen. Jesus said the other day that have peace in me because I overcome the world. And that is why we pray. Because it is the ministry of Jesus. I deploy and employ you, as his eminence has said, that you join in this hundred days of intercession. Register and join. Because it is the ministry that is in, uh, Jesus, our Lord, is, is engaging right now. The Bible says he's seated at the right-hand side of power, making intercession for you and I. Amen. Amen. And so let's proceed and follow our Lord in this ministry of intercession. We are overcome by the word of our testimony and by the blood of Jesus Christ. We enforce the superior blood over the lives of families, over the lives of nations, over the lives of any individual who is bedridden right now, who has been arrested by the strength and by the strong man of coronavirus right now. We declare, let them be, be dismissed and let them be healed. 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 Let them be delivered in the name of Jesus. The adversary, the devil. The devil, our adversary, the accuser of the brethren is his name. And from him, he is also called the diabolos. Diabolos. From that, we get the English word diabolic. That man is a deceiver. That man victimizes individuals. He brings people to a place of nothingness and weakens them. He casts spells and make people vulnerable. We declare that any vulnerability of the adversary, any vulnerability of the enemy, of the accuser of the brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Any dominations, how he condemns the nations, how he condemns individuals, he has engaged demonic transactions against lives, and he has paid in some form for lives to be wasted, people or individuals behind the scenes uh, who have engaged in any form, diabolic means uh, to take away lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, let them be exposed. Uh, let them be uncovered. Uh, let them be arrested. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we declare that any form of financial transactions in the spirit uh, over the death, let it backfire. Say backfire. backfire. Say backfire. 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 In the name of oh, Jesus. Let any spells, any deceptions uh, of diabolos, uh, let it come to an end uh, of the enemy, the adversary, uh, any enchantment, uh, any form of divinations uh, against the people, uh, let it come to an end. Uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13, 18, 19, records of how spells, uh, how enchantment are used uh, and lives are wasted. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus, uh, let the enchantment come to naught. Let the divination come to naught. Let them be broken into pieces. Let them be broken into pieces. Let them be broken into pieces. Let them be broken into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Lebro ke subara do santa manto da boke panda labra lebre ke panda labrio de bosiata in the name of Jesus come on the boke bada ba come on the bada ba di bada ya tena ba di bada labrio so asu sana bo su tu asa manto da ba di bo santa lebra di asa ya to suanta le bada bo sa di bosiata mara de siata le ma ke sana bo santa sa ba di Basaya, <laughs> 
Yada Boswata, and Labada Bosa, and Yada Boswata, and Labrado Supara Diasa, and Diba, and Labada, and Labrada Sena Bosa, and Diba Labra, and Yato Swanta Labadia, and Labaka Banda Labra. Let lies be rescued, 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 let lies be rescued in the name of Jesus. Let lives be rescued. Yes, Lord. Let them that are challenged yes, one way or the other. We deploy the sure mercies of God. We deploy the deliverances of God. We deploy the mercies of God. We deploy the grace of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you shall remember mercy, that you shall deliver us, that you shall bring deliverances. In the name of Jesus, let your people see your mighty hand, that ability to deliver, that ability to save. The other day, first, second, Peter, your word declares, you said that God God knows how to deliver the godly that you shall deliver especially your children and let the nations of the world be affected in the name of Jesus we lift up prayer for the apostle of strategic prayer and his family we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that let him be secure, let him be preserved against any reactions, any stirrings uh, that rises up against him as a result uh, of championing such great affair. We declare in the name of Jesus, uh, let there be angelic assistance for him. Uh, and let the angel of the Lord uh, be at post. Uh, let them fight for him. Uh, we deploy the warring angels of God, uh, the angels of fire, the angels of arrows, uh, the angels of other assets as the armories of God, uh, let them all be deployed to his aid uh, and his family in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for him and his wife, the family. We pray for his ministry. We pray for his dominion. The word, the word of the Lord declares in Daniel, it said that, that your greatness will grow. It will be grown uh, to the heavenly uh, and that it shall be extended to the ends of the earth uh, in the name of Jesus according to Daniel chapter 4. But let your greatness uh, uh, grow and let it reach to high to places uh, the ends of the earth and we pray may you not be cut short uh, may the, the, the callings and the destinies uh, and the visions of God uh, for this great man uh, not be aborted uh, in the name of Jesus Christ at this moment this session I want to ask to focus on pray, the prayer topics where we are going to untie those captured and hunted for death in Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 18 and 19 the scriptures say, and say, and say, that says the Lord, woe to the women who sew magic charms on their sleeves and make veils for the heads of people of every height to hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people and keep yourselves alive? And will you profane me amongst my, uh, amongst my, among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread, killing people who should not die and keeping people alive who should not live by your lying to my people who listen to lies. By your lying to my people who listen to lies. How does the enemy execute his purposes? By lying to God's people who listen to lies. Listening to lies and exposing oneself to lies is one of the tricks and the effective means by which Satan brings people into captivity and bondage. He said that, why are you trying to use lies to kill people who should live? This moment, we are praying that anyone who has been hunted or captured for death be untied and be released in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been hunted, anyone who has been captured for death, we decree they are released. We, we decree their unconditional release by the blood of the covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind and break the hold of death and we declare, let them be loosed. Let them be loosed. Let them be loosed. Let them be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Psalm 35 verse 7, it says that for without cause, 
have they hid for me their nets in a pit? Without cause they have digged for my soul. They are hunting for souls. Anybody listening to me who is being hunted for death or has been captured for death. Peter was kept in prison and the day before his execution, prayer ensured that the enemy's plan or program of execution will be aborted because of the prayer. In Acts chapter 12, Peter was therefore kept in prison, verse 5, but prayer was made by the church. Anybody at all can pray. Satan doesn't mind you praying, but he minds when the church prays. Satan minds when the church prays. He doesn't mind anybody at all praying. Let them pray. Let them go ahead and pray because it does not threaten him. But when the believers pray, Peter was kept in prison. Peter was captured for death. He was captured for execution. But prayer was made by the church. We are coming together this moment in prayer to release, to untie anybody who has been captured for death, any marriage which, has been, which, which is being hunted for death, any ministry being hunted for death, any industry being hunted for death, which is not according to the program of God. He said, you are trying to kill people who should be alive and you are trying to keep alive things that should be dead, people who should be dead. In the name of Jesus, we decree over your life, over your ministry, over, over your, your city, any satanic program that has been, uh, has been put in place, has been instituted to bring death, to bring death, to bring death over marriage, over ministries, o over families, over systems that are supposed to be godly. Any satanic programming, we are bought, we are bought, we are bought and release all those who have been captured for death. We release you. We release you. Your health is released. Somebody listening to me from the hospital. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Labahaturia. Lemberi Hataya. Lobari Hataya Shonde. Miriam Dolabababababo. Ibariada. We decree. That those who have been captured for death, the net they have hid for your soul in the pit, we decree that it backfires, it backfires, it backfires. The plans they have in place to humiliate you, to pull you down, to tear down what God is building with your hands. The plans they have put in place in the name of Jesus, we pull it down, we destroy it, we decree that it is aborted. In the name of Jesus, satanic, satanic programming, demonic machinations, satanic incubations, satanic arrangements, orchestrations. In the name of Jesus, we decree that they are aborted, they are destroyed, they are reversed. And anybody who has been captured, anybody who Satan has taken hold of to destroy you, any health, that, that dirty finger of the devil that has been placed on your marriage, we cast it in the name of Jesus. That dirty finger of the devil, which he has placed on your health, which he has placed on your daughter, which has placed on your son, which has placed on your family, that dirty hand of God, that, that dirty hand of the devil, that dirty finger of the devil, we bring the hand of God, the glorious hand of God, against the finger of the devil. The magician said to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. Jesus said, if I, by the finger of God, cast out devils, Luke chapter 11 from verse 20, if I, by the finger of God, cast out devil, we pray, let the finger of God, let the finger of God come against the finger of the devil, which he has, the dirty finger of the devil, which he has placed on your life, placed on your ministry, pastor, 
bishop, the hand of the devil that has been extended towards you, it, it withers. We command it to wither. We command it to wither. Your ministry will not wither. The, hand, the evil hand will rather wither. The evil hand will wither. The evil hand will wither. Your business will not wither. Man of God, woman of God, my brother, my sister, we are praying. Your business will not wither. Your marriage will not wither. Your health will not wither. Any satanic program in place to attack you, to bring you down in the name of Jesus. According to Acts chapter 2, he said, For it is not possible that death should hold him. It is not possible. If death could not hold him, death should not be able to hold you. Death should not be able to hold him. Bible says in Hebrews chapter 2 that he tested death for all of us. He tested death for all of us. Hebrews 2 9. Christ was made a little too lower than the angels for the, for, for, for the suffering of death that he might test death for all of us. So anything that has been put in your life that have been targeted towards you to introduce death, to bring death, you will not taste that death. Your marriage will not taste that death. Your business will not take that death. That city will not take that death. That marriage, that ministry will not taste that death. In the name of Jesus, you are escaping. You escape. You overcome. You escape. Somebody lift up your voice and let's pray. Kabada shahadaya, rabada badahaya. We rescue, we untie those who have been captured, those who have been hunted for death. We rescue them, we untie them by the finger of God. We untie them, we rescue them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. We also want to pray and terminate every shadow of untimely death and exchanges every shadow of untimely death you will not die before your time you will not die before your time you shall the psalmist said i shall not die but i shall live to declare the works of the lord in the name of jesus we decree that every untimely death we decree that every shadow of untimely death, every shadow of untimely exchanges, we abort them, we abort them, we abort them. The Bible says that, uh, that, that Jesus said a parable, Matthew chapter 13, a master went to sow seeds, verse 25, when men slept, an enemy came and sowed tears. Verse 28, he said, an enemy has done this. The enemy always introduces tears. It's, it's the, 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 the servants said to the master, did we not sow good seeds? Did I not invest well in my marriage, in my children, in my business? From when come this test? In my ministry, in our nation, in, in, in your career? Did I not invest well? No, this is not the part of the investment. What kind of transaction is this? What kind of satanic transaction is, is going on? An enemy is behind it. Hey, an enemy is behind it. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to wake up and identify where the enemy is working. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, it said, For we are not ignorant of the devices. The enemy works through devices. And the devices we don't realize, devices we don't notice, devices, devices we, are, we are not aware of, Satan uses against us. But thanks be to God that light has dawned. Thanks be to God for illumination. Thanks be to God for insight. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we come against every scheduled death, every scheduled death, every scheduled exchange. In the name of Jesus, every scheduled exchange by the devil, every untimely untimely death and scheduled exchange by the devil we overcome it we destroy it we destroy it we destroy it Kabataya. somebody lift up your voice pray and dismantle pray and destroy pray and pull down tear down tear down tear down tear down every demonic installation every satanic arrangement of untimely satanic shadow of untimely death and exchange did we not sow good seeds how where is this there where are these tears coming from there has been a demonic exchange there has been a switch demonic switch but we pray and reverse it we pray and paralyze and neutralize satanic
satanic installations, satanic infiltrations within our camp, within our families, within our ministries, within our cities, within our closed circuits. In the name of Jesus, we, we expose it and eliminate it. Expose and eliminate, expose and eliminate satanic infiltrations, satanic introductions, satanic interjections in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the everlasting sprinkling, by the blood of the eternal sprinkling, we decree, we decree that satanic shadows, satanic arrangements, satanic... Uh, Plans and programmings are cancelled, are cancelled, are cancelled. Ilo bahaya, ilo baruha, ilo baruha, ilo baruha. Alo bahonda ya de, alo bahonda ya baba. Shada handia, shada handia. Abiria de, abiria de. Ilo sohamba, ikuluhanda sahai. Ayi do humanda, baruho tu humbe. Abrakata shunde, abruko zohunda. Ile humanda, hubehe, hubehe, hubehe. We decree, we decree by the blood of the covenant. Let the satanic programming, let the satanic shadows be aborted, be destroyed, be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, we also want to pray that let every financial transaction in the spirit world for our death backfire. Every financial transaction. Let's look at the text again. The foundational text. That says the Lord. Woe to the women who sow magic charms, uh, magic charm on their sleeves and make veils for the heads of people of every height to hunt soul. So they are they are sowing magic charms, uh, charms to hunt souls and making veils to hunt souls. So you think this is a good transaction? No. There are satanic programmings behind it. And watch this. Uh, Watch this, and I will, and I, uh, sorry, and will you profane me amongst my people for handfuls of handfuls of barley and for uh, uh, pieces of bread? So they, if they make it feel like we are giving you a handful of barley, we are giving you uh, bread, but no, it's an exchange. It's a transaction that is meant to disadvantage the church, that is meant to disadvantage the community, that's meant to disadvantage this generation, that is meant to disadvantage the nation. But the devil is a liar. But the devil is a liar. By the revelation of the goodness of God, by the revelation of the gospel, by the revelation of the of the of the wisdom of God, every satanic lie be exposed. And, and and neutralize. Now watch this. It says that killing, so you do that, killing people who should not die and keeping people alive who should live. How? By your lying to my people who listen to lies. So lies, the enemy uses lies, whether in the media or social media or mainstream media or in the uh, uh, print media, or by hearsay. Haven't you notice how nowadays lies are at large? People, everybody is saying what they think must be said. And people are believing anything they have to believe. It's Satan's program. Bible said, uh, 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 the Archbishop uh, shared this scripture with us. Uh, Papa said, according to the scripture, in Revelation chapter 16, verse, verse 13, it speaks about how out of the mouth, unclean spirits like frogs came out of the mouth of the beast, of the dragon, of the beast, and the false prophet. When they open their mouth, what is coming out is not good. What is coming out is not good. But thanks be to God that we will expose their lies. We will see the lies by the revelation of God's truth. By the revelation of God's truth. Let me show you this scripture as we uh, get ready to pray a last prayer and, and finish. In, in, in Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8. Hear what the, 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 the Lord says. It says that, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume, how? With the spirit of his mouth. You see, spirit of his mouth. The evil one also operates with unclean spirit from the mouth of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. God will also destroy and consume, how? With the spirit of his mouth. With the spirit of his mouth. He will consume them with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The brightness, the brightness depicts Glory, illumination, 
clarity, the brightness of God's coming. That's why we cannot stop preaching the gospel. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to do what? To preach. And the anointing comes for somebody to preach. And as we preach, people's eyes are open and they can escape the grips of the enemy in prayer. He said, anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. And watch this. He said, preach deliverance to the captives. We decree deliverance. We are preaching deliverance to the captives. I pronounce your deliverance. I declare your deliverance. Anybody under captivity, any marriage under captivity, any ministry under captivity, any house under captivity, any country under captivity, any community under captivity, any industry under captivity, every business under captivity, every family under captivity. I preach your deliverance. We preach your deliverance. We preach your deliverance. We prophesy your deliverance. We prophesy your deliverance. We prophesy your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, he said to preach captivity to the, uh, uh, to preach deliverance to the captive and recovery of sight. We preach recovery of sight. That's revelation now. We preach recovery of sight to the blind. And he says that to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. I believe in the word of the Lord. As the word of the Lord, the truth of God. Brothers and sisters, every lie of the devil to obscure the truth of God, we preach it out. We expose it through the preaching of the good news. We expose it through declaration by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the spirit that comes out of the mouth of the Lord. We decree that anyone pro programmed to die, you are escaping. And look at this as I finish. Look at this. And the Bible continues to say, even Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9, even him whose coming is after the, the working of Satan with all power, all power and signs and lying wonders. Satan oppressed through lies, lying wonders, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth and uh, they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. The truth saves the truth. And as we are praying, we are praying that the truth that brings deliverance, the truth that brings salvation, the truth that brings freedom in societies, in nations will, pay, will find its way to, to be superimposed over the lies Satan is spreading around. Lies about men of God. Lies about the church. Lies about the goodness of God. Lies about systems in the name of Jesus. Lies by leaders lies by, by societal leaders or all kinds of leaders that Satan is using to propagate, to push his agenda. Lies of the devil to bring division in the church. Lies of the devil. We expose it and we come together in prayer. Thank God for these hundred days of prayer. We pray. We pray in the name of Jesus that every demonic transaction, satanic transaction, transaction in the spirit to impose death over nations, over marriages, over over households, over, over health, over ministries. In the name of Jesus, we come against, we come against the plan of the enemy. We come against it. We come against it. We come against it. We override it. We overrule it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You shall see the goodness of God. We will continue praying. In Jesus' name, Father, thank you for this privilege to pray. We receive the grace to continue in prayer to the glory of your name. Satan will not have an upper hand over this generation, over this generation, over our nations, over our nations, over our communities, over our cities, over our ministries, over our businesses, over our industries, over our families, and over our health. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You shall not die. You shall live to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Well, we thank God for this session. The, the next watches are coming. Let's all make sure as much as we can. Let's connect. Let's join up. Let's team up as we pray. Those who have been registered, registered please, let's make sure you register because all things work together. Everything's working together. One more time, I want to say thank you so much to the Archbishop, Nicholas Duncan Williams. Thank you 
for the kind of father you are, for the kind of generational specialist and messenger you are. We thank God for your life and we pray for long life. We pray for long life. We pray for favor. We pray for greater unctions and anointings and utterances and open heavens over you and your household. We thank God for your life. We celebrate you, Archbishop, and all the team that are working to make this possible. We love you all. God bless you. This is David Entry from London, United Kingdom. Looking forward to coming back on the next uh, the, one of the watches again and it shall be glorious. When we join forces up in prayer make sure that you are part of the prayer make sure your heart is in it you are praying when we are praying because God has a package of goodness for your life God will bless you and increase you as you join in this prayer effort from time to time in the nations of the world, scripturally, we have seen times when communities, nations had to pray. Uh, in the days of King Jehoshaphat, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, he was attacked by three armies in combination. They came together as a united front to attack him. And he had no power or might against that army. He had no army to compare with the army that was coming against him. His only help was in God. And the world is confronted with a virus. <laughs> uh, the world may be doing its best. Scientists may be doing their best. Medical doctors are doing their best. But we have no might against something so invisible, an enemy so little. But God is our help. He is our help. In ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy waves and forces, I declare to you today, as we join forces in prayer, as Jehoshaphat and Judah were saved, so, so shall the world be saved. So shall your nation also be saved. So shall the kingdoms of this world now become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. We declare today, so as we go into our first prayer, we are declaring, let the sickness come down. Jesus. Let it be abated. Let it be destroyed. Let it be scattered. Let it not have power anymore to torment and afflict humanity anymore. Let the power of God transform the landscape of the nations of this world. I declare today as we go into prayer, Power is coming on your life. Power and deliverance is coming for your nation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hand. Pray wherever you are. Mataba Shabaha. Mienda Baba. Antalalaba Sandabaha. Mienda Baba. Enda Baba Tasabanda Baha. Ekalaba Bari Andabaha. Mienda Baba. Antalalaba Baba. Mienda Baba. Antaba Sandabaha. Ekaba Tabaha. Mienda Baba. Ekaba Sandabaha. Andalalalala Baba. Antalaba Baba. Mienda Baba. We lift our voices in prayer. We declare prayer over the nations of this world. We declare prayer. Mayenda Baba. Shadabahaya. Mienda Baba. Anda Baba. Antalalalalalabasanda over West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Niger, Cote d'Ivoire, Mienda Baba, Burkina Faso, Mienda Baba, the Gambia, Senegal, may the nations be delivered, O oh God, Madeba Kari Aba, as we go to East Africa, we shift prayer. Mienda Baba, may Kenya be delivered. 
Uganda, Tanzania, Mayeda Bakabasanda, Ethiopia, Andabosha, Ekalalalabasanda Baha, the Congo, Brazzaville, Congo, Democratic Republic, Mayeta Kabashabaha, Mieta Basanda, let the nations be delivered, let the nations be set free. In the name of Jesus, Mayeka Lavasanda, North Africa, we declare prayer over Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, Mayeka Bata Bahanda, Anderi Ibata Kaya, Rabenda Baba, South Africa, Southern Africa, South Africa, Namibia, Lesotho, Namibia, Andabo Shabaha, Zimbabwe, Mabenda Kabataka. We ask for deliverances, uh, command deliverances for the nations of Southern Africa, Zambia, Mayeka Boshabaha. Lift your voice wherever you are. Lift your voice. Mayenta Kaderi Baha. Etaba Sandabaha. Mienda Baba. Etaba Sandabaha. We lift prayer over Europe. We declare let UK, the United Kingdom, be delivered. Let Ireland, Mabenda Kaduria, Elaba Sandabaha, Hey Kabata, Germany, Netherlands, France, Beyadaba, Portugal, let there be deliverances from Czechoslovakia to Hungary, Andabaha, command deliverances for the nations of the world. Mayenda Kaba, Etalalalalalaba, let the suffering of the nations come to an end. Mayeke Benda Kaduria, let every power, Etaba Shabaha, Mieda Baha, Etabaha, Endalalalalalaba. In the Americas, uh, let North America be delivered. Let the USA be delivered. Let Canada, Mexico, Central America, Honduras, Chile, Mabeka, Duri, Abela, Bru, Azar, Adelaba, South America, Brazil, Argentina, Ecuador, Bolivia. Let there be deliverances, command deliverances for your people. Mabeta Labaha, Andabo Shabaha, Ekaba Sandabaha. We pray for Asia, Mabenda Kadoria, China, India, Vietnam, Mabenda Kadoria, Endalalalalaba, Vietaba Satata, the South Korea, North Korea. Let there be deliverances. Command deliverances for Asia. Mienda Baha, Ekalalalalalalalaba. Abeta Bata Sanda, Abanda Baba, Adiri Aba, Abeka Bata Bata Sa, Adeka Ba, Adela Bata Ka, Adeda Bari Adea, Abenda Baba, the Philippines, Adela Baha, Eh Maha, Eh, Eh Abata Kahaya. In the name of Jesus, let the nations be delivered. Let the nations be set free. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, our prayers carry power. Jesus taught us to pray because he said prayer produce results. That whatsoever you shall ask the Father and believe, you receive it and you shall have it. And so prayer is equated to having. 
if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have the request we have made to him. Oh, Kabasanda, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I see your prayer making a difference. Adabakabahata. In the name of Jesus, we want to lift up a prayer over families for this pandemic has had ripple effect on many different areas of people apart from even health alone so we want to believe god that in the name of jesus let marriages hold strong let families hold strong in the Shabaha, let marriages be blessed let children be blessed let families be defended in the name of Jesus, yes, lift your voice, pray, pray, clap your hand. Bataba shadabaha, mekaba tabaha, antalalalalalababa, bientalalalabasanda, abantabahaya, antalalalalababa, epatasandabaha, antalalalababa. Let families be blessed. Me end up Let homes be blessed. Let marriages be blessed. Ma beka bata bahaya. Let children be blessed. Ma beta luri abata kahaya. Remember a day. Me end up a bar. Antala la 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 baba. Me et a Benda baha, bera baha taka, the endiri abaha. In the name of Jesus, mieta basanda, adiri abha. Let the power of God, ma beda baria, in the la 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 baha. Let the power of the Messiah, mienda baha, ka benda baha. Babela Baba, and la 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 Baba, Abinda Batata, Adeka Duri Abe, and the Baba, Epala la 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 Baba. We break ancestral powers. We break ancient powers. Adiri Abakata. In the name of Jesus, we arrest ancestral powers. Kadiri Abba, they cannot work evil. They cannot work evil. Adiri Abatata, Adela Batata, Abeda Bosha, Adiri Abba, Andabahata, Adiri Andabaha, Adela Batata, Andabaha, Mi Mi Endabaha, Ella Baba, Edaba Sanda, Abenda Baba, Ekalalalalalala Baba. May the nation be delivered. Epata Bahanda. Let marriages be delivered. Let children be delivered. Let homes be delivered. End of a half. Let the peace of God reign in homes. Me end of a half. Me end of a half. la 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 a benda baba, a de la batata, a dirie, a dirie, a be, a be, a be, a de le 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 baba, a banda baba, mi enda baba, a be da basanda, mi enda baba, eka la 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 baba. Abinda Baha, Mienda Baha, Benda Basanda Baha. In the name of Jesus, Maharia Sanda Baha, we know that every attack of the enemy has a direct result and indirect result. 
when people were afflicted with leprosy in the days of the scripture, they lost the ability to stay in town. They had to become homeless at once. No matter the mansion they have built, they have to give it up. No matter the business that they have set up, they have to give it up because they can't stay in town because of contagious disease. Ando Shabaha, it is our prayer that every side effect of this pandemic economically, especially economically, in the name of Jesus, want to destroy economic destruction that has come through the pandemic. We want to declare economic recovery in the next few moments uh, as we pray let there be total recovery yes. economic recovery in the name of the Lord Jesus clap your hand pray mabata and dalabataya and dabashabaha mienda baba ekala la 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 baba abata bahaya and la 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 baba bembam banda baba abenda la 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 baba abata basanda baha mienda baba e pala la 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 baba and deri baba we declare let there be economic recovery mabenda baba the nations of the world will recover their economy will not go down uh, personal finances uh, family finances uh, businesses uh, will recover in the name of jesus mabeka deva daria mienda la 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 baba bienda baba bienda baba avela batata adirie abenda baba adela baba abiri anda baba abemben bere anda baba Aderi ade kataria ela babanda baha enda la 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 bahaya Jesus now as we come to concluding part of our session prayer i can see strength coming into your life Jesus. i can see god empowering you Jesus. spiritually you are rising above every limitation every restriction the enemy cannot win the enemy cannot win god will prevail the kingdom of god will prevail in 30 seconds lift up a prayer over your own life over your own family in the name of jesus Jesus. Oh, thank God for the life of the Archbishop. Thank God for this vision. Thank God for your involvement. Keep on keeping on. Be part of every session. Invite your church, your family, your friends, your colleagues, and let the grace of God manifest the power of God. God richly bless you. We want to pray. To everything there's a season. To everything there's a time. There's a time for every purpose. We want to pray tonight. We want to pray this evening time. We want to pray this evening sacrifice. We want to pray. We want to pray. We want to pray at this time of incense. We want to pray. We want to pray. The heavens open up at the time of incense. As scripture will teach us from both Old and New Testament. We just know that when it is 3 p.m., ah, the heavens are open. Angels ascend and descend. They come on their assignments. 
And as we pray, as we pray, we are calling for the angels. Bible says he will give angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. We want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that angels will be assigned during this time of prayer. In the name of Jesus, angels will just be sent and they will bring forth answers to things that have had a toll, haven't had their season, and maybe the season being lengthened. We want to pray wherever you are. Pray with me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any occasion that the enemy has, any advantage that the enemy has used up until now to hold us captive, to hold the nations of this world limited, or to challenge the church, to challenge and to hold back the advancement of lives, education in, in various nations, uh, the economies of nations. As you lift up your voice, command in the name of the Lord Jesus that that season comes to an end. Command the season to come to an end. Break the season right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Mokaso taladabaha. Likon dibron delebobo zibros kadebodobaha. Yan talabaha. To everything, to everything. Including the floods. Including the earthquakes. Including coronavirus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We come against the force of darkness. That has sent forth entities to fight the inhabitants of this earth. We stand by the power that is in the name of Jesus and we command everything that has gone on contradicting life here on earth, in our nations, in our families, in the church, anything that has been assigned and everything that has been released against humanity. As we stand to intercede, as we stand to pray, we command the season Caesar's. We command the season is over. The season of wickedness is over. The season of finishing and losing things ah, ah, without uh, at the time that it should actually be working in our favor. I decree that any such thing as you pray with me, command the season of wickedness to cease. The season of ill be, 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 be ceased. The season of diseases be ceased. Pack up right now in the name of Jesus. Turn down in the name of Jesus. Whatever is riding upon the seasons uh, to hold uh, the inhabitants of this uh, uh, nation, of your nation, of Ghana, of Nigeria, of South Africa, uh, of India, in any form or shape, of USA, of the, uh, of the United Kingdom. I'm talking about anything that the enemy has assigned to Australia, to Asia, and speaking to China uh, concerning Taiwan in the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything that the enemy has released against the health of the economies of the nations, the health of individuals, the health of churches. Today we command, let the season break, let the season lose its force, let the entity that is riding upon the seasons stand down in the name of Jesus. It is enough, stand down in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in prayer, child of God. To everything there is a season, there is a season. And every season has its span. And now we command you seasons of evil released against the nations. Break, break, and stand up in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. The Bible says he makes wars cease even to the ends of the earth. And, 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 and indeed, Ecclesiastes uh, tells us that, you know, it's a time to kill and a time to heal. And therefore, you have had your season of killing. And now we call forth, as you break your season of killing, let the season of healing take over. In the name of Jesus, let the season of the healing of our waters take over. The season of the healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus, of our land, get in place. Let the healing, oh, of the people that inhabit our nations, in the name of Jesus, let the people in our families, oh, in the name of Jesus, let the people in our churches, in our offices, as they walk up and down the street, we command healing in the name of Jesus. Let the killing cease, the season of killing cease in the name of Jesus. Killing by all sorts, through accidents, oh, in the name of Jesus. Let every vehicular accident cease right now in the name of Jesus. Any such plan, oh, in the, in the, in the heavens, on the lands, 
or, or, or on the seats, let vehicular accidents, oh God, be prohibited even henceforth and let lives, oh God, be rescued in the name of Jesus by the blood. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, let lives be redeemed. Let there be rescuing of lives, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let the mouth, the blood testing spirit, oh, behind the killings, O oh God, through all sorts of infirmities, all sorts of diseases, all sorts of viruses, O oh God, including the coronavirus, in the name of Jesus, let the season break, in the name of Jesus, let the season of killing give and hand over right now to the season of healing. Uh, it is a season and a season that has been just full of wars, all kinds of wars. Now let that season come to an end in the name of Jesus. Let those things that are used, oh God, to fight, oh God, all these we wars, the weapons, the weapons of mass destruction, my God, in the name of Jesus, any form of weapon in the form of God, even of very, very small substances, Ah, in the name of Jesus, let the war come to an end. Let it cease right now. In the name that is above every name. And let the time of peace take over. The time of peace take over. In the name of Jesus. Let the time of peace take over. Take over the nations. Take over, oh God, our parliament uh, houses. Take over, take over in the name of Jesus. Mako Sakataya, standing committees, steering committees that hold, oh God, uh, 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 sessions in order to advance the cause of the nations. Wherever you are right now, we speak peace. We speak peace. We speak peace in the name of Jesus. For without peace, we cannot build. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We honor your holy name. You know, uh, I just want you to understand that clearly uh, when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, this time of prayer, uh, which we call the time of prayer, the time of incense, uh, the hour of prayer, also the time of the evening sacrifice. And I'm talking about when the heavens are open for angels to ascend and descend. I just want you to have this understanding. I just want you to know that right before then, darkness seems to be ruling. Darkness seems to be ruling. It might appear to uh, the naked eye, the ordinary eye, that the sun is shining. But darkness, darkness takes advantage of when men are asleep, when men just believe what they see uh, as being real, right in the realms of the spirit. I just want you to know so many wicked things take place. That's why Bible says destruction shall not come at noon day. I want you to come with me to Luke uh, 23 verse 44. And Bible says... Now it was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. So there was darkness as it were from 12 noon right up until 3 p.m. You know our time. And I just want you to understand that as, as we have prayed and as we keep praying and, and, and thank God for the initiative of his eminence, the Archbishop, to get us to pray within the watches. I tell you that no distraction that was meant for you at noonday uh, ever took place. It was aborted by the prayer, by the prayer that's going on concerning us, myself, yourself, that the Archbishop put together, our Father put it together, the 100 days of global uh, 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 prayer watch, intercessions to avert, to avert the wickedness of the wicked taking place. I just want us to carry on praying. The enemy may have been ruling up until now. From 12 noon up until now. Thank God that Bible says he has translated us from the rule or the power of darkness into the, 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 the kingdom of his dear son. I just want you to know that as we stand here at the hour of incense, any wickedness that was formed and fashioned within that period ah, to manifest this evening going on from this time of prayer. Any wickedness uh, that was con con concluded, Bible says no weapon that is formed or fashioned against us shall prosper. Any tongue that has risen up in judgment against us, even as we stand in prayer, we condemn it. In the name of Jesus, you will not stand. Go ahead and pray with me. It shall not come to pass. Their determination is overruled. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we overturn their judgments. Let their expectation of their conclusions disappoint them. In the name of Jesus, as you lift up prayer, child of God, pray. 
We avert any form of wickedness. We cancel any sudden attacks, sudden death, untimely death, premature death. And now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, as we have come to the time of the evening sacrifice, let the angels appointed to take charge of the Archbishop and his family, of the team that are praying, of those who are joining with us, your loved ones, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the angels go into full force. In the name of Jesus, operating and defending our cause as we pray during these times. In the name of Jesus. Look here. I just want you to know that this time of prayer is so strategic as the Archbishop has, you know, uh, instructed uh, for us to intercede. Uh, it's such a time that scripture gives us uh, glimpses and windows of how heaven intervenes in the affairs of men. And so, simply put, I will take you to 1 Kings uh, chapter 18, you know, uh, verse 27 to 29. Uh, and, and, and without a shadow of doubt, you would realize that, that the story over there all has to do with God's people in, in, in straight diets. They were not sure who to uh, call their God because the king at the time had been so defiled uh, by the wife he got married to Jezebel. And she had brought strange, strange gods into the land. And God's people uh, were, were, were put under some kind of duress to have to, to, have to uh, worship uh, these, 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 these foreign gods. And, and, and the prophet of God, Elijah by name, stood up and challenged uh, that which the enemy wanted to impose on God's people as the norm of the day. Uh, and as he did so, uh, as he did so, he called for the prophets of Baal, the, the gods that were being worshipped, the prophets of those gods, he called them. And he said, you know, we have to, we have to sort out this challenge. And I, I just want you to know that he, 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 he gave them an option. He said to them, look, God's people must worship God. But if indeed you are saying that uh, Baal is their God, uh, I want you to, to just take two bulls. Take, let's get two bulls. Take one for yourself. Let me take one for myself. Let's sacrifice it unto God. I want you, first of all, to set up an altar. I want you to just do all you've got to do. Prepare it uh, and call upon your God. Make sure you don't put fire under this altar. But just call your God. And the God that answers by fire, he is indeed the God that we will serve. He is God. And so, and so they agreed. And at 12 noon, guess what? Uh, was when they began their sacrifice. Calling upon their God, he wasn't answering. Cutting up themselves, you know, uh, blood coming out, their God wasn't answering. But Bible says, hallelujah, uh, from, from 1 Kings 18, you can read verse 30, verse 36 to 38. Oh, when it was the time of the evening sacrifice. Just at this time, as we were praying, the heavens were open. Elijah knew something that others didn't know. And Bible says that he just, as it were, uh, uh, rearranged, he just set, uh, rearranged the altar that must go to God, just took 12 stones, uh, put it at the foundation, just representing God's people. And, and, and he made sure he dug around it and allowed them to put in water. You just to douse, you know, down as it were, anything that would appear to be a spark of fire before he began. The Bible says when he called on God, fire fell and consumed all the sacrifice. Today as we pray, as the heavens are open at this time, concerning anything that is contravening the mind of God, the will of God for your life, for your nation, in the name of Jesus, any arrangement to oppose the church by all forms of legislation. Today, in the name of the Lord Jesus, anything that has been assigned from governments of these nations to oppose the desire of God, the express will of God, in the name of Jesus, that is causing any kind of commotion in our environment, bringing all forms of sicknesses, diseases, and timely death. In the name of Jesus, as we pray, we ask, let the fire of God, let the fire of God, in the name of Jesus, consume. Let the fire of God destroy and make evident of no effect that which is being perpetuated from the realms of darkness against the inhabitants of your nation, of my nation, the inhabitants of the nations of this world, against governments, confusing governments, in the name of Jesus, veiling families, we destroy the veils by the finger of God, in the name of Jesus, and we lose the people of the land, we lose the government, we lose them in authority, we lose 
leaders of churches. We lose God's people. We lose everyone at the edge of dying, at the edge of just killing themselves right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We snatch you back into life. We establish you in life in the name of Jesus. This is the time that your angel has been assigned to go into oppression concerning our children. They are standing before God. The angels are standing before God. Indeed, having taken all kinds of good instructions, our children are delivered from addictions, from every form of association that destroys, from any wicked um, witchcraft and, and, and warlocks and, 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 and all that sorceries have to do, divinations, things that don't profit our children in the name of Jesus, but come to defile them. We seize you right now. Your season has ended, just ended. We have bought everything that you have structured ah, for our children to follow, for our children to suffer. In the name of Jesus. Darkness ruled for a time. It ruled for a season. From 12 to 3 p.m. Was Jesus hung on the cross. Darkness seemed to be ruling, but it ruled until, until, until we decree by the word of the Lord that the time has taken over the season that the enemy ruled against you, against the house of God, against every work that was put to advance the cause of the gospel. The season of compromise has ceased. The season of contradictions just came to an end. There is a takeover. There is a takeover. We declare its manifestation. We push its force. We enforce its rule. We enforce the dominion of God's people in the name of the Lord Jesus, of the saints in the name of Jesus. We enforce, we enforce the dominion given us now against every form of wickedness that was ruling. Your season just ended. Your season just ended. In the name of Jesus. Listen, Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 5, 22, Do you not fear me, says the Lord? Will you not tremble at my presence? The presence of God has taken over now. Who have placed the sand as the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass beyond? And though its waves toss to and fro, yet they cannot prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over a child of God. I just want you to know, in the name of the Lord Jesus, any wickedness against your health, all forms of diseases, heart diseases, uh, 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 you know, diabetes, hypertension, all kinds of diseases, blood diseases, you know, uh, leukemia, whatever it is, headaches, tumors, all forms of irregularities and abnormalities in our organs, uh, the kidney, the liver, our lungs, uh, uh, today as we pray, in the name that is above every name, even your skin, whatever it is that has been ailing it for a season, it is time for your healing to manifest. Bible tells us that God placed a bound, he placed a bound, sand as a bound to the, to the, to the sea. He said you can't pass beyond this boundary. Ayakatu Sakabaha says you cannot prevail even though you toss right there in the midst where I have given the container for you to remain. You cannot, you cannot pass over. I decree by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been ailing you, whatever disease, whatever sickness has been troubling you up until now, it breaks now. A season is over. A darkness rules no more. I command by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Let healing take over in the name of Jesus. Let the full manifestation of your recovery will be evident to all in the name of Jesus. Rise up from your bed. You shall not be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Rise up from your wheelchair. You shall not fall down, but walk in the name of Jesus. The season of limitation is broken by the power that is in the name of Jesus against any form and works of darkness against us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Solomon said again in Proverbs 8, 29, that God assigned to the sea its limit, its limit, its limit, so that the waters would not transgress his command. As we stand to pray, as we stand to make the command, as God has directed the Archbishop, his eminence and his group to stand praying, as God has given you power to command on his behalf, let the limit, let the limit, the limit to the season 
of pain, of sorrow, of loss in your business, in your business. You are losing, you are losing. It looks like, oh, your whole outfit is just going to go bust. Your people are going to go into all forms of redundancies and you are worried. I come to announce to you, let that progression cease in the name of Jesus. The wickedness against their finances and the economies of nations, of families today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any force that is driving it out of life, let that force be arrested. We dispossess that force, that power of anything it carries and it holds and supports it to work against the finances, the monies of God's people, the comfort of God's people today in the name of the Lord Jesus. We decree by the word of the Lord, you shall go no further. Stand down, it is enough. And relinquish your power in the name of Jesus. Kado saka payanda ha. Bible says that, oh, he assigned to the sea its limit so that the waters would not transgress. The waters will not transgress his command. I have come to tell you that in the name of Jesus, nothing that has ailed you, that has fought you, that has in any form or shape resisted us up until now, is not of God. I decree a season is over. A season is over. It happened for Zechariah and his wife. It, they were all just ready. It was all good for them, but they never found a baby. But at the time of evening sacrifice, while Zechariah did his work, thank God the heavens were open. The angel came and indeed announced the birth of a child that will bring them joy. The birth of a child uh, that will bring them rejoicing. Today I announce to you that as you pray today, your rejoicing comes. Your rejoicing comes. Heaven delivers your request. Healings. Healings. Healings to our bodies. Healings to our organs. Healings to our soul. Restoration to our spiritual lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Indeed, God has arisen and your enemies are scattered. And I want you to know that the other uh, 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 watches are so, so powerful. I just want you to be part of the prayer time. We are to pray without season. And we bless the name of the Lord for fruit out of your time spent before God in prayer. God bless you. It's a sound of alarm calling the church to prayer. So we want to raise as many people as possible to join in this time of prayer that we together will call upon heaven to step into our situations, to visit the earth, to turn things in our favor, to give us peace and to make a way for us. Where our strength fails, God, by his power, will step in. So please wake somebody up and let's come to the Lord in prayer. You see, the Bible says that there is an enemy and his name is branded many, many different ways in the scriptures. When you go to the book of Revelations, he's called a deceiver. He's called the old serpent. He's called the devil. When you go to Revelation chapter 12, after his war in heaven, he was kicked down. The Bible said, woe to the people on this earth because the devil has been thrown down with great wrath. The old serpent, the deceiver, he's out here and he's really angry. And we know the effects of the world, the events of this world are enough to tell you and I that there is an enemy in this world. The Bible says something in, Re in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said, I know the thoughts I have for you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil. To bring you to an acceptable end. God said, my thoughts for you are good and not evil. So anything evil is not from God. And Jesus, when he was teaching us to pray in Mark chapter 6, Mark chapter 6 and Matthew chapter 6 and verse 13, he said, pray in this manner. Deliver us from evil. It's a lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The new King James will say, deliver us from the evil one. Evil is a personality. Evil is a, a personality. May God deliver us from the evil one. When you come to John 10, 10, he said, the thief comes not but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Today, we want to focus our prayer in dealing with the things the enemy is doing in our communities, in our families, in our nations. His assignment is simple, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Right from Genesis through how the Bible, you see the agenda has not changed. So today we want to focus and deal with what the enemy is doing in our communities. Many lives are being lost 
more people are dying from other issues, other conditions and other situations than COVID. But COVID seems to be the main thing that everybody is talking about. But many other things are taking lives. The cancer, the tuberculosis, the asthma, I mean, road accidents are taking people. Or suicide is taking so many people. Why will somebody take their life? You mean the enemy is fighting their mind. The devil is doing battle on all fronts to take as many as he can take. But today you and I are being called upon to stand in the gap. God said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap. May you and I be that person, those people who choose to stand in the gap on behalf of our nations. If you and I shall pray, he said, if two shall agree concerning what they ask, God said, I will answer and I will turn things in your favor. So we want to join our faith. Please wake somebody up. If you're relaxing, shake yourself up. It's not a time of watching. It's a time of prayer. It's not a time of observing or even analyzing. No, it's just a time of prayer. So please rise up if you can and join in this time of prayer. We want to deal with the power of the enemy. Anything designed by the enemy to steal our peace, to destroy our peace, to kill innocent people in our communities, we want to come against it in the name of Jesus. So let's begin our prayer by focusing on the things, number one, that are destroying the peace within our communities. Whatever it is the enemy is using to destroy peace within our communities, to destroy lives within our communities. You know, when you listen to the news, sometimes it's a little scary. There is fire outbreak in one place and there's a flood in the other place. If it were possible, take the water from here and quench the fire. But that is not possible. Lives have been destroyed by many different things, but say in the name of Jesus, we come against every demonic power deployed by the enemy to destroy lives, to destroy peace, and to bring instability in our nations, in our communities, and in our families. Say by the power and authority of the name of Jesus, we come against every demonic power, every principality, every power, every demonic entity operating within our communities to steal our peace, to interfere with our sanity in the name of Jesus. Please lift up your voice, call upon the name of the Lord, clap your hands if you can. We clap our hands and God said, I will clap my hands as you clap your hands. And it is a sign of warfare. Call upon his name. In the name of Jesus, we arrest and override. We arrest and override every power of the enemy deployed by the enemy. In the name of Jesus, every entity that has entered our community to destroy life, to destroy property, to steal, to kill, and to take lives. In the name of Jesus, we arrest it. We arrest it. We arrest it. We bring that evil power. In the name of Jesus, we overturn the ways of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, anything fighting your community, anything fighting your nation, whatever it is, rise up in prayer. Stand in the in the gap on behalf of your nation, on behalf of your community, on behalf of your family and command the enemy to stand down in the name of Jesus. Whatever power it is that has entered your community, today you want to arrest it. You want to arrest it. Remember, he comes to steal, he comes to kill, he wants to destroy. Whatever has entered your community to destroy life by the power and authority of the name of Jesus arrested call it by name if you know and if you are not sure just lift up prayer and declare that every power deployed in my community, every entity released in my community to take life. You hear in some communities, and there's murder here, there is a stabbing here, there is suicide here, whatever has entered your community to worsen the scourge and the trouble already created by the pandemic. The movements have been halted. People cannot go to work. People have asked gasping for air, whatever it is that has come into our communities, into our nations, by the power and authority of the name of Jesus, arrested. He comes to steal, 
He comes to kill. He comes to destroy. But our Lord Jesus came that we will have an abundant life. We will have a peaceful life. He came to change the situation. Arrest that power in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that has entered your nation, say we arrest it. We arrest it. We break the power of the enemy. We arrest the power of death. We arrest every demonic power of destruction in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and arrest it. We break that power. We arrest we arrest it. Every demonic entity, every demonic personality, every evil clique that has been deployed in our communities, in our nations, in our society, we command them arrested, 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 arrested. In the name of Jesus, arrest them. In the name of Jesus, use the name and arrest that evil power. Clap your hands if you can and arrest that evil power operating in your community. Any demon that has been let loose, any ancient demon that has been stirred up, through demonic activities in your community, through demonic activities in your society, lift up your voice and arrest that evil power for their assignment is to steal, to kill and to destroy. Let that power be arrested. Lift up your voice. Don't get tired. Call upon his name. Arrest him. Mention them by name. Let that evil power be arrested. Any evil disease, any evil personality, any evil entity deployed in your community. Different things are happening in different nations. Apart from the COVID-19, which is, has been the attention and the focus of the whole world, whatever else is operating, arrest them, arrest them, arrest them, arrest them. Don't be blinded. Don't be deceived. There is an enemy in this world. There is evil in this world. May the evil of the devil not prevail against you. The Bible said there is an evil and it's called the evil one. Satan in his, is his name. He's the deceiver. He's the old serpent. He's the dragon. Kadua Kasaya, let that evil power be arrested. Any power that has entered your nation, let that evil power be arrested. In the name of Jesus, we woke up one day. And mercenaries have entered a nation and killed a president and created confusion. Any power that has targeted the leaders in your land, leaders of the church, political leaders, traditional leaders, to bring confusion, today we arrest them. Lift up your voice. Arrest every evil power deployed to take lives, to kill and to destroy. Let that evil power be arrested. It's a simple prayer. The devil has an agenda. May the devil's agenda backfire. The devil has an assignment. May the devil's assignment be overruled. Lift up your voice and come against it and superimpose the will of God over the plans of the enemy. Superimpose the plans of God over the evil agenda of the enemy. It's a prayer that my will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Command the manifestation of the will of God and let the plans of the enemy backfire. Arrest it. Nothing happens until you and I decree and make a request before God. Arrested. Don't get tired. Rise up. Walk about if you can and command it. Command it to stand down. Let every evil power break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Let the demonic entities be arrested in the name of Jesus. We break every evil spell. We break every evil spell. We cancel every evil projection in the name of Jesus. Command that devil to stand down. Any power that has entered your community let that power be arrested. Kudayanda Matasaya. May God come into your society. May God enter your nation. May God enter your family. And those that the devil has earmarked for destruction, today we command their release. We command their release. We command their release. We command their release. In the name of Jesus, we command their release. Traditional confusion, demonic stirrings. In the name of Jesus, we override it. For we see and we hear about tribes rising against tribes, parties rising against parties. Let that demonic scheme be overridden. Let that demonic plot backfire in the name of Jesus. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. The name is Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow wherever you are on the globe. In America, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia, in South Africa, West Africa, wherever you are, call upon the the name of the Lord. Evil is everywhere. That is why the Bible says the evil one, the evil one, the evil one, wherever the evil one is showing up, 
you by the power and authority of the name of Jesus can command him to stand down. Command that evil one to stand down. Command that evil personality to stand down in the name of Jesus. Satan, proceed no further in the name of Jesus. Command him to proceed no further. Command that power to stand down in the name of Jesus. Arrest it and override it. Break the power of the enemy. Break every evil spell in the name of Jesus. Any evil that has been let loose in your community, any power walking in your streets, seeking who he may devour. The Bible said he will, is looking for somebody to devour. You will not be that one. Your family will not be those people. In the name of Jesus, command the enemy's power to break. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Call upon his name. So we command every evil power deployed by the enemy to take life, to destroy life. Let that evil power break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. There is power in the name of Jesus. Use the name, use the name, use the name. We overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the power of our testimony. Jesus overcame that enemy. Don't be afraid of that enemy. Jesus has already triumph and force the victory of the cross over the devil in your community and for the victory of the cross over the demons in your community in the name of Jesus command it turn around in every evil situation the devil will not prevail the enemy will not have the last word it doesn't matter how advanced he has been let him turn back in the name of Jesus when you come to the book of Hosea chapter 9 and verse 14 he said, give to the enemy. What would you give him? What would you give him? He said, give him a miscarrying womb and dry breast. Why? Every plot, every demonic conception, we command it to miscarry. Everything the enemy has conceived, it doesn't matter how long he has incubated it, we command it aborted. We command the enemy to miscarry every mischief, every evil, every wickedness, every demonic plot. We command it to miscarry. We command it aborted in the name of Jesus. And anything that has been birthed in our blind sight, birthed and given birth to, whilst we were not watching, we command it to starve to death in the name of Jesus and, and Dry breast will, 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 will enforce the fact that it will not see the light of day. It will not grow. It will not materialize. It will not come to maturity. Whatever has been born, every evil that has been birthed in your community, we command it to die. We command it to die. We command it to die. And every evil conception, we command it aborted. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and command the abortion, the miscarriage of every evil plot, every demonic conception, every evil conception in your community, in your nation, in your family. Whatever the enemy has conceived, we command it aborted, we command it to miscarry in the name of Jesus. And we declare whatever has been birthed shall not be nourished. Kudayanda Makasaya, lift up your voice. Call upon his name, call upon his name, call upon his name, call upon his name, call upon his name. In the name of Jesus, give them, oh God. Give them a miscarrying womb. Give them dry breast. In the name of Jesus, may the agenda of the enemy not materialize. May the projections of the enemy not prevail. May the schemes of the enemy not stand. In the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has set in motion, we command it to go back. 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 We command it to backfire. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Issue the command. The Bible said you shall decree a thing and it shall stand. It shall come to pass. You shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. You need to make a decree. Say, I decree in the name of Jesus that evil will advance no further. I decree in the name of Jesus that my enemy, the enemies of our land will not prevail against that. Say, I decree in the name of Jesus that evil conceptions will not see the light of day. Lift up your voice and force it in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands if you can and call upon the name of the Lord. We come 
command every demonic agenda. Overreading, 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 overreading. We command it backfire, backfire, backfire. Let the evil plans of the enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Call upon his name in the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. Don't get tired. Don't grow weary. Call upon his name. Command the evil to go back. Command the evil to go back. Command the evil to go back. Whatever it is that the enemy is doing in your community, whatever it is that the enemy is doing in your nation, Kudayanta Makasaya, let that power break. Let the force behind it be arrested. Let the agenda of the enemy backfire in the name of Jesus. The Lord is on your side. God will turn it around. If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, it doesn't matter how many have gathered against you, against your family, against your nation. It doesn't matter how deep the plot is by the power and authority of the name of Jesus. We command the plans of the enemy over reading, over 10, over over reading, over 10, over reading, over 10, over reading, over 10, in the name of Jesus. And now you want to pray, oh God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Superimpose the will of God. Let the will of God be done. Oh God, let your will be done. Let your will be done in our lives. Let your will be done in our families. Let your will be done in our community. Let your will be done in our nation. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus, command the manifestation of the will of God. Command the manifestation of the will of God. You see, if it was automatic, Jesus, our Lord Jesus would not have said pray that the kingdom of God come. If it was automatic, then it would have just happened. But he said pray in that manner, say in the name of Jesus. I command the manifestation of the will of God. I command the manifestation and an establishment and a demonstration of the kingdom of my God in my community and in my family. In the name of Jesus, let the good will of God for your nation come to pass. Let the good will of God for your family come to pass. Let the good will of God for your life come into manifestation and let the demonic agenda be overturned, overthrown in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and call upon him. Decree it and it shall come to pass. Prophesy it and it shall manifest in the name of Jesus. Decree it, decree it, decree it, decree it. Call it into manifestation. Kudayanta Makasaya. God is waiting on you. He's waiting on you to make a decree that he will establish it. He's waiting on you to prophesy that he will show up. May God show up in your community. May God show up in your family in the name of Jesus. We serve a good God. And before we bring this session to a close, you want to pray for the leaders of the church. We want to pray for the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams and his family. And we want to pray for the church leaders using him as a point of contact. So, oh God, we bring before you, declare with me, say, oh God, we bring before you your servant, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, who you have inspired to call us together around the globe to pray at this time. Empower your servant to succeed in his God-given assignment. Protect him, deliver him from the schemes of the enemy. Deliver his family, protect them. And we use him as a point of contact. Pray for the church. Pray for the church across the nations of our world. We pray for our leaders. We pray for the fivefold ministries. We pray for the apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the teachers. The, oh, Father, we call for the evangelists. Call, we pray that you will rally them up that each will stand strong in this time, O oh God, of need to lead the church aright, to lead the church in the right direction. May they be protected. May they be preserved in the name of Jesus. We go beyond our church leaders. We pray for our national leaders. The Bible says pray for all men, especially for kings and for those in authority, that we may have peace, that we may have quietness, that godliness will prevail and that righteousness will triumph. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our leaders. Grant them peace. Show them a token for good. Show them, oh God, an evidence of your goodwill. And let the church rise up strong and powerful in all our communities. Where the church is struggling, we pray, oh God, that you will visit them and turn things around. And let the voice of our God be heard in our communities, heard in our families, heard in our nations. That the church will rise up and march strong in power to take new territories for the kingdom of God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor for surely you will do great and mighty things. May the Lord bless you. 
May the Lord keep you. May the Lord watch jealously over you. May God empower you for the journey ahead. It's a long journey, but we will get there. And this is not the end of our prayer. Even after the 100 days, we will keep praying. We will still keep calling upon the name of the Lord. Please remind your friends, there are many more watches, and let's keep praying. Let's keep calling upon the name of the Lord. Let's keep the pressure on the gates of the enemy. And as surely as the Lord lives, there shall be a performance of everything he has revealed to his servants, our leaders, in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you until we come your way again. Prayers in the name of Jesus and any occasion the enemy has had through the activities of our days and our life to oppose the prayers that we pray today, that in the name of Jesus and by the mercies of God, that occasion is dismissed. We plead the blood of Jesus over this watch right now, and we decree and declare that we have unlimited and unrestricted access to the throne room of God. We declare that nothing shall by any means stand in the way of our prayers today. Nothing shall by any means oppose us. Any accusation through which the enemy seeks and desires to defeat and undermine us in our prayers today, we declare that these accusations are hereby dismissed in the name of Jesus. Now, once again, I welcome you on behalf of the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. I'm coming to you live from the prayer cathedral of Action Chapel International. Now, wherever you are in any part of the world, ask somebody to join us. Go online on Nicholas Duncan Williams Ministries and, you know, select a watch. There are different watches of the day. You don't have to participate in all the watches. You just have to pick one watch that works for you. 30 minutes of focused prayer. And I know that God will turn something in your life around, turn something in your family around, Turn something in your nation around. Turn something in your community around. May you be that one person that when it is all said and done, God will say that when I sought for a man to stand in the gap, I found you. May you be the one that God has found. And as he has found you, may you also, just like the apostles did, find others, bring them in, and together let's lift up prayer. When prayer goes up, the heavens are open. And the hand of God moves in the affairs of men. Know this, that Jesus is Lord and God still rules in the affairs of men. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And I believe God that we're about to have a great 30 minutes of an encounter with divinity in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we acknowledge you wherever you are reaching us from, wherever you're connecting from, from Germany, from, from, from New Zealand, from USA, from Great Britain, from Scotland, from Canada, wherever you are, from Kenya, from Malawi, uh, from, from Mali, from Chad, wherever you are reaching us from right now, you can just send in a message. Let us know you're connecting. Let's hear your testimonies. Let's hear what good things, what great things God is doing for you, especially through these prayer watches. Or We know that great things are already happening. And I pray and I believe God that you are participating and that you are included in the blessings of the Lord in this season, in the name of Jesus. Today we want to do something that, 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 that is very powerful. Um, a lot of believers know the scriptures, but I want to come to you with a scripture we're very familiar with. And it's going to be our confession for our prayers, Psalm 23, Psalm 23 from verse 1. And I want you to declare it after me, Psalm 23 verse 1 that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. This year, the rest of the year, may you and your family lie down in green pastures. You have to say, say, I decree and I declare that in this year, from now to the end of the year, that it doesn't matter what is going on around me, me and my family, my nation, my community, my children, we decree and declare that we shall enjoy green pastures in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written in the word of God, when men are cast down, then shalt thou say that there is a lifting up. Therefore, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Pray the prayer after me. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that from now to the end of the year and beyond, the pastures of my family, 
my financial pastures, my marital pastures, my, my, my career pasture, the pasture of my business, my investment, the pasture of my community, it shall be green, it shall be green. In the name of Jesus, any type of wilderness experience, any type of drought the enemy has programmed for us this year, in the name of Jesus, let it be overturned and let our pastures remain green in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, he leads me beside the still waters. And Bible says here that, he restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Then he says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, there is an appearance of terrible things happening around us. From the virus to cancer to people dying from heart failures and heart disease, sudden deaths and accidents, superstars, uh, people in show business suddenly falling sick, dying, others in accidents. But you know what? It is the valley of the shadow of death, but it will not come near you. You will not die this year. Declare, I am not dying this year. My children will not die this year. My siblings will not die this year. My strategic partners and relations in the name of Jesus, none of them shall die this year. Any plan of death concerning me, concerning my children, concerning my spouse, in the name of Jesus, let that plan of death be aborted. Any death that has been programmed and already written and prepared for me or any loved one in the realm of the spirit by the finger of God, by the power of the blood of Jesus, by the finger of God, let that death warrant, let that handwriting and ordinance of death, that pronouncement and decree of death, by the power of the blood of Jesus, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Say, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Death against my children. Say, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Death against my leader. Say, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Death against my spouse. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Death against strategic partners. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Death against my helpers. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Death against me. I decree and I declare that it is Cancel in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that I shall not die, but I will live. I will live. I will live. I will come to a good old age. I will fulfill the calling and the mandate and the agenda of heaven concerning my life. And nothing shall by any means take me out before my time. Nothing shall by any means take my children out before their time. Nothing shall by any means take me out of existence in the land of the living before the time appointed for me by God, I decree and I declare that I shall live to a full old age in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You've got to declare it. I will live to a full old age. I shall live to a full old age. I shall live to a full old age. And in my old age, I shall not be bedridden. In the mighty name of Jesus, as it is written, that Moses was 120 years old and his eyes did not go dim, neither was his strength depleted. I decree and I declare that we shall live to full old age and our strength will not be depleted in the name of Jesus. He says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it may be happening all around you, but it does not include you. Say in the name of Jesus, any terrible situation, any crisis ongoing in my community, ongoing in my world, ongoing in my family, right now in the name of Jesus, in the nations of the world, I stand in the gap right now on the authority of the blood and in the name of Jesus, and I declare my exclusion from every activities of the devil, every activity of darkness, I decree and I declare that me and my household are excluded, I decree and I declare that me and my church are excluded, I decree and I declare that me and my business are excluded, I decree and I declare that my investment is excluded. I decree and I declare that my children are excluded from every event of 
darkness uh, that have been timed and programmed uh, to hit the world, to hit my community, to hit my family. I declare my exclusion right now by the power of the blood in the name of Jesus. He says, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemies. This year, in the name of Jesus, let those that hate us need us. In the name of Jesus, those that hate you will need you this year. Those that hate you will feed at your table this year. You will be their divine supply this year in the name of Jesus. And he says, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. When, when, when Samuel went to the prophet, when he was anointed, the prophet said, you are anointed this day to be captain over the lost inheritance. May that anointing to become a controller of the inheritance of the Lord, the heritage of the Lord. Lord, the possessions of the Lord, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Uh, we are heirs with Christ. We are joint heirs with Christ. He is an heir to God and we are joint heirs with him. Let that anointing for captainship, let that anointing to be captain over the Lord's inheritance, captain over wealth, captain over possession, captain over communities. In the name of Jesus, let that anointing come upon you. Let it come upon your children. Let it come upon your spirit. Spouse, in the name of Jesus, let that anointing come upon your life. That wherever you go, the difference will be seen and the difference will be clear. In the mighty name of Jesus, then he says, my cup overflows. Surely, you will have more than you need this year. Oh, you will have more than you require this year. You have to declare, say, this year I decree and I declare that I shall walk in overflow. I shall have more than I need. My church will have more than it needs. My community will have more than it needs. My nation will have more than it needs. My children will have more than they need. Not only physically, but even spiritually. There will be multiplicity of divine encounters. In the name of Jesus, there will be multiple angelic experiences. We will have more than we need spiritually. We will have more than we need physically. We will have more than we need emotionally we will have more than we need mentally this year it will be a year of lacking nothing and wanting nothing in the mighty name of Jesus then he says surely goodness and mercy shall follow you it shall follow me not just some days but all the days of my life it doesn't matter what's happening around me goodness and mercy is right around the corner in the name of Jesus Goodness and mercy shall follow me, declare. Say, I declare that goodness and mercy shall follow me. I declare that goodness and mercy shall follow me. I declare that goodness and mercy shall follow my family. I declare that goodness and mercy will follow my spouse. I declare that goodness and mercy will follow my children. I declare that goodness and mercy will follow my business. I declare that goodness and mercy will follow my health in the name of Jesus. And he says that, all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Let the house of the Lord become a dwelling for you and I. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Another thing we want to deal with today is the spirit of infirmity, or what people call sickness, disease, or illness. All over the world, you hear, especially when we hear young people die of sicknesses that we have known in the past to only affect the very aged. Um, it's a bad experience and the devil is on a mission to take people out before their time. But we stand on the authority of the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus and we declare that spirit of infirmity whether by coronavirus or any chronic situation or even mild fevers and headaches and things that are meant to bring us complications health-wise and physically, that spirit of infirmity, spirit of infirmity, spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus, lose your hold. Wherever you are, declare a spirit of infirmity 
Lose your hold over my life. Spirit of infirmity. Lose your hold over my family. Spirit of infirmity. Lose your hold over my children. Spirit of infirmity. Lose your hold over my spouse. Spirit of infirmity. Lose your hold over my body. I break the power of infirmity right now. Any disease, any sickness, any infirmity that has been shot into our bodies, the bodies of our loved ones, like an arrow in the name of Jesus that is suddenly infusing any infection or pain or sickness right now by the power of the blood of Jesus. We command it to be flushed out right now by the power of the blood of Jesus. We command it to be flushed out in the name of Jesus. We flush out infirmity. We flush out infections. We flush out diseases. We flush out sickness in the name of Jesus. It says in Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, so you shall serve the Lord your God and he will bless your bread and your water and I will take away sickness from among you. I will bless your bread and your water and I will take away sickness from among you. In the name of Jesus, anything you come into contact with, anything that is so necessary for life that you need it, and so the enemy poisons it to be used as a weapon to sow sickness and disease in your body. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let it be sanctified. Let our bread and our water be sanctified. And any sickness that has become resident among us, in the name of Jesus, we overturn that residency. In the name of Jesus, let the residence permit of this coronavirus in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus, let it be revoked. We revoke and cancel your resident permit among us, in the name of Jesus. Any sickness that has gained residency in your bloodline, Diabetes is gaining residence in people's bloodline. Cardiac situations, chronic cardiac situations that has gained residence in certain bloodlines. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that your tenure is over. Your tenure is over. Your tenure is over. This far you have come and you shall proceed no further. Lose your hold. Be expelled in the name of Jesus. We declare that today marks your expiry date. Your residency is hereby revoked. Spirit of cancer, I revoke your residency. Spirit of tumors, I revoke your residency. In the name of Jesus, and as I revoke your residence, pack your goods and go. Lose your hold right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatever infirmity or sickness you are dealing with, declare it right now that in the name of Jesus, I revoke your residency, for it is written that the, at the appearance of light, the darkness could not comprehend. Let Jesus appear, let the power of the Holy Ghost descend, uh, and let the residency and tenure of any sickness in our lives, in the name of Jesus, let it be revoked, in the name of Jesus. And I have one more scripture for you. Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2, he says, He who dwells, in the secret place of the Most High. He shall abide under the shadow. Abide means stay, is a prolonged dwelling, uh, saturated with a presence. Let the presence of God be your protection. Let the presence of the Lord be our preservation. Let the presence of God be our exclusion from evil and our inclusion in blessing. Let the presence of the Lord bring favor in the mighty name of Jesus like never before. Let the presence of the Lord turn away every darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Lord shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let my atmosphere be saturated with his presence. Anywhere I go, anything I do, let the presence of the Lord saturate that place uh, and let that presence make a difference. Let your presence, O oh Lord, make a difference. Can you say that? Let your presence, Father, make a difference. 
Father, let your presence make a difference. Let your presence make a difference. Saturate my atmosphere. Saturate my location. Anywhere I go, whatever I do, anywhere I sit, let your presence saturate that place. Let your peace saturate that place. Let your favor saturate that place. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge. He said, I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. They that put their trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion which can never be moved. Any impediment to your ability to put your trust in God boldly, let that impediment be shattered. We dismantle the weapons and the devices of the enemy that are meant to cause us to mistrust God. In the name of Jesus, let these weapons be dismantled. A man took his son to Jesus Christ. To be healed. The apostles couldn't heal. The disciples couldn't heal, heal the boy. Jesus came on the scene. Jesus said, Do, is this something you want? He said, yes, this is his situation. This is his situation. And, and if you can do anything, if you can do anything, please help me. And Jesus said, you know what? You don't come to me asking if I can do anything. And the man said, that, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. As much as I know you can do it, I have been through many things in life that just question whether or not this is even going to happen for me. I've had many disappointed expectations before and I'm beginning to feel like this is just one of them. But I came to declare to you that if you can put your trust in the Lord and not be moved by what is going on around you, that he will show up for you. He will make a difference with you. He will make a difference with you. Listen again, he will make a difference with you. Not even for you. He will make a difference with you. May the Lord make a difference with you and I. May the Lord make a difference with us and our children, us and our families. May the Lord make a difference with us and our businesses. In the name of Jesus, let a different type of light, not a pretentious light, not a hypocritical light, but let a true light of God be revealed through you and I. In the name of Jesus, let his glory be revealed through you and I. Let us be vehicles that carry the presence of God, bringing deliverance everywhere we go. In the mighty name of Jesus, this year, from from now to the end of the year, now to the end of the hundred days, we decree and declare that we shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Somebody declare, say, I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Say it again, say, I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Say, I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Me and my family, we shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Me and my children, we decree and declare, we shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My business will taste of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Now, finally, the word of the Lord says, if you are willing and you are obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Anything that has been assigned to distract us from obedience, to distract us from willingly giving ourselves over to what God requires of us, to ensure that we do not taste an experience of the good of the land, let the distractions be arrested. In the name of Jesus, whatever is taking us out of alignment with God so that we are not included and we are not partakers of the good that is in the land, we declare in the name of Jesus from now to the end of the 100 days, let alignment be restored. I declare from now to the end of the 100 days, say it after me, I declare from now to the end of the 100 days, let divine alignment be restored to me. Let divine compliance be restored to me. 
and I decree and I declare that I shall eat of the good of the land. Say it again, I shall eat of the good of the land. Again, I shall eat of the good of the land. I shall eat of the good of the land. I shall eat of the good of the land. I shall eat of the good of the land. I shall eat of the good of the land in the name of Jesus. And because of this confession, anything bitter, anything that is distasteful, we decree and declare that will not and shall not be our experience in the name of Jesus. It's been a pleasure praying with you one more time. And I'll come to you again. Remember, keep it up. A hundred days of prayer all over. A hundred thousand intercessors praying the same thing at the same time. God will certainly, certainly do something new. And remember, Jesus is Lord and God still rules. No other but God, Elohim, still rules in the affairs of men. Welcome on board. We're calling all the intercessors. You can call your friends, call your neighbors. Let's come together to pray. We're calling every intercessor. We are waking up the mighty men and the mighty women. We are pushing back the frontiers of the kingdom of darkness. Let the intercessors arise. We are waking up the sleeping giants. It's time to pray. It's time to call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In 2 Samuel chapter 24, it is said that David wanted to number the people of Israel and Joab tried to prevent him. The leaders tried to prevent him, but David insisted and went ahead to number the people of Israel. Everybody was wondering, why would David want to do this? After God had picked him from the backside of the desert, when he was a nobody with a stone and a sling, he was able to destroy Goliath. Just that, where would you want to number your army to see how powerful that you are? Joab tried to prevent him, but no, David persisted, went along, and he numbered the people. And afterwards, his heart was grieved. He knew he had sinned against God. And now he had to repent, and he cried out to God that God should have mercy on him. But this is what God told God, David seer, to tell him. Let's read the scripture in 2 Samuel 24. I'm reading from verse 11. Now when David arose in the morning, the word of the Lord came to the prophet God, David Seah, saying, Go and tell David, thus says the Lord, I offer you three things. Choose one of them for yourself that I may do it to you. So God came to David and told him, he said to him, Shall seven years of famine come to you in your land, or shall you flee three months before your enemies while they pursue you, or shall there be three days plague in your land? Now consider and see what answer I should give back to him who sent me. And David said to God, I am in great distress. Please let us fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. But do not let me fall in the hand of man. So the Lord sent a plague upon Israel from morning until the appointed time. From Dan to Beersheba, 70,000 people died. And when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord relented from the destruction and said to the angel who was destroying the people, It is enough. Now restrain your hand. And the end of the Lord was by the threshing floor of Arana the Jebusite. Then David said to the Lord, when he saw the angel who was striking the people and said, Surely I have sinned, I have done wickedly, but these sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray, be against me and against my father's house. And God came that day to David and said to him, Go up, erect an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Arana the Jebusite. So David did according to the word of the Lord and went up as commanded by God. Hallelujah. And David built, in verse 25, he built an altar to the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord heeded the prayers of the land and the plague was withdrawn from Israel. We have to come back to God. We are learning from the life of David. Well, when he did the wrong thing and God pronounced judgment to him, he did not run away from God. David knew God, had a revelation about God. And he realized that all that God was offering him, the best thing to do is to run back to God. And that is exactly why we are gathered. We want to run back to God. 
We don't know why the coronavirus has hit our world. But all we know is that we have a God who said, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you have not known. So we are coming back to our God and to ask him, we don't know why this is happening to our world. And we come to you and we are praying that have mercy on us and bring deliverance to us. Father, oh God, let the hand of the enemy be stayed. Let the coronavirus go back. Let the power of God be released across the nations of our world. We are crying together, oh God, for mercy. We are crying that you deliver us from that which is too strong for us. We are crying to you that the power of the enemy over the continents of our world, over the nations of our world, be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, associate yourselves. You shall be broken to pieces. Get yourselves. You shall be broken to pieces. Take counsel. It shall not stop. Speak the word. It shall not come to pass, for God is with us. We declare that God is with us. As we cry for mercy, God will answer us and deliver us from that which is too strong for us. As we are holding the hands of God, of the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, all of us across the nations of the world, we are crying out, O oh God, that you bring deliverance, O oh God. Deliver us from this coronavirus. Let the yoke of coronavirus break over the nations of our world. Let the yoke break over the nations of our world, over the continents of our world, over our communities, over our families. In the name of Jesus, we drive back this virus. In the name of Jesus, let the killing stop. Let the dying stop. In the name of Jesus, we speak to our families, O oh God. We command deliverance, O oh God. We speak to those in hospital. So best. We command deliverance, O God. Let the spirit of death be cast out in the name of Jesus and let deliverance come to us, O God. We call upon your name, the God that answers by fire. Answer us, O God. Breathe your breath over the world and bring deliverance to the nations of our world. We come back to you and we cry back to you in your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We are praying, O God, don't deal with us according to our sins. Deal with us according to your loving kindness and your tender mercies, O God, reach out to us, O oh God, as we are drawing near to you. You said we should draw near to you, and you will draw near to us. We draw near to you, not in our righteousness. We are coming to you through the blood of Jesus. We come and plead for mercy and grace that you will deliver us, O oh God. Look to Jesus and look at the blood, O oh God, and deliver the nations of our world, O oh God, from coronavirus, O oh God. Whatever we did that opened the door, on account of the blood, we shut it. Let the blood shut the door. In in the name of Jesus, O oh God, you said we shall decree a thing. It shall come to pass and light will shine on our ways. Whatever we disallow here on earth is disallowed in heaven. Oh God, let your kingdom come across the nations of our world. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven, O oh God. We bind this spirit. We bind this demon, not by might or by power, but in the name of Jesus, we command you, go back. You will not prevail across the nations of the world. We overcome you, O oh God, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies. For this cause the Son of God was made manifest that he would destroy the works of darkness. Therefore we declare in the name of Jesus on account of the finished work of the cross, on account of the blood that poured from Emmanuel's veins, we stop the virus now in the name of Jesus. Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Therefore we resist this virus in the name of Jesus. Go! You will not prevail. We resist you out of our lives, out of our continents, out, out of our nations of the world, out of our families, out of our communities, out. Go in the name of Jesus. We oppose you by the blood. We oppose you by the blood. We oppose you on account of the blood. And we decree that no weapon that is fashioned against us shall prosper. Every tongue that will rise against us in Germany, we condemn it. We condemn every false spirit that is speaking in the shadows, releasing curses across the nations of the world, releasing disease diseases across the nations of the world on account of the stripes of Jesus. We command healing to them that are sick. We command healing. We pronounce healing in the name of Jesus by the blood. We command healing everywhere. Let the blood of Jesus be superimposed over the work of the enemy, O God. Father, lift up, O God, the hands of your people that are praying, O God, and pour, O God, even as the incense arise to your throne, pour the thunder and the lightnings of God.
destroyed the virus, devastated, destroyed, push it back, oh God, and bring deliverance to the captives, bring deliverance to them that are bound in the name that is above every other name. Father, we pray for a way of escape. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with every temptation, he will make a way of escape that you'll be able to bear it. That's why we are here to cry to you, oh God, God, that every door, oh God, of escape, open our eyes, show us the way of escape out of this temptation, show it to us. Father, in the name of Jesus, show us the way of escape. As we pray, let the yoke break, oh God, even as, oh God, David cried for mercy and cried to you. In 2 Samuel 24, verse 80, the Bible said, and God came that day to David and said, go, erect an altar, oh God, of the Lord on the threshing floor of Arana the Jebusite. So David did according to the word of the Lord. Oh Lord, show us the way of escape, oh God. Out of this temptation, we have come to you, oh God, lifting up an altar of prayer, oh God. We make an altar of prayer. We raise incense, oh God, to the holy throne of God, almighty one of Israel. Elohim, the Lord, the God of all flesh, the God who answers prayer, we rise up from the continents and from the nations, from the communities, oh God, from our homes, everywhere we rise up, oh God, and we call upon your name. We cry unto you, oh God. We build an altar of prayer to you. Let the incense rise. Let the incense rise. Let the mighty men and the mighty women gather. Let them gather together, oh God. Gather, oh Lord, around your televisions. Gather, oh God, around your homes. Even as prayer is being lifted, begin to raise your voice. Begin to pray. Pray. Let the vow let, oh God, this plague cease. Let it cease. In the name of Jesus, there is power in your mouth. Whatever we disallow here on earth is disallowed in heaven. Therefore, right now, in the name of Jesus, by divine authority, we disallow the virus, oh God, from taking many lives. We disallow this virus from taking lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak deliverance, oh God. We speak deliverance, oh God. We speak deliverance to the captives, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you send for your word. You heal them. You deliver them from their destructions. We send the word of healing through the blood of Jesus. You declare, by your strength, we were healed. Yourself took our diseases and our infirmities, O God. Therefore, them that will be held captive, we pray, O God, let the stripes of Jesus, O God, bring total and complete healing, O God, to bodies that have been devastated by this demon. In the name of Jesus, let your bread. Let it break by the anointing. By the anointing, every yoke shall be broken. We command in the name of Jesus, let this yoke of coronavirus break of the necks of your people. In the name of Jesus, we cry for deliverance. Show us the way of escape, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we destroy demonic entities assigned to enforce satanic decrees. We counter decree to the blood. We counter decree to the blood. We counter decree to the blood. We enforce deliverance. We enforce healing. We enforce salvation. We enforce protection. Father, we enforce, oh God, life. We speak life in the name of Jesus. Your words and the light will shine in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it right now in the name that is above every other name by divine authority light be let light be let light be let darkness go we command light in the darkness in every darkness in every home in every hospital wherever this virus of God has captured lives we command light let the light shine let the light shine in him was life and the life was the light of men the light shines in the darkness and the darkness Darkness cannot comprehend it as we raise prayer across the continent and across the nations. We command light penetrate. Let light penetrate. We command the light of the glorious God to penetrate the darkness. Penetrate the darkness. Penetrate light. Penetrate the darkness in the name of Jesus, O oh God. And let, O oh God, this demon take off in the name of Jesus. We counter decree to the blood of Jesus, O oh God. And we command deliverance in the name of Jesus. Open the eyes of the scientists, O oh God. Show them the answer to the best vaccines in the name of Jesus. You created man in your image and in your likeness, O oh God. Activate that which you have put in man. Activate that which you have put in man. Show the answer. Show the answer to your 
people in the name of Jesus. Show us that way of asking. Give wisdom to our scientists in the name of Jesus. Hey, my God. And I suppose the workers of iniquity that are hiding behind the shadows and chanting evil, O God, and commanding that more lives to be destroyed. Expose them in the name of Jesus. Destroy their works in the name of Jesus. Devastate their come in the name of Jesus. We command that they will not prevail. We prevail over them through the blood of Jesus, O God. You have made us more than conquerors through the blood of the eternal covenants. Therefore, we prevail. We prevail in the name of Jesus over false spirits, O God, that have gathered together and forcing satanic decrees, O God, and declaring that many lives be lost. Father, O God, even as you prevented, O God, the spirit of death from continuing to destroy as David cried to you and erected an altar, so do we declare, let this death discontinue. In the name of Jesus, O God, we destroy every covenant with death over the nations of the world. Every agreement with the grave concerning the nations of the world, it shall not stand. Let the agreement of with the grave across the nations of the world, let it fail. We command it to fail. In the name of Jesus, it will not go forward. We resist the enemy. In the name of Jesus, you said we should resist the devil. He will flee from us. Therefore, we resist the enemy. In the name that is above every name, arise, O man of God. Deliver the nations of the world from that which is too strong for us. In the name of Jesus, in this hundred days of prayer, O God, we lift up prayer to the heavens, to the name of Jesus, to the blood of Jesus. And we declare, let the hand of the Lord be released mightily, O God, across the nations of the world to bring deliverance, O God. In the name of Jesus, virus, stay your hand, stay your hand, stay your hand, stay your hand. Intercessors arise, intercessors arise from every continent, every nation of the world. Intercessors arise. Let's join forces of God and destroy the yoke of the enemy. Let this yoke break in the name of Jesus. Let this yoke be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the arm of the Lord be released in the name of Jesus. Let the captives be set free in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, we thank you for the finished work of the cross in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to another broadcast of Issachar 2021. Hallelujah. Amen. Global prayer. 100 days of global prayer. Initiated by this eminent, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, it's, it's an exciting opportunity for us to join together to pray. That when we pray, heaven responds in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I want you to, as usual, invite and like the page invite your friends, set up watch parties, and let us pray across the globe in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, let us join hands to pray in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed to be part of this awesome opportunity God has given us to the eminent, the actors of Nicholas and Cam Williams in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Let's join hands to pray. Let's join hands to pray in Jesus' mighty name. Coronavirus has to stay, so that spirit has to stay its hand in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against it by the power of the Most High God in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Let's start off with Psalm 79, verse 9 to 11. Psalm 79 and verse 9 to 11. Yes, sir. Help us, O God of our salvation, mm. for the glory of your name, and deliver us and provide atonement for our sins. For your name's sake, verse 10, why should the nation say, why is their God? Let there be known among the nations in our sight the avenging of the blood of your servants, which has been shed. Verse 11. Let the burden of the prisoner come before you. According to the greatness of your power, preserve those appointed to that. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are looking, we are taking the first part. We are saying that, oh, help us, oh God, our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and provide atonement for our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that there's so much sin going on, and we need to plead the blood of Christ to speak on our behalf. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, Father, according to your word, according to your word in, Psalm in Psalm 79, verse 9, verse nine. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, help us, help us. Oh, God oh God of our salvation, help us, help us. For, the for the glory of your name. Name, deliver, us deliver us and provide and atonement, atonement for our sins by the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your voice, begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, help us, help us, help us, help us, oh God of our salvation, help us, provide atonement for our salvation, our, our salvation, oh God, our sins, oh God, in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ, provide atonement for our sins, oh God of our salvation, by the spirit of the man with the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ, provide a torment, provide a torment, O oh God of our salvation, by the blood of Jesus, help us, O Lord, help us, O Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Across the globe, let's cry out one more time unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father according, according to your word, to your in Psalm 79, Psalm 79, verse 9, verse 9 help us, help us. Oh, Lord. oh Lord. We are crying, we are crying from the Americas. America. We are crying, we are crying from, from Europe. Europe. We are crying we from Africa. We are crying from China. We are crying from all the parts of the world. And we say, Oh God, Oh God, help us, help us. We are crying from my Jerusalem. Oh Lord, oh God, help us, oh God, of our salvation, for the glory, for the glory of your name, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and provide atonement for our sins, the abominations that keep on going on in our cities, in our nations, oh Lord, in our families. Provide atonement by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Provide atonement, oh Lord. Provide atonement, oh Lord. Let your precious blood be for us. Let your precious blood be for us. Provide atonement. Provide atonement for us. Provide atonement for us. Provide atonement for us. Oh Lord, help us. Provide atonement for us. Provide atonement for us. Provide atonement for us. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Verse 10 says that for why should the nation say, Where is their God? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, church, this is an awesome opportunity for us to cry on to the God, for our God to come and deliver us, for our God to come and speak on our behalf Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God should show up. Amen. God should show up. Yes. Even as we cry out to the God, He will show up. Amen. He will show up. Amen. He will show up Amen. for the people of the world to know that, yes, you and I will serve a living God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He says, Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Let them be known among the nations in our sight. The average avenging of the blood of the of the servants which have been Said, Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, Father, let the blood, let the blood, let, let the vengeance, let the vengeance, let the vengeance, let your vengeance come upon, 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 upon the blood that have been shed. Let your vengeance come upon the nation for them to know that we serve a living God in the name of Jesus. Avenge us, O God. 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 Set some blood. Covenant has taken some life. Some of our loved ones have been taken away, and we cannot allow it to continue to happen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ, that is why you and I are lifting up prayer yes. by conquest of the power of the Holy Ghost to his servant, the his eminent, the Archbishop Nicholas that can will afford to lift up prayer across the nations. 100,000 intercessors and even more to stand in the gap in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, avenge us, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Avenge us, O Lord, avenge us, O Lord, according to your word. Your power preserve those who are put 
said to that, see Heavenly Father, in the satanic appointment, against any of us, and they get to our loved ones, through this COVID and other related ailments, and other related ailments, we decree and declare, let, oh God, let there be a deliverance, let there be mighty deliverance, mighty deliverance, in the satanic appointment, we disappoint it, we cancel it by the blood of Jesus, cancel it, satanic appointment by the blood of Jesus. Cancel it, 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 we cancel it, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it, Who are protected now? 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 Who
invoke your power over every satanic power. Over every satanic power. We should impose your power. Over every satanic power. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. We should impose your power. Over every satanic power. Over every satanic power. Over every satanic power. Mighty name, hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 78, verse 49. Psalm 78, verse 49. Yes, sir. He cast on them the fierceness of his anger, mm. wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending angels of destruction among them. Hallelujah. Amen. We are sending angels of destruction among Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You are standing the God for your nation. In the name of you Jesus. are standing the God for your family. In the name of Jesus. Say heavenly father. Heavenly father. According to your word, in Psalm 78, verse 49, we send for, we send for angels, angels of destruction into the cup of, of the enemy, of, 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 of witchcraft spirits, of dominions, of power, rulers of darkness, of the power of this age. We declare and declare. Let angels some distraction. Visit them. Visit them. Visit them. Visit them. Visit them. Visit them. Jesus, my name. 
man is standing in this, in, 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 uh, uh, he's standing in the case. God's glory concerning your life. We are cursing in, in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father. 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 Your word says your word, sir, is in Jeremiah, Jeremiah. 20, 23, 23, verse 29. Listen to the word of the Lord. Jeremiah 23, uh, verse 29. Yes, sir. It's not my word like fire, mm. says the Lord. Mm. And like a heaven that brings the rock into peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Any incredible disease. Any incredible situation Amen. we are sending from God's word. Say, Heavenly Father. Father. Any, any incredible situation. Any incredible disease. Any, any difficult situation. Which which, which which defies the logic of men. Heavenly Father. We declare and declare. Let your word, which is fine, which is our visit it. Right now. Right now. Send us your word. Visit it. Let it burn. 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 Jesus. 
heavenly Father. Your word says, Your glory fills the earth. Your glory fills the earth. Therefore, we decree and declare, let your glory fill our nations. Let your glory fill our nations. Nothing can stop your glory. Every satanic agenda. Let your glory burn. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let your glory fill the nation. Let your glory fill the nation. Let your glory fill our country. Let your glory fill the nation. Let your glory fill our country. Let your glory fill the nation. Let your glory fill our country. Let your glory fill the nation. Let your glory fill our country. Let your glory fill the nation. Let your glory fill our country. Let your glory fill our country. Jesus Christ, say heavenly Father, let your glory fill my home. Let your glory fill every health care institution right now. Where Satan and his cause are ruling, I send forth your glory, your glory. Fill that place, fill that place right now, right now. Let light, let light, let light shine through. Let your 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 light shine through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 121, verse 7. Psalm 121, and verse 7. Yes, sir. The Lord shall preserve you from evil. Mm. He shall preserve your soul. Hallelujah. Yes. Say, Heavenly Father, Father we'll lift up we'll lift your up servant, your servant, the Archbishop, the people of the Catholic, his wife and his children, and all that consent. Preserve your servant. Preserve your servant from all evil. Preserve your servant from all evil. Preserve, your servant from all evil. preserve his soul. Preserve his soul. In the name of God. I sanctify the grounds, wherever you are. May the atmospheres be conducive to prayer. I remove every restriction. I break every glass ceiling in the realms of the spirit that causes your prayer to bounce back down onto you. I declare liberty of the Holy Ghost and may ministering angels minister unto you right now in the name of Jesus as we take our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Go with me, if you will, to 1 Samuel chapter number 23 from verse 15 to 20, and we'll, we'll take up some prayer points in there. First Samuel 23, verse 15 to 20. Verse 15 to 20. And David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life. Oh, my goodness. Anyone that is seeking your life, any demonic stalker in the realms of the spirit, may they lose their discernment 
anyone tracking you, any familiar spirit that is stalking you to seek your life, I declare today, may the Lord make you like a deer. The Lord hide you in water. May your sins be lost to your enemy. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, your life shall not be forfeit. They shall seek you and not find you. Right now, begin to pray. The Bible says, uh, when the angels enter Sodom and Gomorrah, the wicked people of that nation uh, tried to defile them. But the word of the Lord said, brightness came upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Any instrument seeking your life to bring premature death, may the Lord render them blind. They shall seek you and not find you. They shall look for you and not find you. May your sins be lost to them. Only may the aroma of Christ uh, come upon your life. Let it put fear upon them. Let it stop your enemy in the tracks. Let it arrest coronavirus. Let it put an end to premature death. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, your life shall not be taken unawares. Your life shall not be taken before time. Those that seek your life shall be disappointed. May the Lord disappoint their expectation that it shall not come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, if you agree with my words, shout Hosanna to the Lord. In Jesus' name. And David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life. And David was in the wilderness of Ziph in a wood. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose. Oh my goodness. Today in the name of Jesus. May somebody arise on your behalf. May somebody arise on your behalf. May our prayers cause you to rise up. You may be on a sick bed. Maybe coronavirus has got a grip on you already. But by our prayers, by our prayers, by our prayers, by our prayers, we arise for you. We arise for your family. We arise for your children. We arise for your nation. We arise in the name of Jesus. We we arise in the name of Jesus and you shall be delivered in Jesus' name. Say an amen. And Jonathan's son Saul arose and went to David in a wood and strengthened his hand in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee. Oh, wherever you are, lift up your right hand to the Lord and make this declaration to me. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare today that the hand of my enemy shall not find me. The weapons of my enemy shall not find me. Coronavirus shall not find me. Premature death shall not find me. The weapons of wickedness shall not find me. Evil projections shall not find me. Lift up your voice right now and begin to pray. I declare with you, I arise in prayer on the platform of his enemy. The Archbishop of Nicholas Duncan Williams, I arise in the Spirit of God. I arise in the Word of God. And I declare over you, you are hidden in Christ, who is hidden in God. You shall not be found. You shall not be found. You shall not be found. Coronavirus will not find you. Premature death will not find you. Wickedness will not find you. Assault will not find you. Sickness will not find you. Affliction will not find you. Grieving will not find you. More Morning will not find you. You are hidden. 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 You are hidden in the secret place of the Most High. The Lord hide you. The Lord cover you. I cover you right now. I cover your life. I cover your children. I cover your family. I cover your friends. I cover your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. You shall not be found. You shall not be found. The hand of your enemy shall not find you in Jesus' name. Verse 17, 1 Samuel chapter number 20, verse 17. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel, and I will be next unto thee, and that also saw my and that also saw my father knoweth. And they made and they too made a covenant before the Lord. And David abode in the wood, and Jonathan went to his house. Then came up the Ziphites. This is where I'm going. Then came up the Ziphites to Saul to Gibeah, saying, 
Does not David hide himself with us in the strongholds in the wood and the hills of Hilkiah, which is on the south of Jezebel? Now listen to what the enemy said. In 1 Samuel 23, verse 20, the enemy said, the Zephites who went to Saul said, Now therefore, O king, come down. Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of thy soul to come down. And our part, watch this now, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hands. And our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hands. The Ziphites were calling on David's enemy to come down according to the desire of the soul of David's enemy. And it says, and our part will be to deliver him to the king's hand. I want you to lift up your hand right now. We are going to pray. Anyone who is taking a part, anyone who has made up their mind to call down coronavirus, to call down sickness, to call down premature death, to call down evil upon you, who have determined that coronavirus to have the desire, is desire upon you, and they have covenanted to make, to be a part to play their part to deliver you to premature death today in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and declare I declare today in the name of Jesus as I clap and I pray I deploy the sword of the Lord against anyone who is calling down who is calling down who is calling down pardon me who is calling down sickness into my life coronavirus into my life wickedness into my life premature death into my life anyone um, whose part whose assignment whose commission is to deliver me into the hands of premature your death as I clap and I pray as I clap and I pray as I clap and I pray I invoke the blood of Jesus I deploy the sword of the Lord I take out anyone who has entered into a wicked and diabolic partnership with the spirit of premature death in the name of Jesus let the fire of God let the fire of God let the fire of God come upon them let coals come upon their head let them be rooted out let their enterprise backfire against them backfire against them lift up your voice and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray anyone who is determined to call down sickness to call down wickedness to call down evil anyone who says I will partner with the wicked I'll partner with the enemy I'll partner with your enemy to deliver you into the hands of the enemy today in the name of Jesus let them be rooted out let them be rooted out let their place not know them let time not remember them let their memory be blotted out let their place not be known the Lord take them out the the Lord vanquish them. The Lord destroy them. In the name of Jesus, they shall search for them and not find them. They shall look for them. They shall not be found. Let them be blown away by the east wind of the Lord. Let them be blown like chaff. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I deploy the whirlwind of the Lord, the whirlwind of the Lord into their homes, into their homes, wherever they are guarded, wherever they are guarded, we deploy the whirlwind and the east wind of the Lord against them against them. Let them be rooted out. 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 Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Release the sword of the Lord. Release the sword of the Lord. Any diabolic partnership, any confederacy, any association, any coming together, any assembly of wicked men to deliver you to the hands of the wicked. Today in the name of Jesus, we send fire. We send fire. We send fire. We send fire. Fire. We send 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 fire. Let them be destroyed. Let them be taken on our ways. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be swept away. Let them be swept away. Let them fall upon their own swords. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. In Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a shout wherever you are. Anyone that has determined that they will willfully 
they will willingly partner with the regions of darkness to see your demise and premature death. I declare today, may their expectations come upon their own head. Let them become the recipients of their own devices. Let their schemes fall upon their lives and upon their homes and upon their lives. I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord send rottenness into their bones. Let them be consumed by words, by worms. They shall not stand. I declare you will outlive them. You will outlive them. You will outlive them in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody give the Lord a shout in the house. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah to the fear not. Fear not. Fear not the hand of the wicked. Fear not the counsel of the evil one. God is on your side. May the Lord hide you. Hide you from coronavirus. Hide you from sickness and disease. Hide you from every weapon of the enemy. I declare you are hidden. You cannot be found. You cannot be located. May you become a mystery. I come against the spirit of Herod, the assassin, who was trying to locate where baby Jesus was. Ah, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that information shall not be given to the enemy. Your hiding place shall not be revealed. Your hiding place shall not be exposed. Those that seek your demise and those that seek your hurt shall not find you. Lift up your voice one more time and declare in the name of Jesus, every spirit of the assassin, every hero spirit assigned against you, anyone that has been sent to track you down, to find you, the spirit of the Zephites, we come against them. We come against them. We come against them. Let them be put in confusion. Let them lose their track. Let them not locate you. Let them be lost in the wilderness. Let them stumble in darkness. Let them trip and fall in the name of Jesus. They will not stand. They will not find you. They will not locate you in the name of Jesus. Let them fall into pits that have been designed for you in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, shout Hosanna to the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I wanted to look with me to 2 Kings. 2 Kings. 2 Kings. Chapter number 17, verses 38 and 39. 2 Kings 17, 38 to 39. The Bible says, And the covenants that I have made with you, you shall not forget. Neither shall you fear other gods, but the Lord your God you shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. Oh, shout glory to God. But the Lord your God you shall reverence, but the Lord your God you shall fear, and he will deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. Watch this now. There is a covenant. There is a covenant that God has made, a covenant of preservation, a covenant, a, a covenant of long life. He said, and the covenant I've made with you, you shall not forget, neither shall you fear other gods. I want us to pray before we ask the Lord to deliver us from the hands of the enemy. I want us to break the spirit of fear that has come upon our nations and upon our leaders and into our homes because of the pandemic, and not just the pandemic, but all the collateral damage that the pandemic has, hitting our finances, our socioeconomic status. There is a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear. But today we are breaking that spirit of fear. We are breaking that spirit of fear. Because where fear rules, the enemy has dominion. And when the enemy has dominion, then the wickedness of his kingdom can be, can, can be brought into your environment. But I declare today, wherever you are, lift up your right hand and declare, say in the name of Jesus, I overcome every spirit of fear undermining my confidence in God. Say, I shall not succumb to fear. I come against every fear that the enemy is projecting 
in my mind, I declare today, fear will not stop me from reverencing my God. Fear will not stop me from worshiping my God. Fear will not paralyze my pursuit of my destiny. I declare as I clap and I pray, I break, I break. I break the spirit of fear, of fear, of premature death. Maybe right now you are displaying symptoms and the enemy is bringing fear upon your life to undermine your faith. But I declare right now, take authority over that fear, over that fear. The Lord will deliver you from the hand of your enemy, the enemy of sickness, coronavirus, premature your death right now clap and pray clap and pray clap and pray we break we break we break the spirit of fear the spirit of fear the spirit of fear the spirit of fear we overrule it we overrule it we overrule it and right now the lord is delivering the lord will deliver the lord will deliver every symptom of sickness coronavirus in your life your loved ones right now i release deliver and healing, deliverance, and healing, deliverance, and healing, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. I deliver you from the hand of coronavirus. I deliver you from the hand of premature death. I release you from the hand of untimely death. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I come against that fear. I come against that fear. I come against that fear. I summon your faith. I summon your faith. I summon your faith. I summon your faith. You will stand. You will stand. You will stand. You will stand. You will prevail in Jesus' name. Put your hands together and give the Lord a mighty victory shout. Fear will not exact upon you. Your faith will not diminish. You will arise from your symptoms. You will be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver you from the hands of your enemies and those that call down wickedness upon you and have given themselves over to deliver you to premature death. I declare today in the name of Jesus by, the, by these prayers and by these decrees, you are delivered in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord be with you. The Lord watch over you. The Lord preserve you. The Lord strengthen you. And the Lord give you an upper hand in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. We'll see you soon in Jesus' name. The Bible said in the book of Psalm 7 verse 9 that the wickedness of the wicked has a timeline. It has an expiring date. The Bible said for the wickedness of the wicked will come to an end. Mm. The wickedness of the wicked will not come to an end when you keep your mouth shut. The wickedness of the wicked will not come to an end when you sleep. But the wickedness of the wicked will come to an end when you use your tongue. The Bible said life and death is in the power of the tongue. I want you to join me wherever you are as we connect with the Archbishop. Dealing with this coronavirus is a wickedness. Coronavirus is evil. I can't have a better word to describe it than to say it is wickedness. The Bible said the triumphing of the wicked is very short. And the joy of the hypocrite is just for a moment. Listen, whatever spirit, whatever entity, whatever protection, whatever agent that the enemy has assigned to the medium of this virus, I want to connect my voice with you. And as we connect with the Archbishop, that let it be muted. Say, Father, Father, in the name, in the name of, Jesus, of Jesus, by the medium, by the medium of, prayer, of prayer, we attack, we attack the, voice the voice of Corona, of corona virus, virus, wherever, wherever they, are, they are, wherever they are coming from. So by prayer, we declare, let's start, go back, go back, go back, go back. Now listen, listen, listen. The instruction you follow determines the results you receive. When you use the word of God, you benefit from the word of God. Coronavirus is evil. Coronavirus is wickedness. Things have been destroyed. Righteous have been taken away. People's lives have been shortened. Businesses have collapsed. But if you can join me as we connect with the Archbishop, with one voice, any entity, 
any spirit, any power that is behind this virus, we bring it to a heart. Say, Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Ghost. My prayer. We connect. Say, we connect. We connect globally. And we attack the element of death, the virus, corona, virus, all virus. Hear yeah. the voice yeah. of Jehovah yeah. right now. Yeah. Let your assignment come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. Put your hands together. Yeah. Coronavirus. Come to an end. We attack you. We stop you. We block you. We attack you. I call it a toi. Ma call a baba. Elle est bête. Elle est bête. Elle est bête. Elle est bête. I call a batoa. I'm the levetoa. 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 I call a batoa. We stop your work. We break your power. 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 We break up power. We break up power. We break up power. Clap your hands in America, in Asia, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Togo, in Benin, wherever you are. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. I feel it. 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 I call it a tour, a panwa tour, I call it a tour, a panwa tour. Wherever you are, put your hands together. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. We override. We override. We override. We override. Hey! Makadabada. Matabadaba. 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 Akadabada. Akadabada. Adabada, 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 Put your ass together. Put your ass together. Abadua. 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 Coronavirus, we attack you, 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 you will not proceed further. We bring your work to an end, your assignment to an end, we bring it to an end, we bring it to an end. You will not go further. You will not proceed. You will not go further. You will not go proceed. You will not proceed. Say, Father, you are a liar. Every assignment, every agenda, every projection, every demand of the enemy, of the devil, of the enemy, we override. We override. We override. We override. We override. I call it to us. We set Ghana free. We set Nigeria free. We set Togo free. We set Asia free. We set America free. We set UK free. My God. Oh, I feel the fire. 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 Hey! 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 Clap your hands. Makolaba. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. We override you. 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 Jesus. 
Yes. Now listen. Wherever you are, I want you to take this prayer serious. When you look at your life, when you assess your life, your life is as a product and it's a resource of two things. Number one, the prayers you prayed and those you did not pray. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Now let me show you how powerful light is. When light appears, there is no any other voice that speaks behind light. But automatically, darkness gives way. The emergence of light automatically takes off darkness. When the voice of God appears, the voice of evil is silent. Coronavirus is a voice of the evil. We want to introduce the voice of God. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Wherever the virus has introduced death with the voice of Jehovah, we want to reintroduce life. You will not die. Your business will not go down. Your children will not die prematurely. Archbishop will not die prematurely. His family will not die prematurely. Any entity called coronavirus, the enemy is using against your life. Say by prayer. Say Holy Ghost, we assess the realms of the spirit and we introduce the power of prayer and we declare any voice of death be muted, 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 muted. Say the voice of death by the power of prayer. We mute you. We mute you. We mute you. Clap your hands. Makolabaya. We mute you. The voice of death. Premature death. Premature death. Hey. 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 Premature death we mute the power of premature death we mute you we mute you we mute you any voice of the enemy any voice of the devil any voice of the enemy we mute you don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop we mute you by the power of the Holy Ghost, we mute the voice of the enemy, of the enemy, of the enemy. Now listen, listen, the devil has agents, and one of the agents the devil is using through this deaf angel is fear. Hear me, is fear. But this morning, by the medium of prayer, we attack the agent of fear. Say, agent of fear, by the medium of prayer, we block you. Say, we block you. Say, agent of fear, we block you. Now clap your hands. Block it. Block it. Block it. Can you clap your hands? Hope you fire. 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 Hope you f
Jesus. Listen, the Bible said there is a blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Listen to me. Scripture said, when I see the blood, I will pass by. You want to mark your nation. You want to mark your city. You want to mark your business. You want to mark your family. You want to mark your spouses. You want to mark the archbishop. You want to mark the wife. You want to mark the children. Mark them with their blood. The Bible said, when I see the blood, I will pass by. I should mark your nation. I should mark your city. New Jersey, Virginia, Atlanta, even in Accra, even in Abuja, even in Lagos, even in Africa, wherever you are located, even in Lome, you want to mark your nation, you want to mark your city, you want to mark your business. Coronavirus will not affect your business. Coronavirus will not destroy your, the work of your hand. It will not kill you prematurely. Can you open your mouth wherever you are? I begin to clap your hand. Begin to clap your hands. Begin to clap your hands. Makola bakaya. Ikola bakola baka. It will not come near you. 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 It do not come near your father. It do not come near my father. It do not come near the archbishop. It do not come near action. It do not come near. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. The Bible said, the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Scripture said, he that no one no sin was made to become a sin that you and I will receive his righteousness. The death of Christ on the cross is not for the creation. It's for you and me to be saved. God bless you for joining me, for connecting with my father, the Archbishop, the eminent the apostle of strategic prayer. I love to call him the lion. I am Bishop Nikwafio, the resident bishop of Action Chapel, Action Worship Center branches, Region 1F. Until I come your way again, you will not be a victim of coronavirus. I hide myself under the mandate of Jehovah, and I establish a wall of fire around you, that God who watch over you with the jealous eye. No plague no. shall come near your dwelling. No pestilence no. shall touch your loved one. The jealous eye of Jehovah will watch over you. As I hide under the mandate of my father, may Jehovah build a wall of fire around you. May he establish an edge around you. That anyone that will touch you no. will touch the apple of God's eye. I bless you with the blessings that come from heaven. That your life will be corona free life Jesus. in Jesus name Amen. In the name of the living God you are welcome indeed in the name of Jesus on behalf of my papa the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams I want to say God bless you for coming to church tonight for God bless you for joining these hundred days of Issachar in the name of the Lord Jesus I know you've been praying already but we're going to continue to pray until we see results in the name of Jesus we thank God for the life of the Archbishop for this uh, great uh, opportunity given to us to pray. Hallelujah. For the scripture says that men always ought to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. So, therefore, we thank God for that. We bless God for his life. Papa, we say we thank you. We bless you. You have taught us many things through your grace and your, 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 your light, which we are seeing light and we keep seeing light. We thank God for your life. We are proud of you. Thank you for this opportunity given to us. Thank you for this privilege. Papa, we love you so much. God bless you. We are praying with you that God will lift you higher and higher and disappoint your enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus. Papa, live long and prosper. Papa, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You and your family in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you that invite friends, invite loved ones, Party the the, the 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 show hallelujah the service in the name of Jesus. Party the show, the service in the name of Jesus. Invite Loma. Pass good comments hallelujah. Say something good hallelujah. Don't just be praying, but pass good comments. Encourage somebody. Motivate somebody. 
Put something good that will elevate somebody's faith also. Hallelujah. Share your testimonies also. That will encourage people. Praise the name of the living God. I want to thank you so much for coming. I want to bless God for your life. In the name of Jesus. This is Bishop Ellie Johnson. Leading from Ashen City Church, Toronto. The resident bishop of Ashen City Church, Toronto. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for your life. We bless your name tonight. I believe God is going to bless us. Therefore, on that note, we want to lift up our voices and begin to thank God and begin to bless His name. You want to lift up your voice and magnify His name. Lift up your voice and worship Him. Lift up your voice and appreciate Him. Ah, it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord as Psalm 92 show us or told us hallelujah lift up your voice and bless his name lift up your voice and magnify his name lift up your voice and worship him lift up your voice and reverence him thank the lord magnify his name exalt his name thank him that you are still alive thank him that you are counted among the living thank him that you are blessed thank him that you are highly favored thank you for the divine escapes thank you for his supply thank him lift up your voice and bless his name this hour for your family Thank God for your family, your loved ones. Thank God for the good work he's doing in your life. Thank God that you still have your job at hand. Thank God that you are alive. You are not dead. Thank God. Thank God you are not in the grave. Thank God. Lift up your voice. Thank God that you are not in the mortuary. Thank God that your name is not in the column of obituary. Lift up your voice and bless his name. Lift up your voice and magnify his name. If you can thank him for what he did today, he will do more for you. Lift up your voice and bless his name. Lift up your voice and magnify his name. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. Glorify his name. My soul, magnify the name of the living God. The Lord is good. His mercy endure forever. Lift up your voice and bless his name. Lift up your voice and worship him. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Father, we worship you, we adore you. You are mighty, you are faithful, you are great. Ye makadabahaya, mraskepo ramba telemekutaya. Somebody lift up your voice and bless his name. Somebody lift up your voice and magnify. Register your appreciation. Thanksgiving is a necessity. Thanksgiving is very important. Lift up your voice. Look at what God has done for you, for your family. Lift up your voice for your nation, for your community. Magnify the name of the Lord. My God, my God, we give you praise. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. My God, you are wealthy. Ma proskepadea. Ma me. We thank you, Lord. Father, we bless your name for counting us among the living. We thank you that we are awake. We are healthy. We are strong. Your deliverances has brought at this one you put food on our table we thank you we are held lord thank you lord that father in the name of jesus you have delivered us from the hands of our enemies you have delivered us from the hands of our enemies what a good God we have. What a mighty God we serve. Moshe Kabarabaduna Masika. Mandele me broske bo randele be kabadaya. Mandele be broske bo randa baduna baya. Demons, Jesus, you are wealthy. Jesus, you are mighty. Jesus, you are caring. Ye, Makurobo, Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. We bless your name. We thank you for the life of the Archbishop. Moshe Kabarababro Sababa. We give you praise for his life. We exalt your name for his life. We magnify your name for the life of your man, servant, the archbishop. Blessed be your name, O Lord. To you be all the glory. Mabroskebo randa babea. Mambele mebro sabodo mokiria. Ye, mondele mebroskebo rababa. Mabele mebroskebo randiria. Mambele me shukurubia. Handele bede 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 bede. Mande kabu rambadeba. Ambele bede 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 bede. Moshikabahaya. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You and I know the purpose of this holy convocation is to command COVID-19 to come to an end. Hallelujah. Because one of the things, one of the powerful tools that can deal with COVID-19 or of any situation is prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer have the capacity. Prayer carry the, 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 the power to, to stop every activity of the enemy. Praise the name of the living God. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that we have to do and we need to do is to lift up prayers. Hallelujah. Is to deal with this COVID-19 by prayer. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we have the mandate to deal with that. Uh, according to 2 Samuel, the, the scripture that Archbishop gave us, uh, 
This is the scripture the Archbishop gave us according to 2 Samuel chapter number 24, verse 16. 2 Samuel 24, verse 16. And he said, When the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem, Makadabaya, Nebodibia, the angel stretched for his hand over Jerusalem, over your peace, over your marriage, over your destiny, over your family, over your nation, over your, your, your blessings. Makada, when he stretched for, when the enemy, and when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy it, Makadaba, this COVID one that came to destroy, it did not come to give, do anything good. It came to destroy Makadaba here. Mm. The Bible says when he stretched for his hand to destroy, the Lord relented from the destruction and said to the angel who was destroying the people, it is enough, it is enough, it is enough. It is enough. We want to pray in the name of Jesus. Hey, Kabadia, this hour we want to pray once again. That let every evil hand, La Madura Masikaya, whatever hand that has been stretched to destroy you, to destroy your destiny, COVID-1 that came to destroy, we want to pray that it is enough one more time. We want to command the enemy to stop. We want to command the hand, every evil hand stretched to stop. In the name of Jesus, we want to declare it is enough. It is enough. It is enough. It is enough. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, it is enough. It is enough. It is enough. It is enough. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Makadabahaya, lift up your voice and pray with me in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. In the name of, proceed no further. Proceed no further. In the name of Jesus, proceed. COVID-1, proceed no further. In the name of Jesus, you will not enter my home. You will not enter my community again in the name of the Lord Jesus. Makara masuta da baha, marekoto romosika da baha, marekoto na makitebia, makabaru santa bahaya, marekoto romosika ya. We declare this hour it is enough in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. We declare it is enough in the name of Jesus. We declare it is enough in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the blood of Jesus. From the throne room perspective, we declare in the name of Jesus enough is enough. Enough. In the name of Jesus, proceed no further. Proceed no further. COVID-19, we speak to you. You can hear us in the name of Jesus. We command you in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough in the name of Jesus. Mm. Rakata paya, marekoto no musika daba, marekoto na mabia pa, abere be koro musika daba ya, marekoto no musika bara ya, marakatu na makata ya, marakata pate ya, e katura maseka. Anything connected to COVID one night to destroy lives, to destroy destiny, we declare in the name of Jesus. Let it cut fire, let it cut fire, let it cut fire. Ma praske poranta pa ya, ma peka parwa pate ya, a te karu sandala babi. Mantele me broskere mo sabaya, mantele me kabam. Are katuna ya, mantele me kono lo mosika dabaya. Are no lo mosenda la barele be kadoya, maranda la barunda la bando lo bunda la babaya, mara mantele be kabara barele be kabam. Whatever they have released in this end time against the church, against the people of God, against this world, in the name of you, we declare enough is enough. Let it backfire, 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 let it backfire. Makapa kapa. I take a tire, I take a toro musica dia, and let me condolo musindarabaya, a terebe condolabaya, a peca por ramasukaya, a recotoro musica da badia, mandelebe broskere me cotoya, a peca par ramaturabaya, marrapacura matura macataya, marracutoro musica toria, marrapacura macatapaya, a breca brosca patuya, marbrasca por roba capaya, a brecotoro musca patuya, macata catacataya, racata patura macapaya, will let the press, will let the fire. We lift up prayers. We lift up prayer. We lift up prayer. We lift up fire. We project fire. We project prayer against uh, that evil, that evil, that evil, that coronavirus. Maprakapaya. Uh, I take a tire. Any evil hand projecting the fire, projecting the virus, any evil hand projecting coronavirus, let the evil hand cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off. Cut off, ma praske pakaya, ma rapata paya, a peka paya, a paka pa. Let the sender of COVID-19 into our world. Let the sender of COVID-19 into our world. Uh, be late to rest, uh, be late to rest, uh, be late to rest, uh, be late to rest. Uh, rest uh, Makapatea. 
Rakata, Makula Masakata, Ale Katarabadea, Aterebe Katabada, Ape Kaparabadea, Maroka Badababa, Mape Kaparababea, Mabrakuna Nama, and Derebedo Narababa, and Perebedo Baya, and Derebedebea, and Derebedebea, a Perea Baya, a Pera Baraba, a Pera Baraba, a Pera Baya, a Perebea, no more spreading, no more spreading of COVID one night, no more spreading of COVID one night. In the name of Jesus, uh, at the mention of the name of Jesus, uh, every name is about no more spreading, uh, no more spreading of COVID one night. Ma ba ba ba. Ate Katuria, Mapre Kapadea, Le Katarabadea, no more spreading of COVID one eye, E Kabarabadea, no more spreading, enough is enough, Mapa Papa Paya, Apeda Baraba, Anteda Baraba, Apea Papa, Are Kapadea, Andala Badua, Antere Bedea, Ape Kabadea, Apeda Maturaba, Apeda Baraba, Apeda Baraba, Apeda Baraba, Anteda Baraba, Apeda Baraba, no more spreading. Enough is enough. No more spreading. Enough is enough. We stop it by prayer, by fire. We stop it by fire, by thunder. We stop it. We resist it. We oppose it. Rata Patea, Antere Becatura Maya, Arecatura Madabaya, Rantana Baturandaba, Rantara Batundara Bada, Mantara Mandura Mandaba, Mantara Mandura Mandabaya, in the name of the Lord Jesus, if God be for us, who can be against us? Whatever is against us, let it be destroyed. Whatever is against us, let it be put down. Whatever is against us, let it be buried. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, go down, go down, go down. No more spreading. No more more spreading her. Enough is enough. Ma praka pa 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 ya. Ma praka pa pa. Ma praka pa. Ma praka pa ya. Rekatapa, a tekatura matea, a recoturo masakata, ma recatapatea. We lift up prayers, we lift up prayers. Let COVID one be judged, a proscapatea. Let the judgment of God be released against COVID one nine. Marusa tapaya, a tedimi katunama, mamana masuna la mandea, a lea badaba, a bela badabadaba, a le badabadea. Andala batutaya, ma para batura matapa, a teleme koturu musikaya. We come against the spread of COVID-19. We come against the spread. A perebe katura makataya, a perebe katura baya, a perebe kaban. We come against the spread of the Tavera. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we come against the spread. A perebe kapatuya, let their projections backfire. A perebe katuya, any projection, any projection, any projection, any projection, any predictions. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, let it come to an end. Uh, enough is enough. Ma proska pa 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 pa. Mbaroko ka pa pa. Ape ka pa ya. Antereve katura. Arua tarabatura. Apereme koturu makaya. In the name of Jesus. Maruta rabatuna na bahaya. Ale proska toro maskita pa ya. Are proto ro maskita rabakuta ya. Are koto ro makapa ya bape ya. Arabakura makapa. Arabakura makata pa. Arabakura ba ya. Are koto ro maskaya. Hey, suka handa la bahaya. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Matsuka da badibi kahaya. Moshe kaburando rubu kahaya. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 3, verse 25 and 26. For the thing I greatly fear has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. I am not at ease. No, I am quiet. Maka, you shall be at ease in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall intimidate you in the name of Jesus. Anything that is bringing fear to you, let it die by fire in the name of Jesus. You will not be afraid in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I say you will not be afraid in the name of Jesus. Maka, you will not be afraid in the name of Jesus. You will not be afraid in the name of Jesus. Maka, tapaya. We want to pray right now and counsel any wind that threatens your peace in the name of Jesus. Any wind that threatens your peace. Any situation assigned to threaten your peace. Let it be arrested in the name of Jesus. And a win assigned to threaten your peace. Makata Paya. In peace you shall dwell. In peace you remain. In peace you will live. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything assigned 
My God, my God, uh, whatever has been assigned by the enemy to threaten your peace uh, tonight in the name of Jesus, uh, let it be arrested in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, you will lie down in peace. Uh, you will rise up in peace. Uh, you will live in peace. Uh, you will dwell in peace. Makaproske uh, pakaya. Anything assigned against your Jerusalem, uh, let it be arrested in the name of Jesus. Apakapariapaya. Apekatura makatura maya. Atereme katuna makiribia. Anything confronting your peace. Anything, anything, anything. Anything the enemy has Projected against your peace to bring fear, my God, in the name of Jesus. Let that fear be arrested in the name of Jesus. That you shall not be afraid. Take a tire. Be bold as a lion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lionize yourself. Lionize yourself in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. For the righteous are bold as lion in the name of Jesus. This is the season to be bold. This is the hour to be bold. This is the moment to be bold in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will not fear anything. You will not fear anything. Nothing will intimidate you. Macabrasco tire. No situation. No information. No news. No prediction. No prophecy will bring fear to you. Any prophecy that they have given to you, that is bringing fear to you, tonight it is arrested in the name of Jesus. Any dream that you had, or you dreamt, or somebody dreamt concerning you, that is bringing fear to you, today in the name of Jesus, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, let that fear be arrested. Let that fear be arrested. Whatever you are, tonight it's time for prayer. Invite somebody, join your hands together, put your hands together and release fire against the spirit of fear. Let fear pack and leave your house. Let fear pack and leave your children. Let fear pack and leave your community. Let fear pack and leave your nation. Let fear, let fear. We come against the spirit of fear by the power of the blood, by the power of the blood. We come against every spirit of fear. Papaya, a big papaya. A terebe, a terebe katura, a peka parabatea. Reject every voice of death. Reject the voice of death. Reject the voice of death. A katapaya. Anything telling you, any voice telling you that you are the next to die. Makapatapaya. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. Not looking at somebody who died. Not looking at somebody who died. For the enemy to be telling you, you are the next to go. God forbid that devil is a liar. You will not die. You will live. To declare the works of the Lord. Lord, life is your portion. Lift up your voice and pray. Come against every voice of death. Any voice speaking to you that you are the next to die is a lie. And that devil is a liar. Marapatapaya. Atekapatapaya. Aterebekatunabaya. Aterebekatunamasaya. What you say with your mouth is what you will see. What you confess is what you will see. Atuna masukahaya. Mataba debekapaya. Atekapata. If that shall confess with your mouth, I believe in your heart. Akada masukaya. Believe it in your heart. It's not enough to pray. Believe it that you are not dying. I put almost That revelation, that dream, that projection, that prophecy, that declaration, let it backfire. Let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not time to die. I refuse to die. I refuse to bury my children. That should be your prayer. The Archbishop shall not die. His children shall not die. Makata Patea, Marekata Paya. Archbishop shall not be intimidated. His children shall not be intimidated. Nothing will cause fear. Nothing will cause panic in the name of Jesus. We lift up prayers. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Sakata Payal. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the spirit. Pray with your spirit. Pray with your understanding. Speak in tongues. Pray in your understanding. Pray with the word. Activate the word. Rekata, a terebe koturabaya, a terebe kataya, a pe kapaya, a pe kapaya, ma kapatea, a pe kaparia, ma pe kaparia paya, a pe kapaya, a parabarabaya. Hey, suka handele me kahaya. To God be the glory. We give him praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Acts chapter number 12, verse 1 to 3. It said, Herod killed James. Hey, and threatened to kill Peter by harassing the church. Herod killed James and threatened to kill Peter by harassing the church. 
We want to pray. There's a lot of prayer points we can take out of this place right now. Makatapaya. We want to arrest every evil hand. Stretch. Abe, once again. Any evil hand from underworld. Makara. Whatever is coming from. Any evil hand. Stretch. Makatapaya. We want to arrest every evil hand. Makatapaya. To kill our children. Any evil hand. Stretch to kill you. To kill your children. Let that evil hand be cut off in the name of Jesus. Cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off. By the power of the blood of Jesus. Every evil hand strike him. Makatapaya to kill us. Let that evil hand be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that evil hand be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that evil hand be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that evil hand be cut off in the name of Jesus. We cut off every evil hand stretch towards us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every evil hand stretch towards us. We declare the name of Jesus. Let it be cut off. 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 Let every evil hand stretch towards you, towards your family, towards your children, towards yourself. Your spouse, your destiny. My God, I pray, let it be cut off in the name of Jesus. Ma, 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 ma. If God be for us, who can be against us? Right now, by fire, right now, by thunder, I declare in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand stretched towards you and I, in the name of Jesus. The Archbishop, ma, pra, kapa, dea, ma, pe, kapa, papa, ma, pa, papa, cut off, cut off, cut off. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let evil hand be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let evil hand be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let evil hand be frustrated in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood, by the power of the blood, by the power of the blood, we arrest all, all hands, stretch, in the name of Jesus, God bless you so much, God bless you, please share, please share, invite people, let them register, Please go online, go on the platform and register in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you as you do so. Hallelujah. These are the days not to sit down. These are the days not to sleep. These are the days to wake up and go to war. We are at war with the enemy. Hallelujah. We are at war with an enemy. Therefore, let us rise up in battle and confront the enemy and defeat the enemy. You are a winner already in Jesus' name. First John chapter 5 verse 1. Everyone that is born of God is an overcomer. Everyone that is born of God is an overcomer. Hallelujah. So you are an overcomer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, our overcomers church are on, on the platform tonight. We give glory to God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, we, want to, we want to overrule every decree gone out. In the name of Jesus, every decree that has gone out, every decree that has gone out, that any prediction that has gone out, we want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, let that decree be overturned in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, we want to overrule by the blood of Jesus. Any decree against you yourself, against your family, against Africa, against Asia, against North America, South America, we want to pray. Any decree against Europe, any decree from uh, Madagascar, against Madagascar, any decree against any nation, Makunamaha, whatever is their decree that they have decreed against us. Uh, tonight, in the name of Jesus, let it be overruled, let it be attacked. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray right now. My God, I lift up prayers in the name of Jesus. Uh, I come against every demonic decree, every satanic decree that has gone out. Uh, whatever is decreed, the enemy has decreed against us, uh, against the archbishop, against his family. My God, in the name of Jesus, let it be overruled. By the blood of Jesus, any decree, Makatuna Makata, any decree that you will die before your time, any decree that you will not amount to anything, any decree that you will fail, any decree that you will remain a laughing stock, any decree that you will not rise, any decree that your light will not shine today in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, let that decree be over ten, let that decree be overruled, 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 over ten, overruled, over ten, overruled, over ten, by the power of the blood of Jesus, Makura Masukada Bahaya, Marekurumusikabaya. 
Mare proske poromo kapaya. Mandele me kurumo sikahaya. I kurumo sikahandaraba. Mara poromo kapoya. Api kurumo sakapaha. Mare kuturumo sikapa. Mara pokutaya. Mare kurumo saka. Mare kurumo sikapa. Mandala bakapa. Andele be kotor musika, mare kotor musika taya, mare katura makapa, mare kotor makapa. In the name of Jesus, I frustrate every decree, I frustrate satanic decree, I frustrate demonic decrees. I provoke a prokapaya. We overturn, we override every demonic decree against us. In the name of Jesus, whatever is the decree, mara kapoya, mara proskapaya. It shall not stand, it shall not come to pass. Every satanic decree against you and I, every demonic decree against you and I, marusika takata tapa. He kaparua papa by the power of the blood of Jesus. Let it be over ten. Let it be over rule. Let it be over ten. Let it be over rule. A pura paka. A pura kapa. 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 A pura pakapa. A pakapa papa. A pakapa tapa. A pakapa tapa. In the name of Jesus, let God arise. Let kaparaba. Let every satanic decree be over ten. Be over ten. Be over ten. Be over ten. Ndere kapa, ye kapa pa, ma pros kapa, ma ro 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 kapa. Satanic decree is overruled in the name of the Lord Jesus. Satanic decree is overturned by the power of the law, by the power of the law. Abakuna makata, demonic decree into Africa overturned, 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 overturned. Satanic decree over Europe, over Asia, over North America, South America, in Madagascar. I kapu kapa, overturned, overturned, overturned. Over ten, over ten, over run, 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 over ten, over run. Paka pura makahaya. In the name of the Lord Jesus, say after me. Say in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am born of God, therefore I am an overcomer. I activate First John, chapter five, verse four. In the name of Jesus, I am an overcomer. In the name of Jesus, by my faith, I have conquered. Territories. I've conquered my enemies. Say by my faith, I am a winner. I am not a loser. Say I will live and not die. Any prediction in the name of Jesus against me is overruled. Over ten. Say in the name of Jesus. Any plan, every agenda of the enemy against my life to terminate my life for me to be a laughing stock today, tonight, by the blood of Jesus, I overturn it. Say in the name of Jesus, any reaction against my prayer life, any reaction against these prayers I prayed tonight, in the name of Jesus, I override, I arrest, I frustrate, I cancel, I terminate every plan of the enemy. As I go to bed, I declare, I will sleep in peace. The Lord shall visit me and give me sweet dreams. Say in the name of Jesus, I shall not die. I will live to declare the works of the living God. Say the archbishop shall not die. The archbishop shall not be a laughing stock. Say in the name of Jesus, let the glory of the Most High God be lifted over us in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, I am blessed. I am highly favored. Say in the name of Jesus, it shall be well with me. Say my night is blessed. I am blessed. I am highly favored. Say my children are blessed, are covered in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Lift up your voice and thank him one more day. Once again, for the next few minutes, lift up your voice and thank God. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Father, we thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. You alone is worthy to be praised and adored. To you be all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for making us victorious. In you, we live and move and have our being. We thank you, Father. We give you Thank you for the love for the God Bishop. Thank you, Lord, for his family. Even in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, my father, I want to say thank you for showing up. Thank you for inviting people. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for pressing the party button. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done that this service will go far to be a blessing to men and women. Thank you so much. God bless you. We give glory, we give glory to God for your life. And the blessing is yours for the taking. The next time I'll come your way again, testimonies will be your galore. Hallelujah. Testimony galore will be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Once again, this has been God's servant, Bishop Ellie Johnson, who led from Ashen City Church 
Toronto. Please, if you have anybody uh, in Toronto, anybody around that can come and join us, that we serve God together, we are believing God for a massive move in Toronto. Hallelujah. Jesus has come to Toronto to do great work. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Thank you until we come your way again. Amen. You are blessed. It's good to pray. It's good to pray. So this 100 Days Prayer is a global event. Wherever you are, South Africa, Australia, Asia, South America, Europe, Norway, Scandinavia, we're there. And join us. Call your friends, call your families, get log in on Facebook, on YouTube, wherever you are, you can be a part of this time of prayer. Our theme for prayer is dealing with the COVID virus, dealing with the spirit of death, the spirit of assassination and premature and sudden deaths. The Bible tells us in John 10, 10, that the thief comes but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus has come to give us life and to give us life more abundantly. But we need to enforce it. We need to enforce what belongs to us through prayer. Through prayer, we pull down strongholds. The Bible says, Jesus said to Peter, I have given you the keys to the kingdom. What are the keys? Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Whatever you bind, whatever you disallow is disallowed on earth. Whatever you allow, you loose, is loosed in heaven and on earth. So we have the power. Jesus has given us authority. So we need to pray. We need to pray. Let us open our mouths. Let us open our mouths. Let us express our prayer. The Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man, the righteous woman, makes tremendous power available. That's why the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to silence you. He wants to keep your mouth shut. But today, we're going to pray. Let us pray in our spirit in our understanding, in our tongues, in our heavenly language, let us pray. Let us pray. The Holy Spirit helps our infirmities. When we don't know how to pray as we ought, the Spirit comes alongside us and He prays through us. Pray in the Spirit. Pray with your understanding. Take authority in the realm of the Spirit over the Spirit that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came to destroy all the works of the enemy all the works of the enemy. Let us stand together against this pandemic. Let us stand together against the COVID virus. Let us stand together against the coronavirus, the, de the, the whatever they call them, whatever their name is. Every name is subject to the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. The Bible says, you will declare a thing and it will be established. It will be established. So let us pray. Let us take authority over the spirit of COVID. Let us take authority. Let us take authority over the spirit of death. Say by divine authority, I command the oppression in the atmosphere to break now, to break now, to break now. Every oppression, every spirit that comes assigned to steal, kill, destroy, take authority in the realm of the spirit. We are rested. We place a divine injunction upon it in the name of Jesus. And just as God said in 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 16, it is enough. It is enough. It is enough. Restrain your hand, COVID virus. Restrain your hand, coronavirus. Restrain it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, progress no further. Progress no further. Stand down. Declare it. Stand down. Declare it. Coronavirus, stand down. It is enough. Restrain your hand. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Let us pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray with your understanding. Any form of oppression, any form of oppression exacted upon our lives, uh, the lives of our loved ones at home and abroad, upon our destinies, our families, let it be broken asunder our finances, our marriage, our health right now, let it be broken asunder in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Let the rule of the oppressor be vanquished. De agree, agree, agree. Let the rule of the oppressor be vanquished in our lives, in the world, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We revoke the evil in the atmosphere. You know, the, the COVID pandemic managed to cause all aircrafts to be grounded in, you know, they were grounded all over the world. Fleets of aircrafts were grounded. They could not even go in the atmosphere. There was no money. People could not even buy, even if you wanted to buy a ticket, you couldn't. There was a limit, limitation. There was a restriction. And we want to place that limitation and restriction on the coronavirus. We will ground it in the name of Jesus. We ground you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, coronavirus, we ground you in the name of Jesus. We say, go no further. Restrain your hand. Go, go no further. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down in the name of Jesus. We declare it done in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, some of you might feel like fasting. The Bible says, is this the kind of fast that we call a fast? A fast to loose the chains of injustice and to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. That's the kind of fast that we need to do. Fast a meal, fast your lunch, fast your evening meal. In the name of Jesus, fast your breakfast, fast sugar, fast a TV program that you really love so that you can spend time in prayer. Join one of the watches, join one of the watches, pray, 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 pray until something happens. As his eminence says, push, push, keep pushing, keep pushing. Pray, 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 pray. Be persistent in your prayer. Be consistent in your prayer. Register. Get people to register. Go onto the website. Register. Use the link. Register. Be part of this great army of God. Be part of this great army of God. Be part of this great army of God in this hundred days of prayer. Not only see things happen for you, but see things happen for your loved ones, for your families. See breakthroughs, see deliverances, see elevations. Listen, God has been promoting people during the COVID. God has been rewarding people in the COVID. God has been removing, removing things that don't need to be in your life during the COVID. Some people are being really blessed, even in the COVID, in the name of Jesus. So you need to pray. We need to pray. We don't take anything for granted. Hallelujah. The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says we should not be ignorant of the enemy's devices. We need to be vigilant. We need to watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray that we don't enter into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from this evil. Deliver us from this evil in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says men's heart are failing them for fear. For fear. The spirit of fear is paralyzing people, paralyzing people, freezing people, causing them to run away from situations they shouldn't be running away from, causing them to fight in situations that they should not fight. Hallelujah. Men's heart, Luke 21, 26, men's heart, failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken by prayer. Anything that rises in the world, any global occurrence projected upon the face of the cosmos, be it confusion, calamity, fears, disasters, catastrophes, tragedies, plagues, diseases, infirmities, loss of life in the name of Jesus. It shall not come near us. It shall not come near our loved ones, home and abroad. Pray, 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 pray. It is good to pray. The Bible says whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it. So even then we need to walk in faith, walk in faith, pray and believe, pray and believe, pray and believe. Pray and believe. Open your mouth. The devil doesn't want you to pray. He wants you intimidated. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power, a spirit of a sound, well-balanced mind, a spirit of love in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the just shall live by faith, not by the things that are seen, but by the unseen. We bring them, we bring them into manifestation by declaring it, by declaring it. Let us declare, let us decree in the name of Jesus. You shall have what you say. What are we saying? What are we saying? We speak life. We speak an end to coronavirus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, no member of our household will die prematurely. In the name of Jesus, neither shall it be heard that an evil has befallen any of our loved ones. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus, we command the coronavirus to be grounded in the name of Jesus. Just like the rain washes Rain washes the dead. May the rain, the rain of the Holy Spirit, may the rain of the blessings of God ground the coronavirus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may it be grounded and we raise a superior objection against it in the realm of the Spirit. Right now, we exercise the overriding powers of the Word of God, of the Word of God, and declare coronavirus grounded in the name of Jesus. It shall be a byword. It shall be a byword. It shall just be a byword, a bad memory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn around. God will turn around. God will turn around for your good. God will turn it around for your good. What the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around for your good. All things will work together for your good, irrespective irrespective, irrespective of coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We snatch those, we snatch those, we snatch those that are in the clutches of death right now, in the hands of the, the prey. We snatch them, we deliver them. Jesus came to deliver, deliver, deliver all those oppressed of the devil. Anyone struggling to breathe right now, in the name of Jesus, we speak and decree life. We speak and declare life. In the name of Jesus, we come against sickness. We come against disease in the name of Jesus. We come against it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every knee that is against the name of Jesus shall bow. We cast down every imagination. Every imagination that exalts itself above the word of God. We cast it down in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree. We declare and decree that it is well with us. It is well with our souls. It is well with our souls. It is well with our souls. That the lines have fallen for us in pleasant places. And we have a goodly inheritance. We have a good inheritance. Yea, though we have walked or we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For God, for God, for God is with us. He is with us. He is in us. The greater one lives on the inside of us. The greater one lives on the inside of us. We will not keep quiet. We will declare the word of the Lord. We will declare the word of the Lord. The Bible says how beautiful on the feet. Uh, on the mountain are the feet of those that bring good news. Let us bring the good news of the gospel. Good news of the gospel. Good news of the gospel. Good news. The will of God to heal, to heal, to heal, to heal. He said, forget not all his benefits. He heals all our diseases. All our diseases. Our diseases. Don't let the enemy deceive you. Don't let the enemies deceive you. It is the will of God that you be healed in the name of Jesus. If you are suffering from COVID right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. He sent his son to heal us from all our infirmities. Jesus came and took our sicknesses upon him. And by his stripes, we were healed. We were healed. We were healed. We were healed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. We have the victory. We have the victory in the name of Jesus, because of Jesus. We thank God for Jesus. We thank God for your life. If you need any counseling, any prayer, just look at the numbers on the bottom of the screen. Contact somebody. We will get in touch. Call your friends. Let them be part of this 100 days. This is a time of change. This is a new season. This is a time for rising up and becoming one of the global watchmen, the global intercessors. We need to watch and pray. Jesus has told us to watch and pray. We need to understand the strategic prayer watches. Based on God's creation in Genesis 1-5, the days are counted from evening to evening as a day. God called the light day 
and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. So when we're talking about the watches, the first watch of the night or the early night watch is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The second watch of the night or the late night watch is from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. The third watch of the night or the midnight watch is from 12 midnight to 3 a.m. The dawn or early morning watch is from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. The exit and entry watch or the second watch of the day is from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. The watch of shaking of foundations and judgment is the watch from 12 noon to 3 p.m. And the transformation watch or the fourth watch is from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you want to know more about the strategic prayer watches, just go to the Nicholas Duncan Williams School of Ministry. There's a course there and it will explain everything. One said the prize for all of God is to have all of us. The prize for all of God is for him to have all of us. So if we are going to have God to come on this particular issue we are dealing with, then we should also be able to absolutely surrender ourselves. Let's justify it from the word of God. Let's go to Psalm 143, verse 7 to 12. David said, Answer me speedily, O Lord. That is what we expect from God in this prayer. Answer me speedily, O Lord. Let us pray. Father, we surrender ourselves absolutely to the supremacy of your will. Your word testifies of the amazing things you did for the fathers of old, from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the patriarchs into the New Testament. Even in our own day and time, the amazing and incredible things you've done when your children were caught in the trenches. Today is no exception. We come to you confident that you are faithful who has promised and you will do it. You will turn the tables in our favor. You overturn the works of the enemy and bring the enemy to shame. We give you thanks. Our eyes are upon you, O God. Do that which you have promised. Amen. The first scripture I quoted is Psalm 143, verse 7, all the way to verse 12. But what it says is, answer me speedily, O Lord. That is David speaking. If we are talking about prayer, then we have the expectation that God will answer us speedily. When we go to verse 9 of Psalm 143, the Bible says, Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. In this particular case, let's, let's capsule and bottom hole it to a particular issue. From the direction of the Archbishop, we are dealing with the COVID-19. Well, others are saying it will go away on its own. No, we are tackling it head on. COVID-19, the pandemic, the deaths. When it began in Wuhan, who thought it would get here? But just before we could say, Jack, it's within our walls. Mm. People have died. There is fear. There is anxiety. There is apprehension. There is uncertainty. Uh, people, they are doomsday sayers. There are all kinds of conspiracy theories. Even the leaders don't know what to do. Our eyes are upon you. And so as we come to this time of prayer, we are coming confident that God is not our first and our last resort. God is all that we have. And we are coming head on to God with all our needs, our fears, and anxieties. And I promise you, this prayer will not be in vain. Amen. Someone say amen. amen. Verse 9 of Psalm 143. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. In you I take shelter. The Lord is our shield. Now, let me give you a little, if you have any confusion, because there may be a lot of people who think, well, they are talking about a virus. Some say two shots. The other, they say two shots was not enough. There is a need for a booster, and we don't know what they will say next. Uh, there are those who say, no, 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 uh, uh, we, uh, shots are not enough. All kinds of things are in the air, but the Lord is our portion. Listen to me carefully, please. From the Bible, it commands us, the Bible talks about prayer 250 times. Prayer is not a joke. And I'm going to give you a surprise before I come to my anchor scripture. No doctrine in the Bible we preach is mentioned as many times as prayer. That should set you up. That should clear your eyes. No doctrine we preach in the New Testament 
and the old. It's mentioned as many times as prayer. And David said, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. It will not be a waste of time. Psalm 34, verse 15. Listen to me. The kingdom of God is knowledge-driven. And so let us settle the matter and make the enemy no room for escape. This matter can be dealt with on the basis of God's word. The kingdom of God is knowledge-driven. And so I'm going to take you to Psalm 94, my anchor scripture, and let's find out where, what the enemy will do and what God says. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Psalm 94, this is my anchor scripture from verse 20. Amazing scripture. It will be a good point for prayer. Shall the throne of iniquity, Zaduka Bahaya, maybe you did not know that iniquity has a throne. God has a throne. It's in the Old Testament. It's in the book of Revelation. Satan has a throne. When you talk about a throne, you are talking about legalities, center of authority, seat of power. He says, shall the throne of iniquity, which devises evil by law. Listen, COVID is not an accident of history. If that is what you think, your ladder is on a wrong wall. He says, shall the throne of iniquity, which devise evil by law, have fellowship with you. Satan has no right to take you down. Satan has no right to take your life. The Bible has shall the throne of iniquity. Now, if the throne of God brings blessing, every good and perfect gift comes from God, in whom there is no variableness, nor shadow of turning. That's what the book of James says. So if the throne of God is the throne of light, and the throne of iniquity is the throne of darkness, what can Satan bring? So you are talking about death, you are talking about calamity, you are talking about trouble, you are talking about fear, you are talking about all the problems that come. When you read Romans chapter 8, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. There are two laws working in this life. COVID is not from God, and the power of God can nip it in the bud. That is, if we pray, shall the throne of iniquity, we devise evil by law, have fellowship with you? It's a question mark. Verse 21. They gather together. Uh, this one should clear your eyes. They gather together against the life of the righteous. Innocent people have died. I'm showing you from scripture. Mm. Psalm 94, verse 21. They gather together against the life of the righteous and condemn innocent blood. Innocent people have died. There is no need for it. Just because we stood by, but now we are rising to the challenge. But the Lord has been my defense. Whoa. The Lord has been my defense. Someone said, the Lord has been my defense. And my God, the rock of my refuge. He has brought upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their wickedness. The Lord shall cut them off. The Lord shall do what? Cut them off. The, short, the Lord shall do what? Cut them off. Today, Jesus. the throne of God, Jesus. the throne of God Jesus. will upset the throne of darkness. Of Satan has no chance. Jesus. We declare that we come. Mm. Well, maybe we've been quiet for a while, but we arise like mighty men of war. Jesus. And we take the battle to the gates of the enemy. The of John 10, 10, the thief cometh not. Satan has an assignment. Mm. But to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. We are going to pray. Jesus. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Jesus. God has given us a promise. Jesus. Whosoever mm. shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The choice is yours. You can decide to. You can decide not to. But we have decided that we have no option. The Lord is our absolute choice. And today we are going to pray. The pandemic. The fear. The fear. The anxiety. The uncertainty. There are people who don't know what to do. There are some who have refused to travel. Some have refused to come to church. Since March last year, there are people who have not gone to church. That cannot be. You cannot stay home forever. We are going to pray. Any apprehension in the air. In the name of Jesus. Any fear in the air. In the name of Jesus. Any uncertainty in the air. In the name of Jesus. Any dark shadow. 
from the throne of iniquity. As we read from Psalm 94, we take it down in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray for a moment. We shoot our arrows in the plot, in the law, in the assignment, in the decree, in the conspiracy that has been set up from the throne of iniquity. We declare fire for fire. We return the enemy fire. We take the battle to the gates of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We shall not die. We shall live to declare, to proclaim the goodness of God. Oh, Kadabataya, when the soldiers are counted, none shall be missing. Wherever you are, I ask you to pray. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Pray for your pastor. Pray for your family. Ah, Leka Duria. Ledila Mataya. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Now, we take it down. Every plot, we shoot it down. In the name of Jesus. Every assignment, we disperse. In the name of Jesus. In the gathering of witchcraft, we overrule it. In the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. It's a strong tower. Lord do back our tire. The righteous, the righteous, the righteous run into it and they are safe. Now we pray in the name of Jesus. Every throne set up, set up in your house, in your family, in your church, in your office, in the throne of iniquity, in the throne that divides evil, COVID, pandemic. Ah, the plague, the plague, the plague, the plague, the fear, in the plague, in the fear, anxiety, uncertainty, fear of the unknown. We declare the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord. We speak the blood of Jesus, overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony into Asia, into America, into Africa. We speak deliverance. We speak escape. We break the stronghold of the enemy. We shall not die. We shall not die. We shall not die. Now look at this. As we pray, I want you to check this out. Shall the throne of iniquity that devise a war by law. Mm. Oh, they say it's accident. Mm. <laughs> Don't believe it. We know too much from God's word. He said there's a throne. It is backed by legal enactment. Mm. Evil does not happen for nothing. Mm. That's what the Bible says. It's initiated from the pit of hell. Now, he said, Bishop, I'm not very sure. Let's clarify. Let's go to Matthew chapter 2. As we go on into prayer. Just hold on. We'll have time to pray. Let me give you Matthew chapter 2. That, 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 should, settle, that should settle the matter permanently. Matthew chapter 2. When I say the throne of iniquity that divides evil by law. Let's go to Matthew chapter 2 verse 16. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Amazing. Amazing. Kadala kataya. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men. Hello, can you hear me? When he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry. This Herod is a killer, the king of Judea. He sent and put to death. If you say Satan doesn't kill, I am proving my point. You are lying. He sent and killed. I'm not saying it. It's in the Bible. He was exceedingly angry. He sent and put forth to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem in all their districts from two years upward according to the time which was determined by the wise men. King Herod killed all of them. Satan is a killer. This thing was initiated by the enemy. See how many people have died. What was the use of this day in Matthew chapter 2? Where Herod killed them. We are going to take up the battle. We are taking it to the gates of the enemy. Jesus. 
He said, they gather together. The Bible tells us, Kasala Takaya. They gather against the life of the righteous. For someone listening to me, you know somebody who has died in this COVID. It's a needless death. But David said, but the Lord has been my refuge. If you just tune in, we are dealing with the spread of the coronavirus. The spirit of death, premature death, assassinations, the fear, the apprehension. People can't live their life freely anymore. There are people who have put off their, their efforts to travel. Businesses are collapsing. The economy in many countries are in shambles. And that is not right. And the Archbishop has set up this prayer meeting as a major remedial action to roll back and to take the battle to the gates of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, in Micah chapter 3, verse 8, as we take our next prayer, he said, I am full of power by the Spirit of God. Jesus. I love the scripture in Philippians chapter 1, 19 to 20, as we get to our second portion of prayer. Zadakataya. Paul said, it shall turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of God. We are going to pray that right now, whether it's in your family or you know someone, even if you don't know someone, you owe it to yourself and mankind. As a child of God, that you take up this prayer. Let us pray that God will grant us deliverance. If you know somebody in the hospital, somebody on the bed of affliction, clap and let us pray. According to Philippians chapter 1, Verse 19 and 20. It shall turn out for my deliverance. It shall turn out for my deliverance. By the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, all power belongs to God. Once I've heard, Kadaria, that once God has spoken, twice I've heard, the power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. We unseat the enemy. We overrule the power of darkness. You will not die. We push, we push. We say pray until something happens. Let her be choked. Let the afflicted be set free. We shall live and not die. We shall tell the story in the name of Jesus. We take up weapons of war in Genesis 14. Abraham took 318 soldiers and he set Lot free. Lagada, 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 Randa Labaya, Lari Matakaya, Ragados Kayando, Ragados Kayando, Ragados Kayando, Ela Masaya, Adiriale, Adiriale, Ilare Bebe Bebe Bebe, Shanda Labasaya, Yanda Laba, Ragada, let your press go free, let your press go free, let your press go free. Any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, any father, any mother, pencil for death. We take their name out of the book. We cancel it. Every ordinance, every handwriting upon the wall. We cancel it. We brought it out by the work of Jesus. We brought out from Colossians chapter 2. Every handwriting, every ordinance, Lagaduria, brought out. By the blood of Jesus, by the name of Jesus, la da kayata, le la mama sa, ila la la ba ba, ila la 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 ba, ila la 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 ba, ila la la ba. We shall not die. We shall live to declare the works of the Lord. The Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Yando le bo bo bo, yando le 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 bo bo, yando le 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 bo bo. Adiriye ilagada kapaya. Ilagada kapaya, ilagada kapaya, ilagada kapaya, yanda la la baya, ilagada kapaya, lariana ya, dariana, ilara babaya, ilariana ya, ilagada ya, azagada, yanda la ba, setanya la ya, ragada ya. Let let me quote it offhand. From Philippians chapter 1, 
verse 19 to 20. The four books Paul wrote from prison, Colossians, Ephesians, Philemon, and Philemon, and Philippians. Paul wrote to the Philippian church a statement that is very important for this particular prayer point. He said, it shall turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. Prayer brings deliverance. The matter is settled. We are going to pray in conclusion. Now, now I, I want you to listen to something as we take that prayer. War. What we are doing, what the Archbishop has set forth, is a declaration of war. The definition of war is an act of force intended to compel our enemy to fulfill our will. War is defined as an act of force. We are pushing the enemy to the wall, intended to compel our opponent, the enemy, light versus darkness, to fulfill our will. Psalm 125 verse 3. He said, the rod of the wicked, Kadum Bahaya, shall not stand on the land allotted to the righteous. Satan, you have no right to bring death here. No COVID, no pandemic, no plague, no death, no fear, no, no apprehension. We pray, by the supply of the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, we overrule the work of the enemy. We cancel every death plot, assassination against your husband, against your wife, against your auntie, against your uncle, against your pastor, anyone listening to me, by extension, multiply effect, your family members, we cover them like Rahab, brought the family yes, under Lord. one roof. Yes, if a scarlet thread can say, hey, we declare the blood, the blood of Jesus, Jesus. speak at better the things, speak at better yes, things Lord. than the blood of Eva. La Duri Makaya. We turn the tables. We turn the tables against the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hey, Lama Dula Bakataya. We brought out every name appointed for death and for the grave in 2021. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. You will not die. Your father will not die. Your mother will not die. Your uncle will not die. Your pastor will not die. No church member in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. On Mount Zion shall be delivered. Let God arise. By your mighty right hand, smite the enemy. Ah, on the cheekbone, on the jawbone, and destroy Lagaduya, every veil of evil in the name of Jesus. My soul, our soul, has escaped. Lagadia, Ragadubahai, Elalalababababababa. Hey, 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 Zagaduya. Zagaduya, 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 Legadia, Ragaduskaya, Zandalalalaba. It will interest you to hear the scripture. Hosea chapter 13, verse 14. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. Jesus. Jesus has done that. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15 tells us. I will redeem them from death. You have no fear. You will live. Jesus. You will tell the story the to your Jesus. children's children. Mm. How prayer altars were raised <laughs> from Action Chapel and many parts of the world and deliverance came mm. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I will redeem them from death. Oh, death. I'll be your plagues. Oh, grave. I'll be your destruction. Pity is hidden from my eyes. I declare, according to the word of God, the of that the hand of the Lord has gone out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Stay, your hand. Stay your hand. Proceed no further. We draw a bloodline. For you who have heard me today, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, by the mandate God has given his church, what you establish on earth shall be established. What you decree on earth shall be decreed. I declare in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus, for your wife, for your husband, Jesus. for your sister, Jesus. for your brother, Jesus. for your church members, and wherever you are, the declaration is out. The Lord is your deliverer Jesus. in the name of Jesus. You'll be among the Lord that tells the story. 
when COVID-19 is over. I declare you blessed. blessed. No more fear. No more. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And now, Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we speak blessing over the life of the Archbishop, his wife, his family, every member of action, into all the ends of the earth as a point of contact, that this prayer shall bear fruit Jesus. and the fruit shall remain. Jesus. So be it. In Jesus' name, amen. The powerful vision that God has given that you can call men from everywhere across the globe to stand in a place of prayer, to stand in a place that you are able to speak and call those things that be not as though they were. Thank you. And thank you for giving us the privilege to be a part of this 100 days of prayer. And I'm Bishop Cephas Reeves coming to you all the way from Liberia once again from the City of Wisdom. We are ministering to you right now from the Wisdom Cathedral. We say thank you and we say welcome. Tonight, or this morning, I want you to see that we're continuing in engaging in prayer and we are dealing with some very specific areas. Looking at the world today, looking at the pandemic, looking at the plagues that have hit the world, we are dealing with some specific areas. And we are coming against the spirit of death. We are claiming victory over death through the blood of Jesus. We are coming over all of the powers of the enemy. We are coming today and we are making our case. And we are speaking to the elements. We are speaking to, to, to lives. We are speaking to nations. We are speaking to, 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 to the hurricane, to satanic Hurricanes, we are speaking to them. To begin our prayer, we want to engage Revelation chapter 12 and the verse number 11. And the Bible says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of of their testimony. Today, we want you to understand that we are engaging the hand of God. We want to declare victory through the blood seals of Jesus over every ailing family member, over every staff, over every friend. We want to declare victory, victory, victory. We want to declare victory. And we want to override the testimony of death. No longer are we going to accept the testimony of death. We override it. Say in the name of Jesus. I override. I override. I override. Every testimony of death. And by the blood of Jesus. We will have testimony of life. And life to the fullness. Tonight we want to pray. We want to override every testimony of death. With the testimony of victory. Through the blood of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We thank you tonight. We declare victory. Victory. Victory through the blood seals of Jesus over every ailing family, over every family member, over every staff, over every job, every business. We want to declare victory. 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 Victory over our friends, our relatives. We want to declare victory. Tonight and this morning, we are declaring victory. Victory over every ailing family member. We are praying. We are praying. I want you to join us from wherever you are. From wherever you are, from Liberia, we are praying from, 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 from Ghana. We are praying from all the countries in Africa. We are releasing. We want you to join us from wherever you are. We want you to join us from the U.S., from the United States of America. We want you to join us from Asia. We want you to join us, oh, from, 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 from Europe, London, and all the other uh, countries around the world. 
This is the time in our 100 days of uh, prayer, people have been joining us from everywhere. They've been coming, they've been coming from social media and they are joining this day. It has become a phenomenon. And so as we are engaging the hand of God, as we are engaging prayer from Revelation, we want all of you, wherever you are, to declare victory. Victory, victory, until you say it and see it come to pass. It will not manifest in your life. And that is why we are pushing, we are engaging so that you can begin to see victory. See victory. This is victory. We want you to speak victory. Victory over death. Victory over death. Victory over sickness. Victory over disease. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you today. We thank you. We thank you for victory. That our testimonies will be testimonies of life will be testimonies that will bring us to an expected end in the name of Jesus. Let's look at Ezekiel chapter 13, the verse 18 and 19. Ezekiel chapter 13, the verse 18 and 19. And say, thus says the Lord God, woe to the woman who sew magic charms on their sleeves and make veils for the head of people of every height to hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people and keep yourselves alive? And will you profane me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread, killing people who should not die? And keeping people alive who should not live. By your lying to my people who listen to lies. This scripture in Ezekiel is very serious. And I want you to look at it. As we read this scripture and dissect it, we want you to see that we are going to make sure that we untie all those captured and hunted for death. All those captured and hunted for death, we want to make sure that we untie them. Say, I untie all those captured and hunted for death. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you that all those who are hunted and captured for death, we untie them. We untie them. We loose the bounds of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, we loose the bounds of wickedness. We untie them. We break the chains of death. We break the chains that have held them bound. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning that the word of God is true. The word of God is coming with power and demonstration. That as we speak for the word of God, everything that we say is coming to pass. This morning, we untie all those captured and hunted for death. In the name of Jesus, we untie them. 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 Let those who have been captured, let them be set free by the power of the Spirit of God. Let them be set loose in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Tonight, we terminate every schedule of untimely death and exchanges. I thank you, my God, that tonight, tonight, we terminate, we terminate every schedule, every schedule of untimely death. Those who have met their demise through untimely death, tonight I command the angel of death to stare his hands and to move back and to stand down in the name of Jesus. That I terminate the assignment. I terminate the assignment. I terminate the assignment. I terminate the assignment. Any exchange, any death, let it be exchanged. Let death be exchanged for life. Let death be exchanged for life. In the name of Jesus, I speak life over you. Life over your family. Life over your home. Life over your business. Life over your communities. Life over your country. I speak life over Liberia. 
I speak life over Liberia. I speak life over Ghana. I speak life over Nigeria. I speak life over Benin. I speak life over, 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 over Guinea. I speak life over Sierra Leone. All these different countries in Africa and all the countries in Europe, all the countries in U USA, all the countries in Asia, China, I speak life, I speak life, I speak life. Satan, you do not give life. It is God who gives life. And because God gave life, we take life. We chose life over death. We terminate every assignment in the name of Jesus. We untie all those who have been captured. We untie them. We untie them. We untie them. Those who have been hunted. We, we, we loose them in the name of Jesus. Every demon that has been assigned to, to, to hunt them down. I change your assignment by the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Father. Ha! Tonight, let every financial transaction in the spirit world for our death. Let it backfire. I command it to backfire. I command it to backfire. I command it to backfire. Every financial transaction in the spirit world for our death. Any transaction in the spirit world for our death. I command it to backfire. 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 Let it backfire now in the name of Jesus. I command them to move back. Stand up. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, my God. Every financial transaction that they have done in the spirit world, in the underworld, I command them to stand down. I command them, I command them to backfire. It will not work. It will not work. It will not work. For we say so, and whatever we say, it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Turn your Bibles with me also to Hosea chapter 13 and the verse number 14. I want us to look at that scripture. He says, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. <laughs> I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Oh, death, I will be your plague. Uh, oh, grave. I will be your destruction. Pity is the hidden from my eyes. This scripture is a very powerful scripture. As we read this scripture, I want you to say, I want you to say, I declare in the name of Jesus, a quick snatching from the power of evil graves. A quick snatching from the power of evil graves. We declare this morning, a quick snatching, a quick snatching from the power of evil graves. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. We declare this right now. And as we declare, whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. Right now, we declare, right now, we declare a quick snatching. We snatch them. We snatch them from the power of evil graves, from the power of hell, from the power of death. Death will lose its stain in the name of Jesus. Oh, death, where is your stain? We, you will lose your stain. You will lose your power over the, 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 the lives of God's people. We snatch them out right now. We destroy every surprise launched from the power of the grave. We come against satanic surprises, demonic surprises. Oh, lift your voice right now with me. Just lift your voice and come against wherever you are in the different countries, wherever you are right now. Lift your voice with me. Lift your voice and, and, and destroy. And lift your voice and destroy every surprise launch. Every surprise launch from the power of the grave. The grave has nothing on us and we separate ourselves from the power of the grave. The angel of death, I command you to stand up in the name of Jesus. We call of mourning at the city gates and households. Satan's plan is to cause people to moan, is to cause them to moan and to cry and to cause pain. Right now, I stand in the place of power. I stand in the blood of Jesus and I command and I destroy and I call off mourning at the city gates and households. There will be no more mornings. 
There will be no more mornings from coronavirus. There will be no more mornings from any death. There will be no more mornings in our different countries. All of the schemes and powers of the enemy, tonight we command them to stand down. We call them to stand down. We blot out names penciled for the grave this year prematurely in the name of Jesus. Any premature death, anyone that has been sent, that has been penciled down for premature death tonight and this morning by the blood of Jesus, we blot it out. We blot out your names. If your name has been put there for you to die tonight, we blot it out. We blot it out in the name of Jesus. We declare a quick, a quick snatching from the power of grave, of evil graves, evil grave evil grave we command them in the name of jesus we destroy every surprise launched from the power of the grave lift your voice now and begin to pray I bless your name, O God. We speak in the language of the Spirit, for we command every stronghold of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We move into the arsenal of Satan and we command all of his weapons that he has launched against the world. We command them to stand down. You will use guilt, discouragement, disappointment. We command you to stand down. Any doubt, Anything that you are using from your arsenal by the speaking of the blood tonight, this morning, by the speaking of the blood, we command those weapons, we render them powerless, 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 powerless. I render you powerless in the name of Jesus. Every weapon of fear, every weapon of death, every weapon of misconception, every weapon of, of, of disappointment, I render you in the name of Jesus. Numbers chapter 31 and the verse 49. Numbers chapter 31 and the verse 49. And they said to Moses, your servants have taken account of the men of war who are under our command and not a man of us is missing. Mm. I love that. He said, and they said to Moses, your servants have taken account of the men of war who are under our command and not a man of us is missing. Tonight, I want to make that declaration. Not one person from your family will be missing. As we engage the war of Corona, as we engage this war, we are victors in this war. As we engage this war of sickness and disease, we are victors. And at the end of the day, when the count is given, none of us will be missing. I prophesy to you. I prophesy to your family that none of your, your children will be missing. That none of your, your friends and family will be missing. There will be divine escape. I command and release divine escape. Divine escape over your children. Divine escape over your family. Divine escape over your, your business. And anything that has been put in crossfire, may you never be caught in crossfire. In the name of Jesus. Ah. Let's release. I want us to release all who have been sanctioned by divination to die. By divination to die. All those who have been sanctioned by divination, witchcraft, sorcery. Tonight, tonight, and this morning, we want to release them. We want to release them. We want to declare that the none, that none shall lose through hospitality, hospitalization, sorry, and, 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 and accident. You see, when it comes to something like accident, I don't believe anything that has to do with accident. All of what we have been calling accident is just demonic calculations. Satan has been calculating and putting people through different things that we say is accident. No, it was demonically calculated. Tonight, let that calculation become miscalculation. That every calculation that they have set for you for accident may it never come to pass. In the name of Jesus, any plan for hospitalization tonight, we change course. I declare, let them change course. 
Let them change course. Let them change course. That surgery that you are waiting for tonight, that surgery will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. That 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 incident that the enemy is waiting for to come through childbirth tonight, it will not happen. Mob action, it will not happen. Armed robbery, it will not happen. Drowning, it will not happen. Plane crash, it will not happen. Fire outbreak, it will not happen. COVID pestilence. We command them, all of them, all of these things that we are naming, we command them to lose their hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold over God's people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, lose your hold. 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 Armed robbery. Lose your hold. Drownings. Lose your hold. Plane crash. Lose your hold. Fire outbreak. Lose your hold. COVID pestilence. Let all of them backfire. Let the plans backfire. Let them never come to pass. In the name of Jesus, they shall not come to pass. I declare that they shall not come to pass. And I speak life over you in the name of Jesus. That you will go free. And as you act, as it is as the number is counted, it will be said that none is missing. The children are all intact because of the blood of Jesus. Right now, let's go to our next prayer point. And this one is coming from Psalm chapter 91. Psalm chapter 91 and verse number 60. Turn with me there quickly. The Bible says, Because we know that none of you will be missing, let us give you the benefit of what God is telling you. He says, With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hey! With long life I will satisfy him. And show him my salvation. Wherever you are this morning. As we are engaging this hundred days of prayer. I want you to know. That the Lord is telling you tonight. That he will satisfy you with long life. He will satisfy your children with long life. He will satisfy your family with long life. I release the word of God upon Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. I release the word of God upon your family. That with long life. He will satisfy you. With long life, he will satisfy your children. With long life, he will satisfy your family. As you continue to labor in a vineyard for the Lord, we stand and raise prayer shields and firewalls around Archbishop, around his children, around his family, that you will not, at the end of the day, when the counts shall have been made, we will see that there will be none that is missing. They will all be accounted for in the name of Jesus. They will all be accounted for in our churches. They will all be accounted for in our communities. They will all be accounted for in our neighborhoods because the hand of death has been still. The hand of death has been put down in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy, every arrow that they are shooting, let it backfire and go back to sender in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. We declare long life and unfailing preservation through the years. Long life and unfailing preservation through the years. That means we will live long and we will prosper. We will not just live long, but we will live long and we will prosper. We will live well. Our children will live well. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I ask for full satisfaction in all spheres of life in the midst of this pandemic. I thank you, Lord, that we rely on the power of Yeshua. That in this pandemic that we are passing through, it will just be another place we are passing through. We activate the power of God that every one of us will be satisfied. Full satisfaction, full satisfaction, full satisfaction in all fears of life. Full satisfaction. You will be satisfied in your life. You will be satisfied in the midst of this pandemic. You will be satisfied for the hand of God is with you. That which God has in his hand, no man can pluck. I thank you that we are in the hand of God. We are in the care of God. We are in the power of God. As we walk the power of God, we will command those things and call those things that be not as though they were. In the name of Jesus, I bless you, O oh God, for everything that you are doing. I thank you for answered prayers. I I thank you for the keeping power. I thank you for the saving power. I thank you, oh God, for the redeeming power of the Holy Ghost that have kept us safe and is keeping us safe as we continue to move. Let the word of God continue to take root in our lives. 
in the name of Jesus. Let me give you our final scripture. Our scripture is coming from Psalms chapter 7 and the verse number 13. Instruments of death. Mm. Remember that devil counterfeits God's creation. He counterfeits instructions and he counterfeits directions. That's what he does. Until you can know the real thing, you cannot know the fake. So it's important that you understand the real thing today so that you can know the fake when you see them. Based on this scripture, we want to destroy every wicked instrument of death set up for us in the name of Jesus. Haman and the gallows, Jezebel and the seat of death for Noah. All of these people, they had their own experience because they had their instrument of death. He thought that by orchestrating to the king, he was going to have the opportunity to kill the children of Israel. At the end of the day, every plan that he had, he fell into his own plan. The same that has happened in the Bible, it's going to happen today. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, we can rely on God's word. We can rely on the word of God. We can hold on to the hands of God. We can hold on to the cross. We can hold on to the power of God. We can hold on to the things that brings victory. We can hold on to the things that will allow us to triumph. The things that will allow us to press through the gouging of the enemy. We hold on to the unchanging hands. Hold on to the cross. I want to command you today. I want to encourage you today. Wherever you are. As we are engaging this hundred day of prayer. I want you to stand. And the instrument of death will not function when it comes to you. When it comes to your children. It will jam. It will boomerang. It will boomerang. It will boomerang. It will boomerang. Let the instrument of death. Boomerang in the name of Jesus, the instrument of death. Let it boomerang. I, 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 I declare today that with long life, he will satisfy you and show you salvation. Father, I bless you. I thank you. I thank you for this move. I thank you that this is a movement. I thank you for this movement. I thank you that we'll continue to shake the world, to shake things around the world, and we'll bring glory to your name in the name of Jesus. Right now, I lift up a prayer for Liberia. I lift up prayers for the nations of Africa that, that the hand of God will be upon us, that the hand of God will release us, that the hand of God will take us through this next pandemic, that the hand of God will take Africa, Asia, Europe, America, South America, through this next form of pandemic. I thank you for victory. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. That as we release our faith. And we continue to pray. May the hand of God. Continue to take us from victory to victory. I pray for you. I pray for your families. I pray for your communities. I pray that as we continue to stand in the gates. We will possess the gates. We possess the gates. We possess the gates. We possess the gates. The financial gates. We possess the financial gates. In the name of Jesus, we possess the gates. Let every stronghold of the enemy stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Wherever you are and you are engaging in this prayer, this morning as we pray, we want you to understand that every word that is released into heaven, heaven will back you. Everything that you say will come to pass because we are leaning on the everlasting arms. The arms that has given us victory. The everlasting arms that have caused us to move through barricades. They have caused us to move through troops. They have caused us to move through traps. We have been, we have escaped from every trap, the snare of the fowler. As we escape from the snare, we will also escape from this pandemic. In the name of Jesus, I bless your name, O oh God. And I thank you 
for answered prayers. And as we come your way again, in continuing this prayer, we want you to know that the Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. The Lord makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. a need to deal with the spirit of slumber, a spirit of slumber, that the church has entered into a state of slumber, and it's time for spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening. So tonight, let every spell and let every spirit of slumber over the house, over us individually, our dwellings and collectively, let the spirit of slumber be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the spell of the spirit of slumber break in the name of Jesus. Let every bewitchment of the spirit of slumber break over the church, break over the house, break over our leaders, break over our family. Put your hands together. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break it. Break it. Break it. Sit down for two minutes. There is a word going on I think that the enemy has succeeded to confuse the church. To think that whatever God says is automatic. It's not automatic. Every promise of God is conditional. Listen, I need some of the pastors to take care of that demon screaming out. It's a demon. It's a demon speaking. Get it out of her. Somebody say, come out of her. Say in the name of Jesus, come out. Put your hands together. Come on, to come out. Come out. Come out. Carry her out. Come out. It's a reaction. Come out. 
come out. Put your hands together and say, come out of it, come out. Command it to come out. Come out. Come out. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come out. Open your mouth. Come out of it. Come out. Come out. Come on, somebody say, come out. Come out. Come out. You demon spirit. Come out of it. Somebody shout, come out. Say, out, 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 out. Come out. Whenever you see demons reacting this way in church, it's a clear indication that revival has begun. Yeah. Anytime Jesus went to the synagogues, demons reacted. Are you hearing me? And when we have services and demons don't react like this, it's clear indication that there's no power in the house, the present is not there, the Holy Ghost is not there. But when you begin to see demons reacting this way, it's a clear indication that revival has begun. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together. Scream revival, revival. This is what church is all about. And we are going to stay on it. Within these hundred days, we will not be weak, but we will work stronger and stronger. Say, I will work stronger and stronger. Within these hundred days and beyond, I will not be incapacitated. I will not be sick. I will not be bedridden. I will not be weak, but I will be stronger and stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus to the end of the year and beyond. You believe it? Put your hands together and it is so. And it is so. Somebody said the other day, why are you praying 100 days? Don't you have faith? Let me tell you something. Prayer, praise is the highest expression of faith. So you can't pray without faith. You cannot pray without faith. And you cannot also have faith and not pray. They go together. You can't pray to a God you don't see and know without faith. So to pray, it requires faith. And you can also have faith and shut your mouth and don't say something and don't pray. Are you hearing me, somebody? And may I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that every promise of God is conditional. Every promise of God is conditional. It is not automatic. And that's why there are so many promises of God in the world that we haven't yet experienced it. And when I talk about the promises of God, I'm not talking about money. A lot of Christians think as soon as you have money, no, that is it. You are joking. The promises of God is not about money. It's bigger than money. It's better than money. You don't have to be a believer to have money. You can serve the devil and have money. He promised to give people wealth, riches, kingdom, glory, power. If we serve him, if we serve him. So it's very, very important. Uh, Bishop, please note all the people dealing with that lady, eh? I want them to go and do the test. Eh? As soon as they finish, they should go and test and make sure that she's not carrying corona. It's common sense. You don't need faith to know that. Somebody say, use your head. Use your head. Yeah, it's common sense. Amen? Hallelujah. So, there are rules of engagement. Somebody say, rules of engagement. I can't hear you say, rules of engagement. So, Within these hundred days, it is my belief that every promise of God to you and I that has not yet come to pass will happen in the name of Jesus. You didn't hear me. I said every promise of God that you have read in the Bible that has not yet come to pass, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. You will see the full manifestation of every promise of God. If you believe it, put your hands together and say yes.
He said, I have come that you may have life and have it more in abundance. Say, more in abundance. Come on, talk to me. Say, more, 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 more. More in abundance. He promises us abundant life. And these things are possible. By his stripes, we were healed and so we are. If we were, then we are. Why are the promises not being fulfilled? It's because of prayerlessness. Somebody say prayerlessness. Lack of action on our side. We just read the word, put it under our pillow, and expect the word to happen. It does not work that way. You and I have the responsibility to enforce what is written. To give voice to the promises. He said, put me in remembrance. Put me in remembrance. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. So the promises don't happen on their own. They don't just come to pass. Somebody must contend for the manifestation before it happens. First Timothy 1. First Timothy 1 and 18. First Timothy 1 and 18. This child I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. That thou by them. That thou by them. That thou by them. That thou by them. Mightest war a good warfare. So we have to war with a prophetic word. Say warring with the word. Talk to me. Say warring with the word. So when God gives us a prophetic word, we have a responsibility to contend for the manifestation of that word because the enemy will put up a fight and a resistance. And God requires faith from you and I on this side to stand our ground and enforce what God has said and heaven will back us up. But until we do something by expressing faith in what God has said, there will not be a performance. So we have a duty and a responsibility to wake up like other religions, pray three times a day, five times a day. Can you imagine if we will begin to pray three times a day consistently all of our life, praying the same way? You go to the, the wailing wall in Israel. From the morning to midnight, 3 a.m. to the next morning, the place is packed. And people are praying the promises on that wall. Just praying the promises. Praying the promises. Standing there like this. Just quoting the promises. Bringing the word before the Lord. Reminding the Lord night and day upon the wailing wall. And you think you can just read the word. Read the promises. Go to sleep. And say, be done. And then it's done. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You and I have a responsibility to take God at that word and enforce that word. Stay on it until it comes to pass. Come with me to Ezekiel 12, 21 to 23. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have, ye have in the land of Israel saying? The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. You see, there was a proverb in the land, they were saying that, well, you know what? Visions are not happening, prophecies are not coming to pass. He looked at the word of the Lord, it's not true. And there are so many things going on in the lives of believers that sometimes you ask yourself, what's going on? Because you look at the world and you look at your situation, your circumstances, you look at your life, your children, your loved ones, your finances, your business, your health, and you begin to have issues with the promises. If you are not careful, you start doubting the scriptures. But hear me, God cannot lie. The scriptures cannot be broken. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is certainly heaven. There are conditions when it comes to the promises and the, and the blessings of God. There are conditions. They are not automatic. It's conditional. Everybody says the blessings of God. 
The promises of God are conditional. Talk to me, say they are conditional. Clap your hands, say they are conditional. Come on, clap your hands, say they are conditional. Talk, say they are conditional, conditional. Amen? The promises of God are conditional. The blessings are conditional. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways and pray, I will hear from heaven. I will heal the land. It's conditional. It's not automatic. Healing of the land is not automatic. Or other the sufferings across the world won't be dead. Then the famine and the drought in Ethiopia, Somalia, and across nations of our world won't be there. But they are conditional. Conditional because of the error of Adam. Adam ceded the dominion by committing high treason. And the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. God gave it to Adam, Adam gave it to Satan, and Satan doesn't want the will of God to be done on earth. He doesn't want God's kingdom to come on earth. And Jesus said, when you pray, say that kingdom come and that will be done on earth. And within these hundred days, we are praying for the manifestation of his kingdom and for the manifestation of the will of God. If you agree with me, put your hands together. What you saw tonight with the lady crying and that demon speaking out and everything is a sign of the manifestation of the kingdom. When the kingdom comes, demons can stay around. When the kingdom comes, when his will comes, the enemy has to leave town. Are you hearing me, somebody? We've been coexisting with demons, coexisting with witches and the enemy, but it's time for us to pray the manifestation of the kingdom and the manifestation of his will. And when his will and his kingdom comes, the enemy will leave town. Sickness will leave town. Diseases will leave town. Are you hearing me, somebody? Pre premature death will leave town when the kingdom comes and when his will is done. Put your hands together and say yes. He said, for the days where you said visions are prolonged, the word doesn't come to pass anymore, have come to an end. He said, it's a new day. Visions will start coming into full effect. Promises and prophecies will happen immediately. But it takes the church praying without ceasing. It's a condition. It's a lifestyle. Other religions understand it. The Jews understand it. Islam understands it. Hindus understand it. It looks like we are the only religion of this world or the only faith in this world that misunderstand the rules of engagement of our kingdom that things don't just happen until somebody pays the price, stand in the gap to make it happen. He said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap that I may not destroy the land, but I found none. Let that not be said of us in this nation. Let that not be said of us in our generation that God sought for a man or a woman to stand in the gap and he found none. Because if there is a lack of intercession, he said, I sought. I sought. I went on a search because intercessors are not ordinary people. They are not common. They are not easily found or discovered. You can't find them at the shopping malls. Intercessors are very strategic people. And God said, I sought for a man. I sought for a woman. I needed somebody that would give up their sleep. When the Bible says in Colossians 4, 2, he said, continue in prayer, watching thereunto with thanksgiving. That word watch means stay awake when others are slumbling. And sleeping, stay awake. We need spiritual awakening in the church. We need a revival one more time. We need God to come to town again and in happening until we stand in the gap. I sought for a man. I sought for a woman. I need somebody to stand in the gap. We are standing in the gap not because we need financial breakthrough. 
So don't misunderstand this whole thing. This is not just about coronavirus. This is more than coronavirus. I put it on the screen the other day, and we can still put it on the screen for you to read, to see. There are so many things killing people more than coronavirus. And even the fear of the virus itself is a virus. There are things threatening our lives. There are threatenings. There are intimidations, ill wills, conspiracies and projections. He comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. It's time for the church to stand up. It's time for us to go into prayer and tell the enemy, let our children go. Let our sons go. Let our daughters go. Take your hands off and let them go. Ladies and gentlemen, God wrought wonders, signs, miracles, and demanded for the release of Israel. He said to Pharaoh, Israel is my son. He's my firstborn. If you will not let my son go, I'll kill yours. I declare within these hundred days, anyone that is holding back, anyone that is withstanding, anyone that is objecting to our deliverance and opposing us, let them go in the name of Jesus. Let them be taken away that we may live and fulfill the promise of God. Come on, put your hands together and say yes. Any group of people who are devising our head and our demise, they will go in our place in the name of Jesus and will still be here. Say amen. amen. Within these hundred days, let visions, let prophecies and promises of God begin to come to pass. With immediate effect. No more delays. Somebody say, we remove the delays. We remove the delays. Somebody say, we break the delays in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Break the delays. Break delays. Remove the delays. Remove. We break delays. Break frustration. Break delays. Over manifestation. In the name of Jesus, we break the delays. Remove the delays. Remove them. Break them. Come on, every delay, break. Come on, frustrations, break. Cycle of delays, break, 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 break. Somebody, open your mouth. Be aggressive. You've been quiet for too long. You've held your peace for too long. Within these hundred days, let yokes be broken. Let cycles of delay, frustration, disappointment be broken in the name of Jesus. Let nothing threaten our lives anymore. Sit down for two minutes. Revelation chapter 10 verse 1 and 2. Revelation chapter 10 verse 1 and 2. I declare that within these hundred days and beyond, let nothing threaten our lives anymore. You didn't hear I said let nothing threaten our lives anymore. Let nothing intimidate us anymore. In the name of Jesus. Then I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth. Verse 5, and the angel which I saw stand on the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swore by him that liveth forever and ever, who created the heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things that therein are, that there should be time no longer. Another translation. Look at the NIV. Somebody say no more delays. Come on, talk to me. Say, no more delays. No. 
and he and he swore by him who lives forever and ever who created the heavens and all that there is in it in them the earth and all that is in it and the sea and all that is in it and said there will be no more delay somebody said no more delays no more delays oh i can't say no more delays i want you to make an announcement right now calling upon heaven and earth that no more delays no more delays when it comes to the word of the Lord, it comes to the promises and our prophecy that there will be no more delays. Put your hands together and make that declaration. No more delays. Within these hundred days, within these hundred days and beyond, no more delays. No more delays. No more delays. We decree and declare no more delays. No more delays. Proclaim it, declare it, that there will be no more delays within these hundred days and beyond. No more delays. Come on, somebody. Get aggressive. The violent take it by force. The violent take it by force. You have been too nice, too nice, too conservative. The violent take it by force. Not the conservative, but the violent, take it by force. Not the gentle, but the violent, take it by force. Not thinkers, not those who reason to try and figure it out, but the violent, take it by force. Somebody, take it, take it, take it by force. Declare, no more delays, no more delays. No more delays in this house. No more delays of the promises. And the prophecies and the word of the Lord concerning us. No more delays. In the name of Jesus, no more delays. Sit down for two minutes. Go to 2 Samuel 3 1. 2 Samuel 3 1. 2 Samuel. Yeah. Now, there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David worked stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul was weaker and weaker. Another translation said there was not just a long, prolonged, somebody say prolonged. I am declaring and I will not stop declaring it until the hundred days are over. And beyond that every prolonged battle in our lives is coming to an end. Prolonged battles concerning your health and your healing is coming to an end. Every prolonged battle concerning the deliverance of our sons, the deliverance of our children, the deliverance of our husbands, our wives, the deliverance and the breakthrough of our family. Every prolonged battle is coming to an end. Come on, open your mouth, put your hands, declare, declare the end of prolonged battles. Come on, be specific. Every prolonged battle. Every prolonged battle concerning the deliverance of this house come to an end. Every prolonged battle concerning the deliverance of my sons and my daughters and the seed of the righteous and the seed of this house, we command and demand, come to an end. Put your hands together. Get violent. Get aggressive. The violent take it by force. 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 Come on, somebody. Open your mouth. Put your hands together. Stamp your feet. Declare an end to every prolonged, prolonged promise, prolonged battles, prolonged contention, prolonged conflicts. Come to an end. Open your mouth. Come to an end. The violent take it by force, not the conservative, not the gentle, not the nice, but the violent take it by force. Open your mouth, the violent take it by force.
command a breakthrough. A turn around. 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 Come on, a turn around. A turn around. A turn around. Within these hundred days, let there be a turn around. A turn around. A turn around. A turn around. Push it, push it. Somebody's breaking through. Somebody's breaking out. Somebody's breaking forth. In the name of Jesus, break out. Hear me. Within these hundred days, any son and any daughter, any husband and any wife, whom the enemy has marked to take them out. Anyone on death row in the spirit and any demonic exchange, people who die and they are determined to exchange their life with others, let it be overturned. Let it be overturned. Let anyone among us or anyone that concerns us or this house or this altar, whom they have marked and tied up and bound for distractions between now and 31st and beyond, in the name of Jesus, let them be loose. Let them be released. Let them be loose. Hear me. Luke chapter 13 verse 16. Jesus says something. He said, Ought not this daughter of Abraham, this wasn't the daughter of Satan, the daughter of Abraham, who, who was Abraham, the father of faith, God's friend, a holy man, a righteous man, and a prophet. Abraham was a prophet. But Satan bound the daughter of Abraham. Any son of the righteous, any daughter of the righteous, home or abroad, wherever they are, bound, tied up, to be offered, to be slaughtered, between now and the end of this year and beyond, wherever they are, whether they are in the rocks, in the water, in the sea, under the mountains or the valleys, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus, let them be released. Let them be loose. Put your hands together. Loose them. We loose them. Lose their mind. Lose their will. Lose their emotions. Lose their spirit. Lose their body. Lose them. Lose them. We lose them. We lose them. We lose them. Come on, somebody, open your mouth. Lose them. The violence take it by force. The violence take it by force. The violence take it by force. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. 
As you lose them, you are losing yourself. Sit down for two minutes. <clears throat> Let me show you something. Somebody say, every promise of God is conditional. Say, every promise, every promise, every prophecy and blessing is conditional. Come with me to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 36. And I want you to see, God promised 17 times of what he would do. He kept saying, I will. I will. Nobody told him to promise. Nobody asked him to will to do anything. He said, I will. That says the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, God of the armies of Israel. These are the things I will do for my people. He promised. Nobody told him to promise. He said he will. Look at it. Ezekiel chapter 36. Reading from the ninth verse. For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you. I will what? Turn unto you. I will? Turn unto you. Who promised to turn? Sure. Did we ask him to turn unto us? No. He said he would turn unto us. Go ahead. And ye shall be tilled and sown. Uh -huh. And I will multiply men upon you. I will what? Multiply Who men. Who said he will? Sure. Did we ask him? He promise who promise he said what i will multiply men upon you he will what multiply men. say multiplication multiplication he said he will multiply men go ahead all the house of israel even all of it mm -hmm. and the cities shall be inhabited and the waste shall be builded who said god who said this is god speaking and said these are the things i will do i will do that Go ahead. And I will multiply upon you man and beast. That is God speaking again. He said, I will. I will again. Are you counting how many I wills? And what verse are you in, Bishop? Verse 11. Verse 11. And I will multiply upon you man and beast. Okay. And they shall increase and bring fruit. Uh -huh. And I will settle you. For? After your old estates. That is, I will again. Oh, God is saying, I will, I will. Go ahead. And will do better unto you than at your beginning. And I will again. Your latter will be better than your past. This is God talking. Go ahead. And you shall know that I am the Lord. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Go ahead. Yeah, I will cause men to walk upon you. You see? Even my people Israel. Uh -huh. And they shall possess thee. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt be their inheritance. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord God. Because they say unto you, Thou land devourest by devourest up men, and hast bereaved thy nations, therefore thou shalt devour men no more, uh -huh. neither bereave thy nations any more, mm. say the Lord God. Uh -huh. Say the Lord. When he says say the Lord, that is God speaking again. Go ahead. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen anymore. Mm -hmm. Neither shall thou bear the reproach of the people anymore. Mm -hmm. Neither shall thou cause thy nation to fall anymore. These are all promises God is making of God. Say the Lord God. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, mm -hmm. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwell in their land, in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of the of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. Mm -hmm. And I scattered them among the heathen mm -hmm. and they were dispersed through the countries according to, their, according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. And when they entered into the heathen, when they entered onto the heathen, Whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord, and are gone forth out of his hand. 
out of his land. But I had pity for you, my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen. Whither they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, that saith the Lord God, I do not, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's you, sake. You see, you see, you see, he talked, uh, explained all the challenges, and he said, the promises I'm making is for my own sake. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for my sake. But watch something. Go ahead. For my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, mm -hmm. which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. Mm -hmm. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, mm -hmm. saith the Lord God, mm -hmm. when I shall have be sanctified in you among their eyes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, before their eyes. Mm -hmm. For I will take you from among the heathen. Who said, who said he would take us? God. He will remove us from among the heathen. These are all things he said he would do. For his own sake and his name's sake, not because of you and I. Go on. And gather you out of all countries mm -hmm. and will bring you into your own land. Uh -huh. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you mm -hmm. and you shall be clean. Mm -hmm. From all your filthiness and from all your idols mm -hmm. will I cleanse you. Mm -hmm. A new heart also will I give you. Mm -hmm. And a new spirit will I put within you. Mm -hmm. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. Mm -hmm. And will give you an heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. Then, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave your, to your fathers. And you shall be my people and I will be your God. All this is God promising, restoring us. So this is about promises to restore us. To bring us to our original place. The land promises the original intent. God, he said, I'm giving it all back. But listen, go ahead. I will also save you from mm -hmm. all your uncleanness. Uh -huh. and, will, and I will call for the corn and will increase it and mm -hmm. lay no famine upon you. Mm -hmm. And I will multiply the fruit of Do your you field. You see, the, the, I will, the, I will, the, I will, the, I will. This is God just promising, speaking. That says the Lord, I will, I'll do this, I will, God. And the increase of the field, that you shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Mm -hmm. Then shall you remember your own evil ways mm -hmm. and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Mm -hmm. Not for your sakes do I this, mm -hmm. saith the Lord God, but it be it known unto you. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel, that saith the Lord God. In the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the waste shall be builded. You see, all this God is promising what he will do. Cleanse us, restore us, give us a, 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 a new heart, and put his spirit in us. All these things, I'll cleanse you, restore you, bring you back to the land, your city. This, it's all about him. Go ahead. And the desolate land shall be tilled, mm -hmm. whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that pass by. Mm -hmm. And... They shall say, this land that was desolate is become like the garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. And the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced mm -hmm. and are inhabited. Mm -hmm. Then the heathen that are left around about you shall know that I, the Lord, build the ruined places mm -hmm. and plant that that was desolate. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, have spoken it and will do it. Mm -hmm. That saith the Lord God. Mm -hmm. I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel Say, to again. do it for them. Again. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this. I will what? For this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. Do you see? After all the promises, thus saith the Lord, I will, I will 17 times. At the end of it, he said, even though I said it's for my sake, I'll do it for my name's sake. But the rules of engagement must be honored. You must still inquire of me to do it. No, come on, come on, come on. Are you clapping somebody? Are you okay? Somebody says the rules of engagement. So the promises are conditional. The blessings of God are conditional. 
It is not automatic. Don't be fooled. They are conditional. Favor is conditional. Look at everyone God gives over in the Bible. Look at their life carefully. Everyone God favors in the Bible and God blesses in the Bible and in life. Look at their life. It's always about others. It's always about the benefit of others. It's always about touching others. You think I was blessed for me? No, I wasn't blessed for me. I was blessed for the blessings and the benefit of so many. Home and abroad, all over the nations. You have no idea who your papa is. You have no idea. You have no idea who your papa is. I'm telling you. What, what I was given and what I carry has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with others. And that's why, that's why it doesn't matter the betrayals and what people do to me and the ingratitude, the lack of appreciation and the betrayals and everything, I don't complain. I don't complain. I don't complain. Because it's between them and God. My job is to make sure that what is given to me for the benefits of others, <clears throat> profit them. As a steward, when I'm giving things to cook for the house, I cook and I make it available to everybody. That's my job. <clears throat> That's my job. And people will reap what they sow. So it's not for me to worry about people who don't show gratitude. That's their problem. Mine is to keep preaching the word, keep blessing the people, keep praying for the people till the coming of the Lord. That's it. Look at First Kings, First Kings 18, 40 to 41, 41 to 45. Look at something and then we'll go into prayer. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, mm -hmm. for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Uh -huh. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. Mm -hmm. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, mm -hmm. and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Hear me, folks. Who said he was sending abundance of rain to the earth? Elijah? He doesn't send rain. It was God. God told the prophet, tell the king, the drought and the famine in the land is over. I'm sending abundance of rain. And being a prophet, he understood the rules of engagement. That is not just going to happen. Because God said it, it's conditional. And he said, King, you can eat and drink, but I'm not eating or drinking. And he went to the top of Camel, put his face between his knees, a state of travail, and stayed there seven times. Seven is the end of a cycle. And he prayed seven times to break the cycle of famine and drought in the land. And it was after seven times of consistent and persistent prayer that he saw the manifestation of the rain. Hear me, if Elijah had not prayed and contended for that word, there wouldn't have been rain. The famine and the drought would have continued. The Bible says in James 5, look at James 5.13. James 5.13, look at something there. Any among, Is any among you afflicted, let him pray. Any among you afflicted. Any among you afflicted. Any among you afflicted. Let him what? Pray. Let him talk about it. No. Cry. No, sir. But what? Pray. That is the prescription or the antidote 
for the virus. Affliction is a virus, deadly than coronavirus. And he said, if anyone among you is afflicted, let him, let him text. Go on social media. Put your pictures on social media. Tell the whole world what you are going through. Tell your story. But what? Do you know what happens when you are afflicted and you don't pray? You know what happens? You prolong the affliction. So there are people sitting in church carrying afflictions for years and decades. They do everything but the thing that is required to turn it around, they refuse to do it. Even within these 100 days of prayer, we are online, we are on Dominion Television. When we come on, instead of you to get up and pray and join the prayer, you are lying on your bed. You say, how do you know? I can see. I can tell by the way some of you are sitting down in the service. The way you are sitting down cool and collective like that. Cross your leg, checking me out. I'm not a lecturer. Are you hearing me, somebody? Instead of you to get up, the spirit of slumber has arrested you. So you are lying in bed. And we are commanding you, join the prayer, join the prayer, say, declare, you are lying there. And your affliction is exacting on you. Is there anyone afflicted among you? Let him, let him, let him. And hear me. Through intercession has nothing to do with time. Through intercession has everything to do with praying until something happens. Tell somebody, pray until something happens. And I think that for us Christians, for, us, for whatever reason, we, we think that prayer is about breakthroughs. Uh, you pray for God to give you a job. I'm praying for a visa. I'm praying for a car. I'm praying for a house. That is not what I'm talking about these hundred days. These hundred days, I'm calling for the manifestation of his kingdom. And for the manifestation of the will of God to be done in our lives, in our nations. Look at the killings going on. If you put it down, you'll see the people that are dying. Mothers who go to deliver kids. There's so much pain on this earth. And all people do is to pray for breakthroughs. You don't need to pray for breakthroughs. If you work hard, you can get money. If you work hard and you know how to negotiate, you can get a car. You can buy a land and a house. Prayer is not about give me, give me, give me. No, 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 no. We are talking about the original intent of eternity. We are talking about the manifestation of God's will and kingdom coming here and ruling among men, turning the kingdoms of this world, the kingdoms of our God. My God, my God, what is wrong with us? What is wrong with us, Christians? What is wrong with us? Prayer is not about a husband, nor a wife, nor promotion at a job. It's not even about your enemies. If you pray according to the will of God, in line with God's will, I'm telling you, enemies will die without you touching and praying about it. I'm telling you. Anyone, anything that opposes the will of God for our lives, Within these hundred days, it will go down. In the name of Jesus, it will go down. Yeah. I'm not going to worry my prayers and my faith on people who don't like me. And who, If you let the devil enter you, deploy you, and use you, it's your palabra. Are you hearing me? As we pray and things come into divine alignment, as we pray and the kingdom of God is superimposed, over the kingdoms of men. As we pray and the will of God is done, anything that serves as a thorn, as a thorn, as a thorn, as opposition in our life shall be removed in the name of, I said, it shall be removed in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, put your hands together, say yes. <laughs> Hear me. Hear me. I'm not praying. Our battle is not with flesh and blood. 
I'm not praying because I need a breakthrough. No, 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 no. If I need a breakthrough, I won't be sitting here now. I won't be in Ghana. I know the places to go. Are you hearing me? Huh? I'm here because I love you and I'm in the will of God. How I pray that after these 100 days, your prayer life will be revived. Your spiritual life will be revived. The gifts and callings of God in your life will be revived. The gift of dreaming and dreams and interpretation, the word of knowledge, the word of prophecy, all the gifts of the spirit will manifest in your life one more time. That spirituality will be important to you than money and breakthroughs. Sisters, sisters, that are not married. Single sisters, let me tell you. Single sisters. These hundred days, don't pray about a husband. I'm telling you. Pray about things for the kingdom and the church. God, God will shock you. <laughs> Hear me. You think Esther was praying for Ahasuerus? Esther was in, she didn't even have the mind, the sense, and the faith to pray for Ahasuerus. She loved God. She had a heart for God. And God found her. God said, I will disqualify somebody and qualify somebody. Yeah, listen, folks. Church, I've seen things, though. I've seen things. If you can forget about yourself a little bit. If you can stop thinking about your breakthrough, a new car, a new house. All these things are petty to God. Car, these are petty things. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that the hidden seek after shall be added unto you. Say added. Talk to me. Say added. One of my sons was wearing these serious shoes. And Rosa saw it. She talked to me about it. And when he came to visit me, I saw the shoe. It wasn't a small thing at all. What I'm wearing is not what you like, so take your eyes off me. I feel very comfortable in this one. I can run with it, so amen. And you know what? I'm a grandfather anyway, so it doesn't matter. But watch this. The guy came and I saw the shoe he was wearing. And I said, I like it. He said, you? I said, yeah, I like it. Next time, Two suitcases of different, different, different color of the and I said, but I, I can't wear all of this. He said, But you said you like it. And and church, I wish I could tell you some things. But you Ghanaian Christians, you don't have it. You think I'm bragging. If I'm in Nigeria, I'll say it. Because you see, when a Nigerian, when a Nigerian sees you driving a nice car. He will say, Oga! Oga, quata, quata. I thank God for you. As for this, your car, it'll be fine, pa. I they pray that one day God is me too, he go give me some. God, he go give me too some. For the Ghanaian, when a Ghanaian see you driving a nice car, he say, cocaine dealer. If he sees a young lady driving a nice car, who is your sugar daddy? You see the way we think? So Ghana here, when you are even giving testimony, you have to be very wise. Because you can give testimony and get into trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been in trouble here in this country before. I've been in trouble. There was a, when we were at the airport, there was a family, their daughter had a scholarship. And they had everything to get this girl to go to school. They didn't have money to buy tickets. So they came to see me. And I have a daughter in the church who had a travel agent. She, was a, she had this travel agency. So I pleaded with her and I said, you know something? Give the girl the ticket. Let her go to school. Give me some time. I'll find money to pay for it. So the father and the mother were somewhere. They were talking. And some people started saying things about me. And the father said, quiet. You don't know that man. You don't know what he did for my daughter. Blah, blah, blah. And they said, my daughter has scholarship. She couldn't, we couldn't afford buy a ticket. He got her. And they said, hey, what's awful? 
bought a ticket for your daughter. Where did he get the money from? They started investigating me. Yeah. Until I told them that the ticket hasn't been paid for. It's a borrowed And they wanted to see the travel agents. I said, go, oh, that's the person. Ticket was there. I was owing. That girl, she finished her school. I haven't heard from her after today. Not even a Christmas card to say, Papa, thank you. Not a word. Who are these people? But you know something? I'm not going to stop doing good. You know why? Because I have children. And I was telling somebody yesterday, I said, if you have children, if you have children, make more friends than enemies. Because you never know when your children may need a friend to help them. And I said, number two, when you have children, help the work of God. Help the house of God. Do good more than evil. Because you never know when you will need God to remember you and your children. When David died, Solomon did a lot of bad things. And every time God was angry with Solomon, he would say, Solomon, Solomon, but for David, but for David, your father, I would have destroyed you. But for the sake of David, I won't do it. For time. And when he came to Solomon's son, he kept saying, for the sake of David, for the sake of David. So if you have children, Try not to make too much enemies. I'm telling you, as much as is possible, if you have children, make friends. Because they will need a friend and an enemy. Put your hands together. That's a powerful scripture, amen? All these scriptures, we have to pray them through. But we're going to go into prayer right now. I want you to see what happened to Elijah. There was famine, there was drought. For over three years, seven is the end of a cycle. He stood in the gap and hear me. Do you know COVID-19, they call it COVID-19 because the thing came for 2019. They didn't call it COVID-20. COVID what? But do you realize that the thing followed us to 20 and has come into 2021? And do you know that 2021 is the three cycles of seven? Three cycles of seven. And if you, are a, if you are a member of the tribe of Issachar and you are a student of prophecy, you will see what happens globally every seven years, every seven years, every seven years. If we don't break this cycle between 9th and 31st December, this coronavirus you are seeing like that, eh, it will carry itself to 2022, I'm telling you. But I declare by the word of the Lord, that as we stand in the gap, in the name of Jesus, it will end within these hundred days. That every prolonged battle is coming to an end. In your life and in my life. And there shall be a performance of the word of the law. Stand on your feet, somebody. Open your mouth and command. Let there be a performance. Let there be a performance. Put your hands together. Pray with violence. Pray with violence. Stop being nice. Put your hands together. Lift up prayer. Natona kudali sada, ekaya dula mahadakuta, baliko dula masuta. Lift it, push it, lift it, push it, lift it, push it.
Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Get violent. Get aggressive. Get violent. Get aggressive. Push this thing, push this thing, push this thing. Get violent, get aggressive. Hear me. Let, let's go to Ephesians 6, 12. Ephesians 6, 12, and then let's look at Psalm 7, verse 9. Every wickedness against you, let it come to an end. Within these hundred years, every wickedness against this nation, this house, our family, our sons, our daughters, let the wickedness come to an end. Any wickedness against our businesses, the works of our hands, our dwellings, our family, our marriages, our children, in the name of Jesus, home and abroad, let the wickedness come to an end. Look at it, Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness against, in high places. Against spiritual wickedness. Against spiritual wickedness. Let every spiritual wickedness against us and this nation and our sons and our daughters in the name of Jesus come to an end. I say let it come to an end. Let there be days of rejoicing and celebration of the goodness and the faithfulness of God within these hundred days. Let the voice of mourning come to an end. Let every mourning and grief and sorrow and sadness come to an end. Let the premature death and the dying cease in the name of Jesus, say yes. yes. Psalm 7 verse 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just for the righteous God try their hearts and reign. Within these hundred days, let every wickedness, household wickedness. When I say household wickedness, it come to an end. Household wickedness. Political wickedness. Financial wickedness. Family wickedness, marital wickedness. In the name of Jesus, let every form of wickedness. Some of you, as you are standing here, you look so pretty, handsome, smelling good. Only God knows what you are dealing with. And there are wickedness going on in secret places. I'm telling you, people are scheming, there are conspiracies. And others are just making it at the expense of the sufferings of the, the suffering of the masses. But by the word of the Lord, today and within these hundred days, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Come on somebody, open your mouth. Do something, open your mouth, make a declaration. By the word of the Lord, let every wickedness against us come to an end.
Come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. Put your hands together. Open your mouth. Let the wickedness come to an end. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Let God establish the jars within these hundred days. Come to Psalm 75 verse 10. Psalm 75 verse 10. These human sacrifices and kidnapping of women and children, let it come to an end. Let the judgment of God go after those responsible and those behind this wickedness. It's wickedness. Look at it. Go ahead. All the horns of the wicked also. All the horns of. Off. Of the wicked. All the horns of. Of the wicked. Talk to me. All the horns of. Of the wicked. Psalm 7 verse 9. Let what? The wickedness of the wicked. Come 75. 75 10. All the horns of the wicked will I cut off. The wicked have horns. Horns. Power. Authority. Dominion. Strength. Wealth. Influence. Let the wickedness and the horns of the wicked in this nation be cut off. We cut it off in the name of Jesus. Within these hundred years, let the horns of the wicked, let their dominion, let their influence, their wealth, defenses, and power be cut off. Put your hands together. Pronounce it. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Push it. Make declarations. Make declarations. Proclaim it. That within these hundred days, the defenses of the wicked, the wealth, the influence, the power, the dominion, the kingdom, and the glory of the wicked in this land, in this nation, shall be cut off. Cut it 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 off. Lift up prayer. Cut it off. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Cut this thing off.
cut it off. Cut off their defenses. Let their defenses be cut off. Their wealth, their connection, their influence, their wealth, their power, their glory, their kingdom. Cut it off. Hear me. Go to Luke chapter 4, 5 and 6. There is something that we have to deal with. Luke 4, 5 and 6. Go ahead. Luke chapter 4, 5 and 6. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain yeah. showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Say kingdoms. kingdoms. Go ahead. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give Say thee. Power. Power. Go ahead. And the glory of them. Say glory. Anyone whom the enemy has given power, kingdom, and glories to, to use it against us, within these hundred days, let them be stripped of that power, of that glory, and of the kingdoms. Put your hands together. Make that declaration. Strip them of the power. Strip them of the kingdoms. Strip them of their glory. Let them be stripped of their kingdom. Strip of their power. Strip of their glory. Put your hands together. Open your mouth. Declare it. Enforce it. Enforce it. Command it. Strip them of their glory, their kingdom, and power. Cut it off. Let their kingdom, let their glory, let their power be terminated. Terminated. Put your hands together and say, terminate. 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 We terminate their kingdom. Terminate their power. Terminate their influence. Terminate their home. Terminate their glory. Terminate their influence. Connection. In the name of Jesus, terminate it. Now, hear me before we deal with two things quickly. A man of God, one of my fathers in the faith, is going to be with the Lord. He had a call from one of his partners, a very wealthy lady that sends a lot of money to his ministry. And the lady said she was in distress and she needs him to come immediately. So he left the house. Then he dawned on him and told the wife to come with him. When they got there, he went out. The wife was picking her bag and something, so she delayed a little. And so he went first and knocked at the door and the lady saw him alone but he didn't know the wife was following. So just as she opened the door, there were people inside with cameras and she was literally naked and the wife just popped in behind him like that. That saved the situation. Within these hundred days, any trap, any setup, any ambushment, any form of conspiracy in the air, on land, on water, anywhere, by the blood of Jesus, we arrest it. We arrest it. 
We intercept it. We arrest him. Open your mouth. Put your hands together. Intercept. Arrest. Intercept. Arrest him. Arrest it. Arrest it. Arrest conspiracy. Arrest reactions. Arrest provocation. Arrest reactions. Arrest spirit of vengeance. Arrest every spirit of vengeance. Arrest the spirit of vengeance. Bind the spirit of vengeance. Bind reactions. Bind reactions. Bind reactions. Bind the spirit of vengeance. Name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Now, come with me to Ezekiel 30, 22. Ezekiel 30, 22. Tell somebody, pray the word. Pray the word. Pray the word. Say, enforce the word. Enforce the word. Say, superimpose. Superimpose. Superimpose the word. Go ahead, Ezekiel. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And will break his arm, the strong and that which was broken. And I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand. Hear me. Any hand, any strong hand with a sword that's afflicted us over the years, afflicted this house, ministry, and this nation and this land, in the name of Jesus, within these hundred days, let that strong and be broken that it cannot hold that sword anymore. You see, sword causes pain and affliction. So any strong hand that is holding a sword that has afflicted us over the years, today, let the sword fall out of his hands. Let that hand be broken in the name of Jesus. Break that hand. Break that hand. Command the sword to fall. Open your mouth. Break, break, break. Break that evil strong hand. Let the sword fall out of his hands. Come on, somebody. Declare it. I can't hear you. You have been too nice. You have been conservative. Stop being conservative. Move from the defensive to the offensive.
Now, hear me. Any wickedness and conspiracy in your bedroom, in your kitchen, within your wall, at your office, at your workplace, known or unknown, let it be arrested. Put your hands down. Arrest it. Arrest it. Wickedness. Conspiracy. Within our walls. In our kitchen. In our bedroom. At the job. At the marketplace. At the workplace. Intercept. Intercept. And arrest. Intercept. And arrest. Intercept. Arrest. 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 Intercept. And arrest. Find it, arrest it, uncover, expose, arrest, intercept it. Hear me. Second Corinthians two eleven. Second Corinthians two eleven. Second Corinthians two eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, mm -hmm. for we are not ignorant of his devices. Any advantage and any devices that the enemy have used against us before these hundred days, within these hundred days, let him be denied. Let him be stripped of every devices and of any advantage he has that he has used against us, this house and our nation over the years, within these hundred days, from tonight, let him be stripped of that advantage Denied of that advantage, strip of his devices, denied of his devices, put your hands together, get aggressive, move to the offensive, open your mouth. Push it, push it, push it. Now, now. When the Bible says we are not ignorant, it means that we are in the know. But when you are ignorant, it means you are not in the know. So whatever we are not aware of, whatever we don't know that the enemy is using against us because we don't know it, today in the name of Jesus, we intercept it. We uncover it. We arrest it now. 
Open your mouth. Arrest that ignorance. Arrest whatever we don't know. Whatever is hidden. Any hidden agenda. Hidden agenda. Any hidden agenda. We arrest it. Arrest. 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 Open your mouth. Put your hands up. Arrest. Hidden agendas. Arrest. Hidden agendas. Push it, push it, push it, push it. We will not be in the dark. We will not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We will not be in the dark of his agenda, of his purpose. We will not be in the dark. We will not be ignorant. We remove the veil, destroy the veil. Open your mouth, destroy the veil. Put your hands down, destroy the veil. families and our loved ones be secure. In the name of Jesus, we command divine security, security and immunity. We secure divine, we obtain divine immunity, protection over our sons and our daughters, over our dwellings and our houses and our cars. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Now, Bishop, quickly, go to Psalm 91, quickly, let's finish. Go to Psalm 91, verse 11 and 12, Bishop. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. In all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest yes. thou dash thy foot against a stone. One prayer we want to pray tonight before we close is this. At the level of prayer we are getting into, we need to deploy the services and the assistance of the angelic forces. Yeah. We need them now to come in. And it is our right as heads of salvation to call for angelic assistance. Say angelic assistance. We call for angelic assistance and reinforcement over our dwellings, our gates, our vehicles, our sons and our daughters, our going out, our coming in by land, by air, by water. We call for angelic assistance, angelic escort, angelic protection, angelic reinforcement. Some of you within these hundred days, you have angelic visitations. I'm telling you, you see angels. Put your hand up. Call for the angels. Call for it. Call for the angels. Call for the assistance of angels. Call for angelic protection, angelic reinforcement, angelic assistance. Call for it now. Call for it. I can't hear you. You are being too conservative. You are being too conservative. The violent take it by force. The violent take it by force. The violent take it by force. Call for angelic assistance, angelic escort, angelic protection, reinforcement in the air, on land, on water, for all travelers in the name of Jesus. Angelic protection, protection of the angels, protection, assistance of angels. Angelic escort, escort, open your mouth. Get aggressive, declare it. Now, let's close with this. Psalm 34, verse 7. Psalm 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. We engage their services. 
Say, I engage. Say, I deploy the services of the angels of God around my dwelling, my car, my vehicle, my going out, my coming in, my children, my sons and daughters, and everyone that concerns me. Say, I deploy and engage the services of the angels of God over my dwelling right now in the name of Jesus. Declare it right now. Declare it. Command it. Come on, somebody. Declare it. Let our dwellings be saved. Let our dwellings be secure. For the dwellings of the righteous shall be safe and secure. Our dwellings will be safe, secure, undisturbed dwelling places. A secure dwelling and habitation. Proclaim it. It doesn't benefit you as long as it's in the book. Open your mouth. Declare it. Proclaim it. Enforce it. Superimpose it. Hear me. Lastly, find me the verse. Lastly, tonight, as we live here, we bind the terror of the night. We bind the terror in the night. No spirit of terror will terrify anybody here. Within these hundred days, no one will be terrified by the spirit of terror. No one will be threatened by the spirit of terror. No one will be intimidated by the spirit of terror. In the name of Jesus, we terminate the spirit of terror. Open your mouth. Terminate it. Be bound. Bind the spirit of terror. No one will be terrified. No one will be threatened or intimidated in the air, on land or water by the spirit of terror. We cast the terror by night. We bind the spirit of terror. Bind the terror by night that we shall not be afraid of any terror. We will not be afraid by the terror by night in the name of Jesus. Bind it in the name of Jesus. Not the arrow that fly by day intercept demonic arrows. We arrest demonic arrows. We intercept the arrows of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Amen.